Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? We are back in hour today. Uh, hopefully, the volume and everything is working well. Let me know if it's a little bit too quiet or anything. Um, so, if you did guess it by the thumbnail, today we are checking out the Trog gameplay. Now, this did get changed for Definitive Edition a little bit. Um, there's at least two new outfits. One of them is on the thumbnail. So we'll be checking those out and seeing how this goes. It's going to be probably a little frustrating there for a bit to get a get a grasp of it. Um, so we will do normal so that I don't just die outright because I actually want to try and uh, play this stuff. But if you notice, I did do a legacy chest character. I put some cool weapons that the truck can actually use like uh, a vampiric halberd, shriek, which is a di bit difficult to get, and then duty just to whatever. I mean, I don't even know if I need to get those. but So we're going to choose this legacy chest character right here and then let's name him uh let's name him trago or or no we'll name him froggy we'll name him froggy but yeah hey how's it going everybody blue uh yo two uh merrick gino Azusio. hey Azusio, what's up and carissa how's it going everybody welcome to the stream um pretty excited pretty excited uh, by the way we are still playing with liger every thursday in case you're interested in that. Um, but I want I wanted to try this out. People mentioned to me that they wanted to see me play a trog. And <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> oh boy. I, I tested this briefly last night to make sure it was working. Um, so we'll we'll see how this goes. But yes, I am indeed a trog. The trog is strong with this one. What's up, Jeffrey? How's it going? William, hey, what's up? Can I even use a torch? I'm guessing no. Yeah, I cannot. Um, if you've never checked this out, we do have some cool skills. So Garg, um, Grog, and Gurg. And then we also have uh push kick. So Rise of Giant Drog Spawn. Yeah, that fits a little bit better now. The, look at how they run, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, dude. Uh, how do you play as a trog? I completely missed this feature. Um, so if you... At the beginning of the video, if you ever want to go back and check it, if you check my legacy chest character I picked, I have a green mushroom, a common mushroom, in my legacy chest. That's all it takes. You just put it in your legacy chest and you use that... Make a new character, use that as your legacy, and you get to play as a trog. Yeah, it's it's that easy. <laughs> um, the only thing you're allowed to use are pole arms and spears, which makes the game a bit more challenging. You also cannot use any active skills, which means that the humans normally have. So any of the skill trees, you can't use any of the skills other than passives. Passives is the only thing you can use. So it makes it a lot more challenging. And if you check this out, I only have 25 pouch, but no backpack. So, let's see if I can do it. And we'll we'll talk about more of the specifics later on well, as we play. But yeah, it's no boons. You cannot use boons either. I tested that last night. You cannot use boons. Which is why I have no idea what faction quest I want to take yet. Because here's here's the question. So, Hollowed Marsh gives a lot of bonuses. We all know that. The, the Holy Mission. And it also gives... Some weather defense, actually, if you do the quest properly. But the blue chamber gives you health and extra mana, which would be nice, honestly. For a trog, considering it, you take a few hits every once in a while. It is going to be hard without boons. Weather is something that I struggle with. Here's what I'm thinking, though. From what I've watched on YouTube of people playing as a trog, it seems that potions are more important as playing as a trog. That's what it seems. Yeah, blue. That's what I was thinking. Blue chamber because of the health. I just think it's going to be... By the way, I think the attack patterns are different on truck too. Look how slow this is. It's really slow. Like, you attack exactly like a trog would. Very, very terribly. <laughs> seems like the decal helmet, shriek, and blood infusion going to be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was thinking blood infusion might be nice, too. But yeah, if you'll notice, I can't even use a machete. It just says I can't do it. 
So let's see if I can even take out hyenas. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. How about rags? Yes, you can use rags. Uh, rags, potions, um, foods, all that kind of jazz. The only thing you cannot do is is you can't use certain weapons, armor, and skills. But I do think you run faster. Okay. Oh boy. Let's see this attack. Well, that got me hit. Big time. It's a running attack with the spear, which I don't know. Let's back up so that other hyena doesn't get on us. And running attack. Ooh, that actually worked. That was kind of cool. It's such a long distance. Like, look at this. Hmm. That's not bad. The lance are pretty easy. Okay, well, can we wait for him to attack? Maybe. Look how slow it is, though. I automatically get hit because push kick is too slow. I don't know. Okay, so that got me hit, too. Will this get me hit? Yes, it will. Seems like sometimes... There was a window on the other hyena where I dodged it. I don't know how I did that. Oh, well. There's definitely a figuring this out to do. So there are other armor sets as well, though. Um, so we're going to have to play around with the different armor sets to figure out what the heck is going on. Some of them are really cool. Like, one of them makes you really resistant to poison. One of them makes you really, really resistant to damage. Physical damage. Oh, here we go. We got our first garb. But I'm thinking about, because we can take skill trees, is it the thing? We can't use the skills, but we can take the passives. So I was thinking about taking, I think it's Hunter, uh, Warrior Monk, and Hex. Because Hex helps with the getting your health back and stuff, maybe. And then the other ones give me extra stamina and health, which obviously I need. Because I, look out, look out, fighting two hyenas got me destroyed. Okay, so I believe I can still do dialogue, too. Let's see. Hey there. You're alive. You'll catch a cold if you want. Yeah, he gives me the same thing. I'm saying none of the dialogue should change then. Okay. So we have two of these. We just need some mushrooms and we can craft our stuff. Let's do this. I'm I'm very excited. 100% going to die eventually, but very very excited. The new armor set for Troggy boy. Okay, so blue the new Trog armor is the annoying troglodyte and the archmage troglodyte so the one from the trog cave and the um the annoying troglodytes from the j quarry okay very cool very cool hey tim how's it going welcome to the stream um let's see so again look try to equip this oh no that's not how you equip stuff push b it won't do anything can't equip it so we're gonna have to be managing inventory big time and I don't need to ever create armor with this stuff. But we do want rags. Probably. The thing is, like, I need money, but I don't need money at the same time. It's it's weird. Like, I need money, but at the same time, it's not as necessary because... Like, you only get your passives from the skill trees. So, yeah. Hey, up, Trog spawn. Yeah. It's really funny because they treat you like a human. It's like, <laughs> you don't notice that I look different? What's wrong with you? All right, so we read the Sierzo Ceviche. Ceviche. We can make tartines, which gives us stamina. Do we need a bedroll? I'm going to guess yes. Um, our first task is to get mana because mana allows us to use these two skills here. Now, what this one does is give us rage and discipline, I think. And this and heals us. And this one gives uh, confusion on the enemy. So, we do want to get mana as soon as we can. I want to know how the Trog made his way into the tribe. Yeah, yo, too. He just, you know, he's a nice guy. You think you can nip off a blood price? All right, so we, we all know all this. We don't need to hear it. 
Away with you. I'm sorry. That Although they do, <laughs> they call me Doesn't Froggy though, which is funny. Forgot. This is your. That does never forget. If you could remember, you only have a All few right, so days. we do have to do the tribal favor and all that May jazz. Ancestors watch over you. Uh, yeah, mana cost is quite high. The reason for that is if you get a star mushroom and you craft, I'll show you here in a second. But one of the armor pieces decreases your mana usage by fifty percent. Um, which is how it's intended. So you use that. Yeah. Hey, Bambi, what's up? Uh, so we can still loot everything and sell it. Look how fast I am. I love this. Yeah, the new, um, the new armor set, I believe, makes you... Was it 17% extra speed? Or something like that? Like, it's crazy. What? My back looks really ugly, though. Look at that. Ugh. Okay, so none of this is gonna be useful, really. Oh, no, it is. Antidotes and things. Pocket's already heavy. I think one of the armor sets actually increases pouch size by 10 as well. So we'll have to get all of the armor sets and kind of play around with how much, what do I really need in my pocket? That's the question. Because the goal of this stream is to beat at least every cave in the game as a trog. At least. I'd like to do more than that, but we'll see. Already with the, the bots here. What does the last skill do? Um, the last one, this one, it does the confusion spell. You know the one the mana trogs use? They can, like, confuse the enemy or they confuse you most of them. Oh, that's what that does. And I'll, I'll show them later on once I get some stuff. I don't have any thick oil right now either, so I can't use the, the bombs or grenades. Greetings, friend. Whatever you want to call them. All right, so we can sell all that. That's useless. And I do want to make food, though. This is going to be such a struggle for me because I'm terrible with food consumption. Okay. Um, let's head over here, and we can buy at least two of our outfits. Hey there. Now you'll notice, let's see, blood mushroom and a star mushroom. Now, we don't actually need the star mushroom yet, but I'm going to make it anyway. So we get any any tatter, any basic garb. We made the Gorak Krog. Gork Krog. And we can also make the Urgak Urgagar Urk. Which is the mana one. So this is the cool one. This one gives me a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff. And then this one is the mana consumption one. But check it out. You get extra 50% ethereal damage bonus. So really good. This one gives a ton of just defense and damage bonus. So we're going to be using that for now. Um, William, it is the grenade skill. Number one is. Uh, you basically throw thick oil at the enemy. It's basically what it is. <laughs> Which we will do as soon as I get thick oil. Because it's like the strongest one. Yeah, it's just your bots are up early today. It's really funny, the animations, though. Like, if you'll notice, he doesn't actually fish. He doesn't actually take potions. He just throws his fist in the air and stuff happens. Like, watch this. Yeah! And then he gets sand. <laughs> like, how are you doing this? But yeah, I think Hex is going to be extremely important. And I believe, if I, if I believe correctly, there's no reason to take more than one or two points of mana. I believe one point, actually, is the best. Because... You can't actually use half the skills that do damage. Um, the only two skills you can use is the ones I have on 2 and 3. So I can't even use that much mana at a time. We'll have to see, though. I could always take more, right? Does that include the Antique Place and Caldera? Yes, we will be attempting to complete the dungeon as well. The train dungeon. And what is it? Rusted Vengeance? Maybe not today on that one, but we do want to at least... Ooh, that's some nice luck. We got a water skin. That's that's something we needed. That is something we needed. So I am a loot hog. So this is gonna be this is gonna be fun because uh, is there something you need? It's gonna be a struggle. That's that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a struggle. I am what I would call a massive loot hog. All right, we can cook those, those, and those. We can sell these though. Because we're definitely going to need some potions and 
some meat. I don't think I need any more of that either. Uh, am I supposed to talk to somebody before I leave? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna show you guys Brew Wreck. So I think when I talk to him, nothing happens. I don't think I can use Enrage or Discipline. I think that's why I have the other skill. Yeah, that's why I was thinking Blue. One point. Whoa. Yeah, it Hold just says there. I'm going outside. Where do you think you're going? Oh, not like that, you aren't. If I let you adventure outside without peace, you're pressed to find a weapon. Make quarter staff a quarter from staff. a crafted backpack. I'm also huh, sure you that's can funny. Find a spare water skin by the water pure so basically it tells you you can't come outside, but I'm a trog, so I can't even have a backpack. That's cool. That's cool. What's in here? Eh, nothing great, but we'll sell it. Playing Archer only character, then I saw a notification for your stream. Oh, nice. You had to check it out. Awesome. Greetings, friend. I'm glad you're checking it out with us. This is it's a lot of fun. I'm glad streaming has been a blast because it actually lets me play the game. Whereas videos let me play the game for like 25 minutes and then edit. You know what I mean? I also get to hang out with people while I play the game, which is fun too. He yells and the fish jumps to his pocket pretty normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's how trogs work. That's, that's the way fishing should work. You gonna use halberds or spears? Uh, probably a little bit of both. I, I really have to test first and see which is better. I, I got the vampiric halberd. But I don't know if the spears are better. You know what I mean? Because they have different animations on the truck. Okay, so we need to cook these. We can make rags. We also need to cook meat so we don't die. <laughs> it's pretty essential. Uh, we'll cook these two. I, I don't remember what the recipe is for that, but we'll cook those two. So, Sian, if you don't lock on to enemies when charging, you can control it. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I was not aware of that, actually. Let's take two of these and decraft them for linen cloth, huh? That's interesting. So you're saying, let, let's exit here and let's test that out. So you're saying if I just do this. Okay, okay, it's not that far. Ooh, interesting. So lock-on may be worse for the truck. Cinder RPG, wait a minute, you can't equip a backpack while playing a truck. No, this is the ultimate challenge run. So you can't use boons, you can't use a backpack. They do give you extra pocket space, though. Um, and you can't use skills. You can use passive but not active skills. Oh, yes, which reminds me. Did I throw all my money in there? We gotta come back anyway. Um, you can get the extra health skill from up there. There's all kinds of stuff you can't use. It's kind of crazy, actually. Can you use the halberd or spear skills? No, right? Uh, yeah, no. That would be stupid strong because <laughs> Moonswipe is so good. I was, I wondered that the other day when I, I got on the test. I was like, I want to see if I can use... No, it counts as active skill. Yeah, the running animation is hilarious. Do, 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 do. Oh, also no lantern, by the way. I cannot hold a lantern. Which makes light a challenge as well. Meaning we have to get the... We have to go to the mana mountain to get one of those strong spears. We have to. Or not go to dark places. Hey, this guy, what's up? This is not, is this a mod? Yes, this is actually not a mod. Um, if you want to play as a trog, simply put a green, or I think it's a common mushroom in a legacy chest. And use that as your legacy for your new character and it will give you this. Very, very cool. I will have a video on it eventually uh, a new video on it. i made an old one but uh, yeah see look it's so dark in here but there's some changes that i want to talk about so all right so you're saying i can control it here Ooh, i like that oh he hit me look at the protection i have though this is why this armor <laughs> was so beneficial to me can i mine stuff did i grab a pickaxe i don't really need to mine i'd want thick oil though Going back down the dark tunnel. Can it see anything? Grab that. Okay. Still can't see anything. Alright, here we go. Oh, you want some of this? I'm thinking Halberd. I'm thinking Halberd might be better. So, Trog v. Trog, guys. 
Uh, and I appear to be winning. Yep, I, I appear to be the better of the two trogs. You can just see my red pattern right now, my glowing eyes. No thick oil? Come on, dude. There's a common mushroom. Which we can use to get... Is, that, is it a common mushroom or a grilled? I think it's grilled. What's the common give you? Yeah, common doesn't give you anything. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire rag? Oh, true, true, true. Do I... I don't have any thick oil, though. We also don't want to be... Let's do this. Ah! We have light. Very minute amount of light. Kill the trog to become... Become one with your inner trog. Stamina is not too big a deal right now. Alright, so we gotta get our tribal favor. That's first... That's trog task number one. Chad trog versus the virgin trog. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, when the uh, when the advanced truck just gets too angry at the, the his little siblings, just beats him to death. I hate you. I love the running animation; it's absolutely hysterical. Imagine if Nine Dots made it so if a truck eats mushrooms, they get regen health. Ooh, because they eat mushrooms on a daily basis. I see. I see. That'd be cool. Burke, hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. We are playing as a drug today. A lot of fun. I like this, though. I like being able to control that. That's kind of cool. Did I save a bandage? I should have. I usually do. But occasionally I have a massive brain fart and just don't do what I'm supposed to. I can't... I can feel it working. Thanks a bunch! Yay, tribal Ow. favor. Alright, we're not going to do that cave yet because... I need some better tools before I fight during nighttime, because nighttime sucks. Alright, so our first big fight here, guys. Let's see, uh, let's see how we do. We also cannot crouch. I tried that. I see. Alright, let's wait for an attack. Okay, okay. I'm not- I'm literally not gonna attack until he does. Ah, that animation is absurdly slow. Absurdly slow. Okay, okay, okay. What's a better attack? I don't know, like... Dutch! Ooh, okay, okay. I also don't like the position he's in right now. Very unfortunate. Okay, now let's see. It's not too bad. Getting hit hurts, though, because we're very weak to... Uh, oh, Pearl Bird? That's cool. We're very weak to Lightning, so we have to make sure we don't... Um, where's that at? Yeah, negative 40 to Lightning. That's why he's doing so much damage to me. Why is this guy not helping me? Like, come on, bro. Help me out. Yeah, the animate... Look at that animation there. How fast is this, though? It's only a one attack speed. Maybe we need something with more attack speed. Also, ooh, poison, guys. We are going to be utilizing stuff that poisons. Like, create. Oh my word, he roasted him. Alright. Now, I don't like that I'm half dead. I'm not a fan. Yeah, you can't hit me over here. I'm, I'm sorry. Do I have another bandage? I, I can make one. I can also make cloth. Can I utilize traps, guys? Does anyone know? Can I can I put down traps? I'm guessing no. But what if? You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Let's see. Okay, should like three attacks should get him should get him poisoned. The the attack I want him to do is the uh, the lightning ball. Because that is the only time that I don't seem to get hit when I... It's not weak to poison, though. Ooh, I'm way too terrified to fight a freaking... Mantis. What is it? Whatever this thing is. I'm blanking right now. Oh, dodge! Okay. Build-up's gonna be slow, though. Oh, shoot. See, why is he in these boxes? What are we doing in the boxes, dude? 
All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Yay, we did it! Woo! We have killed one thing. Yeah, mantis shrimp. That's what it was. We have officially killed one thing. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Right of tribal favor. Okay. Step one, guys. Step one. We could make a fang halberd. We should do that. Let's go get some fangs. You guys want to get some fangs? Let's do that. Traps work? Okay, thanks, Tim. That's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. I want to try the traps out. What is another mushroom? I need to cook the common mushroom that I have, don't I? I need to cook the common mushroom. How do I fight a pearl bird? Because pearl birds have a fast attack. Dodge! Ah. No, don't. Okay. Okay, that's cool. What if I? What if I? Would it be funny if I got the pearl bird mask on this character that I cannot use a pearl bird mask on? Wouldn't that just be hilarious? No. Oil just outside Shrog Dungeon. Uh, there's oil to the right here, yes. As well, I believe. Yes, thick oil! Our first thick oil. Who was asking about the thick oil earlier? We officially have three thick oil. Oh, shoot. We got double hyena. Watch this. Pro moves, Gare. Pro moves. Gonna fight some hyenas. I'm... Maybe not. You, this is what I hate. I do not like how they designed pearl birds. I really don't. Because this stuff happens way too often. He just ran up a whole cliff. Like, I was fighting a, a pearl bird the other day, and he just kept doing that. I ran from... Where was it? The entrance to Hollow Marsh, all the way to Sierzo, just chasing him. Like, what are you doing? Hey, Philip. Istvan, how's it going? Yeah, Trog. It's challenging already, but I haven't died yet, okay? I haven't died yet. That's the important thing. That is the important thing. can't believe traps work. That seems kind of odd. Okay, okay, okay. I can't crouch. So that is that is a issue. I have to make sure I get close enough for this to actually work. Ha! Okay, he's poisoned. Yes? I need something that blocks more. Oh, shoot. I got all the hyenas on me. All right, all right. Okay, look at that. Wait for an attack. It, it really is based on the timing. You have to time it correctly. Dodge. Okay. Look at the poison, though. Oh, my word. Wait till I get the other outfit. The other outfit lets me do even more poison damage. We just want the meat. We don't want the leather. What build are you planning for it? Um, There are two builds I want to do. So I want to get all of the halberds that I can. But my main goal is to get the dreamer halberd. And to get the Shriek, which I already legacy tested. So a lot of decay damage, and my other build is mana damage. So we can have two different kinds of playstyles. Mess around with. Okay, we do have two of them on us. How far away can I get to throw this? Ooh, nice. I hit the one that was already not poisoned, though. Haha, <laughs> Matrog. Ah! <laughs> Look at this, this is hilarious. Doot, 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 doot. This is the funniest thing ever. Let me just run away and apply a rag real quick. Yeah, Dream Halberd. Definitely have to get that. You can't use active skills, but you can buy passive. Yes, you can use all the passives in the game. Look at that health bar, dude. Watch me walk. Okay. Now. Feel my wrath. I gotta wait till the second one dies. We cannot fight multiple enemies as a trog. It's, it's not gonna happen. At least not right now. Not till I get better. Right now, I would call myself a noob. Ah, see, look at that. Okay, okay. That's why Ayin is annoying, though. They dodge, so, like, fighting as a trog is actually very difficult. Dodge! Okay. Ooh, I like that attack. Why can't I do that attack more often? They don't have a running attack, which is annoying. All right. Okay. Cave number one, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably the easiest cave in the game. We're going to do it, okay? We're going to do cave number one. 
Once we do this cave, we never have to come back. Never have to come back. Alright, now the only problem is I don't have a light. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Charging really close lets you dodge pretty much everything. Okay. I will have to try that more. Uh, Susin. I'll have to try that more. There's a build for pizza, so of course there's a build for the... <laughs> yeah, the pizza build. It doesn't when you do that, though. Like, if you move right into him, quite very useless. Ooh, he's aggressive. There we go. That was a better attack. Cave number one is down, ladies and gentlemen. Cave number one, we did it. Crossed it off the list. That is some decent stuff. We are officially in Trog business. What do he have? One piece of meat. This cave really does suck. Look at this. There is nothing here. One thick oil node would be nice. No? Okay. Alright, alright. <laughs> Without the lock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Without lock. I need, to, I need to keep doing that. I keep automatically locking on because I'm so used to it. Playthrough will be very entertaining to watch. I'm hoping so, Blue. I'm, I'm hoping so. It's going to be a lot more um, cautious because I have to be. I have to be cautious. With my use, most of my builds, I'm very reckless because I use like mana ward or just stuff I can just rush in and just bulldoze my way through stuff. Um, I can't do that now. Also, only 25 weight, so. The thing is, though, I really need to carry a pickaxe because of the the thick oil. You know what I'm saying? I am carrying a lot of other stuff. What about, no, bedroll is kind of important. Rice Dry Halberd is also very good with newly added truck gear. I believe you're correct. Yeah. We should try that out. Um, let's just start taking stuff, right? Get rid of it, right? Jaden, how's it going? Morning. Morning as well to you. Let's see. Take some of this. Check this out. I, I really like this outfit. Like, it's kind of ugly, but it's cool looking. It's cool looking. We need to get mana so that we can actually use it. We really need to get mana. Now, my here's my here's my thing, guys. You ready? Scrap the hoods. Uh, yeah, I was gonna save one of them at least, uh, to make the other outfit I need. Um, so I don't know if I should let Vendival live or kill Vendival because if they actually destroy Sierra's, I get the old Legion spear pretty easily. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Trog, hi Sheen, hope you're doing well. Thanks for the content that you make. It's, it keeps me going to play the game on console. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, Tenum, uh, thank you for that comment. I am glad that it is helpful for you. I love making the videos. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm really, <laughs> we're all pretty frustrated at this point about console right now. Hopefully they are going to fix that soon. Hopefully. As it is... Frustrating for all of you, but also for me, who has to constantly check every day and be disappointed by the fact that there's Greetings, no friend. there's no um patch for console yet. Sierzo so let you a trog spawn live there, and you're gonna let it fail. You're ashamed, for all time. That's see, that's what I'm saying, yo. Too, I don't know for sure. You know, they were very kind to me. They were very kind to me. You make a valid point. I have to go back to my house anyway, but as a trog, I, I just I don't know. I don't know why I lit this fire. Um, ah, I gotta cook it. Here we go. Here's here's where we things get a little spicy, ladies and gentlemen. Here's where things get a little spicy because when we add in a grilled mushroom with this, what is not a grilled mushroom? It's a regular. No, 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 no. It's an armor piece. It doesn't work with hoods, I guess. I don't know. What I have to I check that when I get back. Um, anyway, when I get the Decay outfit, oh, it's gonna be so much better. Although you lose a lot of your defense. They trade you off very, very well in this game. Alright, we need enough money to get the health skill over there. I could do Vendival peacefully, that's true. Although there's not really a reason to, since I don't need the power coils. Kill Queen Trog, it'd be so cinematic. Arbiter of Trunks. 
Yeah, uh, you mean the... I could also kill the Archmage truck, too. Like, really soon. So, did these not work then? I thought they worked. I really did. I thought it was any basic piece. Where did my mushroom go? Huh. Well, what is it then? I guess it's gear, specifically. That's annoying. I don't have any gear. Alright, um... Poison bombs are great with the poison version for multiple opponents. Crowd control having almost, if not all, truck gears like Mandador if you want to survive. Yeah, that's the that's the goal here, I think. We're going to have to go for. Alright, let's decraft these, I guess, because they don't work. For some reason. I thought they did, but... Can't put truck gear on hot bar, sadly. Oh, you can't? That sucks. It's kind of weird that you can't. Okay, Gabriel Jam. Make some toast. Get a little toasty up in here. We do need some stamina stuff, so that, that is very important. Let's go buy our skills, and then... The stash chests are going to make this a lot easier, I think. Than they used to be. Make a leather hat. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I could, but it doesn't... I can't use it, so... Which is, what, leather and... Linen, I think. Amber, my friend. So check it out. I, I could buy these, but I can't use them. You know what I'm saying? I can, however, use the middle passives, which is nice. Right now, I just want this. This would be nice as well, though. Let's see if we can't sell enough to get enough money for that. Because that's kind of important, being able to block longer. I mean... Why not, you know? Why not? Any hapless leather? Yeah, that's what I thought. I guess I could have made that earlier. What? I could have sold right. that. Okay, I know how to make those, so I don't need them. We want to keep everything that gives us a buff. We don't, however, need five mushroom bars. Alright, 90, guys. 90. We're so close, yet so far away. We don't need mana potions at this current time. Boom. We just made enough money to go up here and get this. Breakthrough for Spellblade is a waste. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, it's not very good. Amber, it, it's kind of disappointing because it's a, school, a cool skill tree, but only 15 each is it's pretty mediocre. I mean, it definitely helps if you go Spellblade. It does. But it's like, there's so many better ones. I guess I only needed 50. Oh, well. Okay. Step number two. Should be what, guys? We going to the Trog Cave straight away? Is that what everybody wants to see me do? Step Cave number two is the, the Trog Cave. Or should I go to Complex Mountain and get mana first? Mm. That's a valid question. That is a valid question. It does give you mana, true. It does give you mana. Alright. Oh, no, I need to do the, the tribal favor. Well, I haven't done that yet. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna take everything with us. We're just gonna... I could sell that satchel, actually, too. No weapon upgrade. Uh, I didn't have any... I don't have any fangs yet. I, should I get an iron halberd or something? What do you think, Blue? Little of everything in game that rewards specialization. That's true. Uh, some people think Spellblade sucks, and I agree that it is the lesser of the skill trees sometimes, but you can make it really good. You Greetings. can. It's just like everything else. How go your effort? You have a way to make that. And on, well, with a fang weapon, Oliel maybe. <laughs> are leaving. Oliel is leaving to go join. All right, let's skip all this. Listen Not well. important. Okay. So we do need a fang weapon. So let's. Did I? I didn't get a single fang though. I didn't get a single fang. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, let's just go ahead and buy. Do we want to do halberd or spear though? That's the question. I don't know. What could I do for you? All right. I don't know. Trog cave for the ultimate trog weapons. True. You can enchant trog armor. Uh, yes, you can actually, but I believe the, there's only four enchantments for it. Um, and Aegis would be the only one I would use, which is for extra protection. What can I do for you? You can All also right. put corruption resistance on. 
which helps, obviously. Okay, so we got an iron halberd. Let's see. Oh my word, that's so freaking slow. Oh, it's terrible. All right, we're gonna more reach with the poke. Yeah. Oh, mushroom halberd. That's true, guys. That's true. Mushroom halberd would be so strong. That's in the blue chamber, though. Or conflict mountain. Go. The All right, listen up. Not if you so we could actually go get that. What's up, Philip? This Devon. Um, I think you were already here earlier. Jay, hey, Jay, what's up? Uh, yeah, Mushroom Halberd is going to be definitely on the agenda. Who was I talking to? Oh, Leal is who I was talking to. I guess this I'll miss it. Excellent. Have but we are actually going to sleep until daytime road. because we don't have a uh, light source. Yeah, Rodolfo, th this is it's <laughs> terrible. What's the it's the, almost the same. OK, that's interesting. It's like the same animation. What? That's kind of odd. Legacy Mushroom Halberd would be gold. Yeah, I've seen that. I didn't do it. Um, I actually just thought about it this morning when I hopped on. I was like, why didn't I do that? Listen well. But it's it's kind of useless once you get to end game because Shriek is better, and I Legacy Chested Shriek. So it, you know, bounced out for me. I don't know why I just ate that, but. Try different combos to see animations. Yeah, so this is a regular attack. This is regular special. But it doesn't do it every time. That's the special. The, the regular special is just the running attack. And then we have regular, regular special. Or regular, regular, regular special. It doesn't seem to change that much. Seems like the specials are either a running attack or a twist. Uh, but the twist has a decent impact. I like the impact of that. It is a wide attack. It is. I'm also more used to playing with the pole arm, so let's see if it actually affects anything. Um, we don't need to repair because Trog equipment does not get repaired. If I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. So definitely some a rough start with the weapons. They. Ooh. It's pretty bad. Normal attacks are ungodly slow. After playing with Wind Infuse on my Halberd character, yeah. Yeah. Dreamer's Halberd wouldn't be bad, though, because Dreamer's Halberd is fast. Also, we can start that. Dreamer's Halberd is so good. It just is. Hello, fish. All right, step two, go to Trog Cave and try not to die. <laughs> that is the goal. <laughs> try not to die. If we make it out of Trog Cave, we ha will have a mana weapon, actually. We won't be able to do anything with it. We will have it. <laughs> you have to get used to the animations. They're so weird and will get you killed with multiple enemies if you're not actually careful. That's what I'm thinking. Which armors do you have right now? Which ones are you aiming to get? Okay, so the ones I have right now... I actually couldn't get... Oh, I was going to make the poison one. Why didn't I do that, guys? Why? What is wrong with... So I have this one. I'm not going to... I'm not going to do the names. Because you already know I'm bad with words. Urga Kurgal Gurk. This one is the mana one. And I have the protection one. The one I want is the poison one. Which for some reason... Yeah, get out of here, dude. For some reason, I didn't buy a thing to make it with. But... I thought that the helmets worked. I'm... Ooh, okay, okay. So I can use these. Is what people are saying. I cannot use... Oh, I don't have the training. Okay. Those are useless to me at the current time. We can, however, make... I don't have any iron, but we can make traps. I think the names are vital for this stream. Dang it. <laughs> Urgrek Kurgrek. <laughs> So hard. I just watched Churchy's old video on the truck video. He said them so perfectly, it makes me upset. Ha ha! Pearl bird down. Thank goodness. I was gonna say, if I get a bird mask, I'm gonna be so angry. <laughs> Some corrupted areas have nightmare mushrooms. Try to get one to craft a speedy trago. Oh yes, that is the speed one. 
The I if I'm correct, the ghost pass actually has nightmare mushrooms in the bottom. But I know that the area over by the Cabal Hermit does. So we'll have to get those. What classes, break skills are you getting? I'm thinking of getting Hunter, um, Warrior Monk, and Hex. I, 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 someone, someone let me know what your thoughts are on my, my picks there. I'm thinking those are the best options. That's from what I've, from what I looked up. Ritualist is pointless because I can't use totems. With health potion. Oh. I'm telling you guys, loot in the Chalk Cave is essential. You get pro bird mask, you can always legacy chest. That is true, though. I used the same attack on you. How do you feel? Why is he? Where is he going? What are you doing? He realizes that I am his master and submits to me. It's weird not having a running attack. Get out of my face. Ha 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 ha. I'm just bullying trogs. Rogue Engineer would be useful. Ooh, true, though. You're not wrong, Rodolfo. Hermit could work if you got potions. Oh, yeah, because it does affect... I always forget. I was thinking about that one, and then I was like, wait a minute, it's pointless. But now that you bring that up again, or now that you bring it up, it actually isn't pointless, because potions work. Darn. Yeah, the only reason I was taking the other two is for the... I I'm definitely taking Warrior Monk, because stamina is going to be essential, I think. I think. All right, so there's the big boy. We do not. We just want to yeet right on past that right now. I'm gonna clear out more small trucks because if we get hit with a mana attack, we're dead. 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 I tell you, hex feels like it would be a little a lifesaver. That's what I'm saying. Hex just feels like the quality of life on it would be insane. Okay, if I let them do a charge attack. Alright, alright, guys. I'm going beast mode. Beast mode activated. Now, do I have any rags to actually light anything up in here? Nope. Alright, alright. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Speedster and start fl flipping on him. Speedster, though. That would be interesting. I wonder how Speedster works with a trog. Like, how well... These guys are very resistant to decay, so me using this rag is completely pointless. And I really feel like a true outward player that I did that. Ooh, discipline. Let's use this. Ooh, fire rag. Let's use that. Come get me! Oh, shoot. Alright, back out of that. That hurt. Did anyone see the damage that was... All right, all right. If I can get in and block here, we're going to be okay. Dodge! Ah, the dodging is so slow. I got to be able to attack from afar. It's so hard to do. Oh, that hit me? Okay, okay. We have a health potion. Let's go use it. I think he's going to heal himself, though. All right, all right. Shrug a boy. Gotcha. Okay. Man, it's so the the He's got way longer reach than me. I feel ripped off. Dutch! Oh man, it's so slow. Push kick did nothing and got me hit. Beautiful. Dodge backwards here. Oh, come on, we got this. We got this, guys. Oh, you know what? You know what? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, stop. Ah! I, if I pick that up, I get extra damage. Oh, yeah. Big brain moves. Big brain moves. Big brain moves gone. Ah! <laughs> it ran out too fast. It ran out too fast. Oh, does that do more damage though? No, 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 no. We're, we're picking it back up. We don't want to. We don't want to die to this. Oh, he's healing himself so much while I do this. All right, that was that was a big mistake. I feel. Oh my word! I need to. I need to imbue. Slow fights. Look at this. My stamina doesn't move. What is up with this? Oh shoot! If that frog gets over there, 
I could be in trouble, guys. I could be in trouble. Come on, come on, come on. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Got him. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Here's where it, here's where it gets hard, because that frog up there. Alright, alright. We need something with more impact. That's what we need. Come on. Can I pick that up? No, I can't. Let me pick it up. Stop it! Stop doing the things you're doing! <laughs> Alright, let this guy hit me real quick. Oh, I beat him up. Oh my word. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Alright. I am officially... Yes, yes, yo too. I'm the leader now. We have a light source. Let's go! That was kind of fun. The problem is, Halberts weigh a lot. They weigh so much. All right, we need some healing right now, guys. Since when does a chalk wield a halberd? <laughs> Good question. I guess these spears kind of... Oh, no, the mushroom spear is a halberd. I think. Or is it a spear? Since I said mushroom spear, now I'm thinking it's a spear. How, mu how overweight can I be with being fine? That was such a good fight, though. I feel like. We got thick oil. That's important. We don't need that. Some mana stone. Also useless at this current point. Can't use the, the magic, though. Darn it. Alright, we gotta clear the rest of this cave. Is it Mushroom Halberd? Okay, okay. I said Mushroom Spear. Gotcha. I was incorrect. That's on me. Alright, let's make some uh, of these. Alright, so now we actually have a decent light source. This is not a lot of damage, though. Like, really, really bad damage. Can we get some more thick oil? No. No, we cannot. Did I just get... I did, though. Health potions galore, ladies and gentlemen. What is my luck today? What is my luck? This can't be me. I know you guys have seen me play before. I don't have this kind of luck. Not a thing. What are we going to get? Uh, mushrooms. That's good for the trog. That is... I am... I'm a trogster. We need that extra pouch space. How do I make that? Get the cell hack when I... See, again, I told you, I'm... I'm, I'm greedy. I, I'm greedy. It's, it's, it's going to hurt me. In the long run. It really is. Okay, let's drop these. And we'll drop the bedroll for now. That's going to come back to bite me. How much you want to bet that come back to bite me? Guarantee you. I'm going to be like, why don't I have a bedroll later? And that's why. What passives do Trog have? Uh, the They start out with... I mean, you don't really get any passives to start out with. Um, you can get the regular passives that everyone else gets. Um, but the stats are extra 40 decay resistance and negative lightning. Negative 40 lightning. So you're weaker to lightning but stronger to decay like a regular Trog. However, if you get the poison trog outfit, where is these other trogs? There's like no trogs in this cave. You get a 60 resistance, meaning you have 100 resistance because it adds up. All right, all right, here we go. Attack twice. There we go. All right, I'm not liking this. I do not like this. That was way worse than the other one. Boo on that, but we need it for light source. Boo on that. Wow. Do I have any more health? It's going to be essential to my survival. Mushroom only run. Yeah, only eat mushrooms. I mean, you can because you can craft health potions with mushrooms. So technically, did I just go all the way around? What is happening right now? Oh, here we go. This should work, right? If I'm thinking the right thing. It does! We got the other one, guys. Gulag Golug. Or Golug Golug. Now, now we have the K damage. Ah! I found him, guys. I found, I found the Trogs. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and drop this. For a miniature light source. Watch this. Ah! 
Wow, that actually does a lot of damage considering I am... Shrogs are resistant to poison damage. Did it poison them, actually? Dodge! Ah, darn. The range on this halberd is in, it's despicable, is what it is. Truly. Look at this. Oh my word, I'm getting outranged by Trogs. Please, sir, stop it. Alright, alright. Get both of them to attack. Dodge. Nice. I always say dodge because in my mind, if I say it, it happens faster. Jeez, dude. The range of a spear. I gotta play spear. I got to. The range of a spear is way better. I think. Yeah, well, I can do the same thing. Ah! Okay. Achievement. Unlocked, maybe? That should be the last of the trogs, I think. I'm thinking. For best defense and probably more quality of life, best is holy mission. Second, blue chamber for health. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know really which to take. Well, I, I wanted you guys to help me decide on that. I really don't know which to take. Is there anything in here? Holy mission would be so good. So good. Extra protection, extra hot weather, and or extra weather in general defense. Then you have... Um, but blue chamber gets health. So... Health and mana. Only 25 mana, though. Now we get some health potions, because your boy is super lucky today. Love that every time you change items, you change colors. Yeah, it's awesome. I love it, too. All right, not what I wanted. Thank you. Wanted the health potions, not this stupid sword that I can't use. Okay. Couch capacity hurting me a little bit, guys. Hurt me a little bit. I know, I know you've seen me play before. you see seen me. I'm a pack rat. Not today. Not today. I see. I was thinking when I first started and got on, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna take Zorbor. I get extra five pouch capacity. That's genius." That's. Gen and I was like, "Wait a minute. That's all it gives me. <laughs> really? Cooldowns kind of useless on a trog. Because your skills all take so long to come back anyway. Except for push kick, but you notice the push kick isn't even that great. Protection is nice, but the forty health is better. That's what I'm thinking, Blue." thinking that um it's gonna be better i lost my track of oh you the health yeah 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 I, I really am thinking the health is gonna be better but i don't know the protection from holy mission as well as the hot weather defense would be so nice unless i screw it up and don't get hot weather defense that'd be sucky all right we're in business this is probably the best start to a trog run I could have ever had, and I got it. Here's the thing. Here, here's the thing, everybody. I'm going to go take it on. I don't know if you think I can or not. We're going to go try. We're here. We're going to try Bandit Camp. We're going to try Bandit Camp. I could enchant the armor with Aegis, thereby rendering Holy Mission more useless. I agree with that statement. Does your other outfit not give you pouch capacity? Uh, does it not? It does! Who said that? Julian with the freaking coming in clutch here. I didn't even notice. Wow. This is my favorite suit. Also, check this out. This guy looks so freaking mean. Like, I love this drug. This is my favorite drug by far. Also, the running animation. Hysterical. Man, at first or sleep. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna truck through it. We're gonna truck through it, Dova. That's how I do things. You know, will I regret it in the end? One hundred percent. But <laughs> yeah. oh shoot, desert bandits! I'm not fighting them. No sir. No sir. Really, a poison halberd would be so nice right now. Green chog for sure. Yeah, I do need to drink. I'm gonna drink before I go inside though. I want to get this. The extra thick oil that's back here for no reason. Alright, let's do this. Take some water. We do want to take healing, though, because we are beat up a little bit. I, I do have mushroom bars. We're not that bad, guys. We're not that bad. She haven't played as a truck yet. Alvaro, what's up? 
This is my first time, everybody. I, I don't know if I mentioned that yet to, and everyone heard it. This is my first time playing as Drog. I've never done this before. I'm very intrigued. It is a lot of fun so far. I wish I could duck, because I feel like, or crouch, crouch, duck, because that would make the throw bombs so much easier, but I can't, you know what I'm saying? You can carry more oil for bombs. Yeah, that's, it's kind of crazy. I guess he does have the backpack on his back, so it makes sense he has more pouch capacity. I didn't even think about that. But yeah. Trucking through is what got him through his hardcore playthrough. Yeah, Jaden, and then I just died. <laughs> sure, though. I could make the uh, horror halberd. How hard would a shell horror be to kill with this? Very? We'll have to, we'll have to see. So, we know that humans are weak to decay. That's what we know. We are all fully aware of this. It's nice not having to drop my backpack, I will say. Like, I know you don't have to all the time as a, a regular player, but... Alright, we're gonna trug through this. Heal up after. Okay. That semi-worked. We are gonna poison this hyena because he is a demon. And we're gonna... Oh, cool. Cool, I got the infection. You know, I wanted that, honestly. I was feeling a little uh, too good at this game. So I, I want the infection. Not stupid hyena. Dodge, please. Thank you. Ooh, I like that. Can I circle more? Ooh. Attack me. Come on. Man, the attacks are so slow. Fangs. Okay, we need... We, uh, we need one more Fang, though. Dang it. We still need more Fangs. How do you make the bombs? Uh, you don't actually have to make them. They are literally just thick oil. You just chuck thick oil. Uh, it's automatically made when you do it. Which is nice. Alright, we're actually going to switch to the... This guy. Now, how much weight am I? It's not bad. Uh, just in case I get hit, though. I should have used it a rag. I thought I had one on. Thing about these guys, though, is they're actually pretty easy because they attack so much and then have a wide window to get hit. Also, that was a terrible attack to use. Why would you do that to me? What are you, a dummy? You're the worst one I've fought yet. Killed you in three seconds. What is this? A Gustamir? Is that a polearm, I'm guessing? All right. Fangs! Oh, my word. I could not be more lucky, ladies and gentlemen. I could not be more lucky. This is absurd. I literally am going to have to quit playing this character because I'm getting too lucky. This is not, this is not me. This is not me. I, this doesn't happen to me, guys. Like, did I turn... Did, yeah, that's right, Yotu. Did I turn something on? Like, did I turn luck on today? Did, is that possible? Inflicts bleeding. And I can do poison now. I mean, it's, a, it's just... It gets better and better every day. Now, what does infection do? I can't remember. Lose 3% of your health per minute. Okay. Here's the problem. I don't have anything to fix that. So that's that's not good. That's what I call really not good scenario. That's all right. That raises the question, are grenades usable by trogs? Oh, uh, that is a good question. We will have to kill one of the unique bosses to find out. Let's just use a dark varnish. I mean, why not? We have it. We don't want to die. Let's use it. That's what I'm saying. This guy in here may be more challenging than I'm anticipating. I take it back. He is very weak to decay. All right, one more attack, and then I can move in. Yeah, um, the dark varnish, everybody, was a brilliant idea. <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, although I did note the other day that the... Let's just drop some stuff for now. The archers are really hard to deal with as a trog, I think. All right, let's move in close. Dodge, please. Thank you. Ice bolt. Dodge. Dang it. I have good resistance, though. We're okay. 
How often does he do the ice blast? That's the question. No! Dang it! Thought I had him. A stupid ice witch. Get out of my face. Slow down. Are you kidding me? I really... How? Come on. Come on. Come on. There's no way that happened like that. More thick oil, though. I didn't know, um... Ice witches dropped that much thick oil. I'm not healing, though, because of the stupid... Hyena eating me to death. Hmm. Booey on that. But yeah. Cooked Crabe should fix it. It does? Is it cooked Crabe? No, you're... Tr that poisons me. Although I would be immune to poison if I put on my other thing. I could try. Die! Now, here's the thing. Does that do damage over time if I just throw this on? Does it do more damage over time? Oh my word, though. Look at the poison damage. Can I get bleed on him, too? How cool would that be? Oh, look at that! Whoa, that's a way better dodge. Or maybe it's because I was heavy. I don't know. That seems like a better dodge. Let's test that. No, no, that's because I was heavy. Okay. Don't worry, I'm just tripping for no reason. Okay, guys. I just took out half of this place. All right, we're not... Ooh, that would be a good weapon, though. The the cleaver halberd? No, it's it's too slow. It's already slow enough. I can't imagine how slow it would be in the, the trog. Poison trog will boost decay damage 100%. Yeah. Halberd cleaver is going to slap in the hands of a trog. That's what I'm saying, but it's too slow, Jeffrey, you know? Should I use it? I don't know. I can't I can't carry around like four halberds is the thing. Seems like green truck plus poison rag. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm noticing as well. I am noticing that as well. Dark varnishes. We need to figure out the recipe for dark varnishes, guys. Does anyone know it off the top of their head? Do it? Alright. Does anyone off the top of their head? Because a dark varnish would literally... I mean, that's that's the playthrough right there. That's what it is. Oh, jeez. That's so slow. We're recipe to make Archmage Trog set. It's a sulfuric mushroom. With any... Chest plate, like tattered chest plate or common chest plate, that type of thing. I believe. Misma pod, I think, is required. Okay, okay, we're getting there. Ooh. Why did we stop attacking? Thank you, Trog. This is good, though. Some nice potions. We're getting some nice things that I'm gonna fill up on in about four seconds. A spear, though, guys. Shoot. Oh, we could have got a fang spear. Keep snickering at the awesome running animation. Yeah! <laughs> it's hilarious. I didn't loot that guy. Why did I not loot him? He has a travel ration. This is actually a lot of fun, guys. Like, it's more challenging, for sure. But it's... I don't know. It's really, really fun. The health decrease from the stupid infection is not fun. Is this... this an indigestion. I need a brown tea. Which is really easy to get. I need a cooking pot, though, which I don't have. Here's the problem: these guys are going. These guys are a problem. These they're they're a problem. These guys are a problem. The bow attacks or the arch ring, whatever you want to call. Look at him. Look at him. I have to kill him though. But, but but how? They ran to the back of the stage. I could do poison. I don't know how much damage I'm going to take, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shoot. I am very, very heavy. Grab that for now. So I missed with the first one. Okay, get him both to shoot me, and then... Alright. We did it! Now we put on the other one, and we run. Did that work? Did that work? 
Will they die? Run! Do, 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 do. Oh my word, the poison! What? What? <laughs> Get wrecked, sons. Who oh, had that idea? You are brilliant. You are brilliant. That was hilarious. That that was so much fun. Uh, well, second down, and I have had not that much trouble, guys. I I don't know. Can we beat the game as a drug? I it's looking like it. All right, now we are heavy. We've got to drop something. I'm listen, guys. I'm sorry. I'm honestly gonna drop this cleaver halberd. It is a beautiful weapon. As a trog, I can't do it though. Can't do it. Um, we're also gonna drop this because it's useless to us at the current moment, since it's daytime and we're headed to Complex Mountain. So, if you run to their faces, they will draw a sword and come melee. That's true. I could have done that, but gives them time to get some shots in. I don't like that. It is really, really slow. Uh, I, I don't know. It, it just wasn't feeling me, you know? It is 60 silver, Yochu, but again, money is not really our most con our highest concern at the current moment. 62 silver. We have Hackmanite in this. That's, that's a decent amount of silver. Better with Legacy. Unique Enchant. Just drop it. Should I walk over the traps and get myself killed? All right, guys. All right, guys. We have a Mantis coming up. Look at my health, though. This is this is tragic. This is a tragic moment when the stupid hyena thing... What is it? Infection is killing me so fast. Uh, Let's see. Let's switch over to this. And... What am I carrying? so heavy like a lot of things Ooh, look at him he saw me he did see me all right we're gonna we're gonna have to do this one we're gonna have to go for it all right mm -mm. here's here's my question can i when is the best time to throw the bomb because it does take time there's no way that missed there's zero chance i predicted it and it was zero All right, let's get in here. Let's, let's do some damage here. Or not. Let's not do any of what I just said. I don't know. They're, they're so tough to fight as a trog. We was weak to that, that's for sure. This is going to be the run, guys. We're just going to poison everything to death. And then watch as they stand there. Ooh, actually, though. Can we get bleed? We got bleed! That's bleed and poison, baby! <laughs> die. Literally die, dude. Look at the health drain. Get out of here. That that was... That was cool. That was cool. That was cool, guys. You have the stuff to make traps, right? Not like... Those bugs step on them when you need them to. True. Yeah, they are kind of annoying. I do have enough to make traps. I think. It's so easy to get hit as a drug. I may actually die from the... Um, no, no, no. We're, we're fine. We're fine. I can't believe we can use traps. That's so awesome. Okay. Now, what is the recipe for a trap? It's iron, linen cloth, and... That's a shiv. Is it two iron? I don't have any more iron. So, really, really did good on that one, guys. Really did good on that one. Alright, let's go get this hyena here. Where's he at, though? He's up there. He's up there. Wood tea. Yeah, I can make tea, but I have to get to a cooking station is the thing. Come on, you beast. Where's my rags? I, I could have sworn I had rags two seconds ago. Ugh, this is going to be a rough fight. This is going to be a rough fight. Two two iron, one linen, and one wood. That's, that's what I messed up. 
Dutch. Okay. Is that bleed? That's bleed. Ignore him. He's gonna die. Okay, we get the human to run after me. Wait till he dies, and then run. There is Sierzo Svishan. Or actually, just, just kill him. The circle attacking seems to be working with hyenas very, very well. Woo -hoo -hoo, at the last second, I got him. Okay, we got more iron. Come on. Get me in here. Sir. Please. Sir. Sir! Sir, her, please work. Thank you. All right. Where'd that guy go, guys? You know, crumbling anger gives burning poison and extreme poison. What? How do I get that? Did that guy chase the pearl bird? Yeah, I need a cooking pot. I don't have a cooking pot, though. I don't know where it went. Oh, here he is. He's chasing the pearl bird. We have to end his life just because... I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Oh my word, the stupid animation, dude. The stupid animation almost got me killed. Alright, alright. Okay, okay. Dodge. If we can get one more hit in, he'll bleed. Like, every battle is a... Or every fight is a challenge. With a trog. But, I'm starting to get the hang of it, I think. There was one in the tree? No way. Was there really? I didn't even pay attention to that, Jay. What am I doing? What am I doing? Look how much faster I am. That's, that's crazy. Sir, could you die already, please? Thank you. I did not even notice. What what was I thinking? Here we go. Ha! Can't believe I didn't even notice that. Are you gonna die or what, dude? Bleed does not does not kill like it used to. It really doesn't. I'll get rid of that in a second, guys. I can't right now because I'm in the middle of a fight for my life. One, two, three, one, two, and third attack. Dodge. Yes. That was the wrong time to attack. And we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen it here on the Sheen Shots channel. Amazing. Amazing gameplay here. Okay, so now what we need is wood. Thanks, Jay, by mentioning that. I actually completely uh, forgot that that was... You use the power attack with the halberd as a trog? Yeah, but it is this. Oh, you're talking about the moon swipe? No, you cannot. If you're talking about moon swipe, you cannot. It does not work. I'm gonna put the cooking pot down. Now we have this and this. Which cures infections? Booyah! Blue, oh man, I gotta go, lads. See you, good night. Catch you later, Blue. Thanks for stopping by, awesome. Epic. Spawned in a set of lightweight cooking pot and alchemy station. Grinding an old, old word for a week in real. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. It's a lot of work to get that stuff. A lot of work to get the lightweight stuff. Uh, honestly, a little bit too much in my opinion, but hey. What do I know? I only play the game. A lot. <laughs> How much meat did I get? Holy cow. Alright, so we are overweight with good pot. Start eating stuff. Which path do you guys want me to take? I'm thinking blue chamber. Honestly, because... There's a lot of trogs, and I'm feeling the trog fights today. Now, we could do Holy Mission, but uh, does it give us anything that we need? I don't think so. We could have we could have Zephyrian help us, though. Hey, what's up, Michael? Welcome to the stream. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Which path? We're definitely not taking the old heroic kingdom path. That's terrible. It's a terrible path. It's the worst. Mm, point 0.8 over. Okay. It is the worst. Who's attacking me now? I heard you. A hyena? Oh, I'm down to climb with the hyena. I know how to kill you now. Get out of the bush so I can see you. Come on, get out of the bush. Thank you. Uh, oh. I honestly thought he was going to attack me there. I don't know why he didn't. Yeah, see, that's what I thought he was going to do last time. He didn't, though. What a fool. The foolish hyena. I would say holy mission, but can't use the imbue spell. I think blue chamber is fine. Imbue spell? What imbue spell? Oh, you're saying for, like, groups of enemies? I got an idea, guys. Here's what we'll do. We'll go holy mission, and we'll go back through blue chamber. That way we clear the caves. See, you know, this, is big, this is big brain thoughts. That's what this is. That's what this is, guys. Big brain thoughts. Need Roland happy if you want the mana later. That is true. That is true, Tim. Um, I don't know. I didn't talk to Roland at the beginning, but I can. It, it doesn't matter that much. You don't have to. If you do it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm still deciding on that. Really, really not sure. I don't know. Do it. Can I take this pro bird? Uh, pro bird's kind of been sucked. Pearlbird fighting has kind of been sucky lately. That's what I was trying to say. It didn't come out right. I don't know. Pearlbirds are pointless now, unless you want the meat, but I don't really need the meat from them. I have plenty. Which of the two DLCs do you think is worse? I think Caldera is worse. Um, now, I think that the challenge of Caldera is awesome. And I actually really like the enemies. So as far as enemies and challenge, it's great. It's a lot of fun. But the town building is not... Well, it's it's not as fun as the train dungeon over in Sorbor. Oh, Rodolfo. Yeah, yeah I, I was talking about these first, but yeah, I get you. Yeah, no, I really do think that they, they missed the mark with the town building in Caldera. I just think that... It's too tedious to build the town, and I also think that be, while you're building it, you don't have as much customization as you it feels you should be. It's like you can customize it. You get to pick what you what you build, but really do you because you're kind of forced to go one way or another to get certain things. While I enjoy that town building to a point, I it's it's not my favorite. It really isn't. Not my favorite. And the train dungeon, which is the Rust and Vengeance quest line, is my favorite thing to do in the entire game. It is. It's a blast. It is a blast. Alright, so here's what we do. That's why I'm so heavy. I have two of those. Put those in here. Put these in here. And these. These. I'm not going to need any of them because I'm a pro. <laughs> yeah, right. Just cheated the town part. Yes, that's what... Honestly, that's what I've been doing. And I haven't even built the full town yet. But when I do, I'm probably going to cheat almost every time. I'm going to get samples on one character and transfer them to the other. It's too tedious. It really is. And I don't think anyone wants to sit there. Like, me and Liger are actually do doing it legit. What you need? In Listen our up. stream on Thursdays. What you need? Listen up. And I don't know. It, it just feels like you're constantly walking out, clearing all the caves, running back, walking out, clearing... All I don't know. It just doesn't seem as well done as the other ones. So we are going to need a poison bomb. If we can Zephyrian to walk out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What breakthroughs were you thinking? Uh, hey, Kelvin, how's it going? You can only use passives? Yes, you can only use passives. I'm thinking... I'm not sure. People have been mentioning a bunch of different things. Cabal Hermit. Um, Really a lot of them. A hex, definitely, I think. The quality of life on hex is just going to be too good to pass up. Oh my word, I'm killing them so fast. I saved Zephyrian's life, too. But definitely Warrior Monk for the extra stam, I think. 
I'm thinking that for sure. Dodge. Woo. I mean, look at... Dude, I did all... I, did I poison both of them or just one? Because it looks like the other one didn't even get the poison on. Or did he? No, he got poisoned. Oh my word, he got a lot poisoned. rid of that guy who's annoying as crap. Alright. Dodge backwards, please. Thank you. That was the best time to... The problem with the trog is, I'm noticing, is the melee animations, it's really hard to attack after attacking. Like, for a human, the timing is different. It, it's hard to explain, but... The timing's way different. What's so good about Hex? Uh, it gives you your stuff back. So, like, when you get a kill, you get health. When you get... And it gets rid of burn. Look at my burn on my character right now. See all this stuff? It gets rid of that every time you get a kill. Well, that is not what you want to look at. But, yeah. Which is why I almost always take it. I'm thinking it's going to be good for trucks. Warrior Monk and Wild Hunter would both be nice. That's what I was thinking originally. Someone mentioned that... What was the one someone mentioned? One of the others would be really good, too. I think mana regen from is completely pointless with the truck. So that is not something we will be doing. Do we want to fight the the red truck? Oh, I can get a cool halberd now. Let's do this. You want some of this? I take it back. I have a lot of stuff on me that's making this not good. Yeah. We have to wear this for now. Woohoo! Look at that. It's like staggering an opponent's much harder as a trog, I feel. Here we go. Here's the weapon. Where's it at? Does he not have it on him? Where'd he drop it? Here it is. The spore, Albert. Or mushroom apple. This thing weighs a lot. Holy cow. The only problem is I really did like the bleed on that. Poison's going to be so much better. I don't know. I don't know. Extra reduction. Ro oh, yes. Rogue. Someone mentioned rogue for the traps. That's what it was. The only problem with Trog is you don't have like a lot of... Uh, you don't have a lot of room to carry stuff. So I don't know how many traps I'd actually be able to use. Hit me. I dare you. It does nothing. Oh, no, I'm poisoned. Ah, very scary. <laughs> what a noob. Uh, by the way, I'm 100% resistant to decay with this outfit on. That's, that's why I did that. <laughs> Thought it was funny. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, this way better. What is what is that? Although the damage from physical, jeez. You gonna do something? I don't really want to get hit again specifically, but attacking a poison trog with poison. I'm as intelligent as that trog. <laughs> Reusable play traps is a must for this, I think. True though, Rodolfo, you are you're making some good points today. I don't know what you took. But you are on point with the advice today. You are on point with the advice today. Reusable traps are going to be great for this. Now, or not traps, pressure plates. Sorry, uh, which would which would make me not have to use those at all. The traps. Then I have to carry materials though, so it's still a bit of weight. Like, three pressure plate traps should be good for everything, I'm thinking, though. We're gonna have to go with that. That gives me stealth, I think, too, which might be useful. I think you have to crouch to get the stealth, though. So it might actually not be useful. Alright, let's get some buffs here, because we are completely unbuffed right now. Uh, extra reduction on dodge plus stealth and traps. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the dodge! I didn't even think of that. I, see, I never take that skill tree because it hinders me for most of the way I play my builds. Um, so I always actually forget how good that is. 
All right, we need like some teas or something. Where's my stuff that gives me my burn away? It's so hard to see sometimes when you're in your inventory. I think that's all I have. I thought I had more meat. Oh, here it is. Running animation though is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Don't kill me, I'm a trog. How about this? You ready for this? This is my favorite part of this, honestly. Can I lock on? Yeah, poisoned. Get poisoned. Look how much damage it does compared to what it would normally do. Because of a hundred percent decay damage bonus. I haven't I haven't had a hard time getting them either. Where's the fury in it? It runs so fast. It's absurd, honestly. Oh, I imbued the wrong weapon. What a doofus. Come over here. I want to fight you with my friend. Dude, that wasn't even close to me. What were you thinking? Circle. Yeah, see, um, sir, you did a bad job. Now I put this on so I can freaking see. I hope we get a few patches for DE. Holy Mission has a game-breaking bug in Sirocco. The faction's unique building-related passive is worthless. Is that in, uh... Is that on console? Or is that still on PC? I've heard of that actually. Someone mentioned that to me before. Where it's like stupid strong because you're immune to all elemental attacks. I don't know. The special attack on this truck seems useless. Pretty bad. It is on PC. Okay. Someone had mentioned that to me before, and I was like, wow, that's too strong. Also, there's currently a bug on console. I don't know if anyone knows about this. Um, someone mentioned it in one of my streams. The Lantern of Souls is actually giving resistances if you have it on your backpack. So if you're currently playing on console, Blue Chamber is the dumbest faction quest in the entire game because it makes you ridiculously strong. Because usually, that... Uh, Lantern is only usable if you hold it in your hand. It gives you the resistances. Apparently, it's giving it if you have it in your backpack, though. Cleaver Halberd? Where is that at? Was that in here? I mean, I have one earlier, though, but... Oh, I could sell it. That's true. Cool potion. Nice. How hell heavy am I now? Very. Yo, too. Reusable trap sounds good. Where am I at? Yo, Zafarian never comes down here. So you remember you have to balance your pocket space, and with Hex, you... Save and stats, burn consumables. We definitely are going Hex. I may go Hex and the Rogue, though. And just not go Warrior Monk. Because Stamina... Here's the thing about Stamina. Like, if you properly manage it, you don't need extra. Yeah, Kilvin, it's, uh... It's a good Halberd. I used it a little bit ago, actually. I cleared the Montcalm... It has so many downsides, though, like attack speed. All right, we're going to come back through here later. I don't know if I can take that guy. Actually, poison, I could definitely take him. Never mind. Take it back. What do we got here? Some good foods that I can't use yet. Oh, you know what? I can debuff the... Uh, I can debuff this guy. Maybe. He's pretty fast, though. He's pretty fast. Rogue Breakthrough is useless for back... Packless trogs though. No, because it gives it, it not it doesn't just give the backpack. It gives you less uh like even when you roll it gives less. It's not as powerful, yeah, I get your point, but it's it's not completely useful. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. It still does quite a bit. Dude, potions right now? I, I need to just sell food instead. And this is why I was saying money's really not an issue. If I go blue chamber, I need a heart. So we may keep that for now. Can't buy a town for so long, guys. So long. It's gonna it's gonna hurt me on the inside. I only need two of those for now. We can actually craft a lot of this stuff later. So Yo, that's awesome. Where'd my alchemy kit go? Did I leave that back there? I did. I'm a fool. What a fool I am. 
Okay. Am I still overweight? Darn it. And I don't have water. Is, I, this is a problem, guys. I need to figure out what I actually need and what I don't. Here's what I need to do. I need to just start eating all my foods. Uh, pungent paste, really good for stamina and health burn. Uh, we have too many rations, but that's not a big deal right now. Let's go fight the Tonosaur first before we do anything else. Leave all the kids at the beginning. Yeah, I did, yeah. I left them all at the beginning. I don't know why I did that. So, you have come. If you be the first time Why'd I talk to you? I didn't need mana. to talk to you. You will gain your first Okay, spell. one point. The We're only doing spark. one point of mana for now. But, check this Listen out, guys. Me. Uh, I don't know if I can actually use... I don't think I can use any of these. So, this is what the... Should I use it on a guy? I'll use it on the Tonosaur. I'll show you down there. That'll be, that'll be way better. During the Ask Giants quest, it helps to bring them to the collective. Yes, did someone ask about the Giant Heart? Stealth passive is also good for isolating enemies. I love this game for that reason, though. There's no objectively right answers. Yeah, that's also the problem, though, Tim. You know? Like, it's so good, but it's also like, what do I really choose? Um, if he had an alchemy kit, bro. We don't need to buy the cool boon because i actually will buy it to show you guys i will buy it to show you guys or no yeah yeah, yeah. magic is the you can train of a listen to me and so i have cool now um but when i put it in my skill slots this is what happens it just won't let me use it so yeah, that is worthless. All boons pointless in the game. For a trog. The potions, no. Potions are good. And I think I have a... I do have a cool potion, which will make this a little bit better. Um, if we poison him... I want to poison him and then see if I can make a fire egg. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go get him, though, guys. What's up, Pentagram? Yeah, I've actually had some really good luck on this run so far. It's been kind of crazy. I never have luck, and I know I think you know that. Alright, alright, alright. Did that reach? It did. Okay, that's all we needed. Now we can go back upstairs. Did he get poisoned, though? Can't tell. I don't even know if he got poisoned. It doesn't look like he did. Yo, what the heck is up with that? He didn't get poisoned. I hit him, though. Did it not get him enough, maybe? Got him that time. That was kind of bogus, honestly. He's not getting poisoned. Is he res- Oh, he's a reptilian. What am I doing? He's a reptilian. They have resistances. Duh. Um, so, let's do this. Oh, shoot, he's actually coming way over here. I'm so fast, though, as a truck. We're gonna craft... I used both of my things, though. A... This one. Take this potion. Take this. He is coming up. Um, eat this real quick. Light Elysium. I was gonna use... A Maybe I should switch armors. Should I switch armors? I don't know. Because poison is pointless, right? I thought it's still built up, though. Why is it not building up? That's the problem. That, or that's my concern. Drop all my heavy stuff. Where's he at? Because that's terrifying. But he's not here. Dude, I'm still heavy. This is crazy. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Ah, the range. Come on. Come on. I can debuff him. You want to see me debuff him? I was going to do that and I forgot. I think he's out of range. Nope, he's in range. Okay. That's what that skill does. Alright. 
I do have really good poison resistance on that. Although he doesn't do poison, just cold. Jeez. Yeah, this is rough, guys. This is rough. I think I needed traps for this guy, honestly. Well, oh, no. Bandages are easier to take as a trog. Okay. Okay. I like that. I don't, I can't like debuff him because I don't have any fire. That's the problem, I think. Come on. I don't know. This is so difficult as a drug with this guy. I'm feeling. Like, look at this. It's insane how. Because mostly because he can, he has more range and stuff than I do. Ice rag. Yeah. I, do I have one though? I don't think I have one. I love how fast I can run, though. I'm just... Ew. He is really fast, though. So he catches up to me pretty quick. Yeah, I don't have any more ice rags. It's kind of frustrating. I used all my good stuff before this fight. Can I go buy one? You guys want to see if I can buy stuff while he's fighting me? That'd be hilarious. I did use the cool bone boon, which would have been helpful, but... No, ice, he's a he's a ice no, tonosaur, which is why it's not good to use ice, actually. I used it for resistance. Let's buy this, though. Okay. Gotta figure something out here. Those are fast. Can I get bleed on it? What do I do with my other halberd? I think I left it back there because I was like, this one's better. This is where my luck runs out, ladies and gentlemen. Did I really leave it back there, though? Because there's my other halberd. Here's these. I really did. I got this, guys. Mm, don't worry. Dodge! If I can actually get hits in, he does take damage. Okay. I really thought he was going to hit me with that. Dodge! Okay. Look at that. Two hits, and it's insanely fast. Insanely fast. I can't debuff him. I can't put anything on him. Can't really do anything. Man, this is hard fight. Shoot. Okay. Okay. Uh, dropped it in the first room. Okay. I gotta go get that. I, th I think Bleed's gonna be the best bet here. Bleed is gonna be our hero. Bleed is going to... Can I even get back up here, though? I don't think I can. Darn. Mm, fooey. Big fooey. <sighs> Do I have any traps? I don't think I had any traps either. Like... Dang it, I'm gonna have to come back, aren't I? Take one extra mana to heal. I could, yeah. Just keep taking mana to heal constantly. That'd be hilarious. I mean, you can do that. The ma I have the mana trog outfit, which would do more damage, but at the same time, it makes me extremely weak. Like, look, he just he, he keeps regenerating to full health. He keeps regenerating to full health every time I fight him. I gotta have to come back, guys. I can't beat him now. I I, I gotta make the call. You know what I'm saying? I gotta make that call. I cannot beat him with the current equipment I have. I'm sorry. I know it saddens you to see this, but... We're gonna have to go do Blue Chamber. I, I can't do it. Something in the chest respawns. I should I could check that. Yeah. I forgot to check that. I thought he would get bleed on him. I didn't know that they couldn't even get bleed or poison. Like, are immune to it. I thought it got on him, but they took no damage. I have a brutal spear. It's too slow. Doesn't help me. In any way. Rage discipline buff is super nice. Yeah, I don't have enough mana yet. I will here soon. Okay, so now we can go blue chamber. Yeah, I'll come I may come back for Brutal Spear. It's just that it's too slow. I can't do anything. You used to kill it a couple hours ago. Is it really Yotu? That's crazy. 
I guess I could do that. You know what I needed to do was I needed to get, um, I needed to get a fire reg. That was my problem. I used my fire stuff on, oh, shoot. What is the arc? Oh, no, he's over there. We're good. We're good. Come here. Hey, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't want to fight all of you at the same time. That's going to hurt. All right, one down. Does he have... He does not. Sometimes they drop thick oil. I, they're not now. My luck ran out after the Tonosaur. It's just like, no. All right, all right. Oh, I can't actually use that other skill if I get my other ability on. We have to take certain hits with this character. That's the problem. Dodge, please. Thank you. One more hit. Can you imagine fighting the Trog Queen as this, though? It'd be so difficult. Although you can be immune to decay, which is nice. So what we can do is we can actually put this on and cast this. This is what gives me discipline and rage. I think it heals me too a little bit. It does, yeah. Um, And I can use that because of the negative mana cost. That's the only reason, though. I actually think the other halberd was better, guys. The one with the bleed. Maybe. Hide around the rock with the one punch character that I began this some hours ago. Hmm. Really, why am I so heavy though? I am carrying a lot of stuff. All right. Stamina potion, a health potion. Oh my word, with the health potions, dude. When have you ever seen so many health potions? Never. Only here. Found a fire varnish and poke it to death around the rock. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I'm saying. I, I think I, poking it would be fine, but I have to have the fire varnish. Here's where the real challenge comes in, is the, um, these guys do, I don't have any resistance, though. Well, here we go. I'm fine with him getting on me, that's okay. Alright, stupid stairs. I hate stairs in this game. Just be like, nope, no hitbox, zero, doesn't work. Nada, doesn't exist. All right, does he attack twice? Yes, I'm thinking. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Um, here we go. All right, he is poisoned, which, because he's a trog, he's going to take very little damage from. Some is enough in my book. Just got to make sure he does the second attack. He's not doing, look, he's not doing the second attack. He's poking me. Now he does it. That's what I'm telling you. That's so stupid. Refuses to do it until I attack one time. Come on, dude. Dodge! Okay. Dodge! Oh, my word. The dodging is so slow out of that animation. It's absurd. Alright. I like the speed at which you can take health potions, though. That's really nice. Thick oil! We got it! Uh, which chest is Shriek in? It's in... No, the Vampiric is in Sierra's storage. Oh, that's why I was going to do Vendable. The Vampiric is in Vendable storage. Uh, Shriek is in... The slide, I believe. I think I put the... Uh... Which one did I do the other? Duty. I think I put Duty in... Shoot! Not what I wanted to see, honestly. Put duty in the Hollow Marsh one. Okay, okay. We're going to need an imbue for this guy. I I'm calling it right now. Oh, my word, the speed. Can I get behind him, though? Looks like I can. He still hits me, though. I can dodge it, though. What the heck is happening right now? All of the dodging in the game is not working. Very brilliant. These guys are actually difficult certain times. I usually don't have a problem with them, though, because I can stagger them. I can't stagger them right now. Woo! Rough, guys. Okay. If you're on their side, they don't hit you. 
Okay, he's poisoned now. Watch him die. I'm gonna go fight this guy, actually. They have weakness to lightning, so this should be very nice. Yes, yes it is. When is he gonna die, though? I don't know how much weakness he has to poison. Obviously not a lot. Elemental will have aim hacks. It's true, though. They really do. They hit you so well. Sometimes it doesn't seem like they can, and then they just whack you a good one. You're like, ow. Alright, there's the poison I was looking for. Oh, he's healing him. Okay, through the debuff. That's fantastic. I don't think so, dude. Get out of here. Wow, they're just constantly doing it, aren't they? One more hit. Staggered. Look how much stamina I used on that. Wow! Take a quick potion. Oh, you know what? I could hotbar potions, guys. I can hotbar potions. That may be a really good idea for, like, the Taunusler and stuff. Just need to rush the fire dude and the obsidian elemental one. Uh, yeah, if you do rush him in that cave, it's not too bad. I usually die in that one, though. That's where that's where I die. <laughs> that's that's hard. How's this trouble life? Uh, trog life is rough, bro. It's rough. Ooh, fire wreck. But it's a lot of fun, actually. It's unique. I wish we had a bit more pocket space. What does this do? Cure burn mana. This gives me impact resistance. Doesn't really help me against a uh, Taunasaur, but. Alright, we gotta clear this whole cave here. What's what's the hardest thing in here? Probably the rock mantis. Mana mantis, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so let's take some stamina. We also need health, unfortunately. Like, look how much fast you take food, so that's actually crazy. Do, 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 do. What do I... I have a ton of fire stuff now. I actually might be able to take that Taunasaur. Might is the, the keyword there. Alright, I'm gonna stop hotbarring or randomly clicking my items, and I'm gonna hotbar them. This is not going to go well, is it? Dodge backwards. I wish I had the lightning rag that I had earlier. Why can't I use my skill here? Alright, these guys with their charge attack are actually manageable. Manageable. Still a problem, but I really do think the Fang Halberd was way better. I can't believe I got rid of that. Especially in a stupid place like that. I should have kept it. This thing has the poison damage, but with the enemies I'm fighting, it's kind of useless. Dodge that. Man. I really do not like how long the animations take as a trog. Holy cow. Also not healing very fast. Does anyone notice this? Alright. I'm not attacking him. I'm gonna wait till he does two more attacks. I'm not doing it. He keeps getting out of the thing, though. Die! We did it! Alright. Even minuscule trogs are giving us a challenge today. It's rough. That is rough, guys. Okay, what else is in this cave? Does anyone know? I know the I know the mana mantis is here somewhere. I believe he's in the back left. What's this way? Oh, it's gotta be this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the entrance? Okay. So the mana mantis is in the back entrance. Why am I not healing? It's so slow. Alright, come here, little Choggy boy. Mana Trog to heal now. 
Oh, yeah, I need to switch. That's what I need to do. All right, wait till this guy does something stupid like that. Wait till he attacks now. He's not going to. There we go. All righty. Do I not have enough mana yet? Not quite. I have plenty of mana eating things, though. Does it help burn? I feel like it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. We'll have to work on it. Really, Hex would be so good right now. The guy can't move. <laughs> can't move in that either. Hearing a lot of potions for quality of life right now, and uh, need to quit. Is he back here? I feel like he's back here. Dude, where is this guy at? He's freaking me out. I always forget where he's at. There he is. I think. No. He's not in here. Okay. It's the other room he's in. Free buffs are true, though. The discipline and enrage are amazing. Foods and consumables look... Yeah, they're way faster. Way faster. Oh, can I get more thick oil? Like, look at that animation. Even that's faster. Alright, someone said two iron. I don't have two iron. I only have one. I keep having one iron. It's not useful. Oh, there he is. Can I lock on yet? Sometimes I've been able to lock onto him when they're in the ground. Get as close to the... Dodge! That'll kill me. Okay. Look at the damage. Wow. Alright, alright, dude. Can you come in here where I can see you? That might be helpful. Alright. I can actually I can actually fight him a little bit. Maybe. The range of that, by the way, way, way more than you would think. Look, it just feels like every attack is deliberately two times slower. Not even ha like so much slower. Even on the widest of windows, it seems like I can still get hit. He's just not attacking. Oh, there we go. Aha! That was the hardest thing in here, I think. That was the hardest thing in here, so we should be okay now. But yeah. Whew. Rock beetle. Or gravel beetle, I guess. What you want to call it. I've noticed that sometimes I say the wrong thing in live streams just because I'm used to saying that. That's what I'm used to calling it. And so when I make videos on stuff, I'll call it the wrong thing and I'll either have to go back and change it or I'll just call it the wrong thing. <laughs> I think that's everything. We need to find the palladium to make sure. But we could make a horror spear. That would be decently strong It'd be way stronger than the current thing i'm using holy cow all right come here see even after i stagger him with push kick it's so easy for them to just get right back up and hit me all right he's poisoned now I feel like metallic enemies might be a little bit easier with this staff, maybe. I don't know. I feel like the conf Why am I not being able to use- Oh, because I don't have the- Darn it. Not wearing that other armor is killing me right now. Alright. Let's pop this on. And next time we see an enemy, we will use that. Okay. Now, how do I get out of here? Does anyone have directions? <laughs> get rid of bad habits isn't easy. True. Uh, it really is not easy. I heard something. I heard a noise. I don't like noises.
I knew it. I knew there was one more in here. That's why I came over here. Alrighty. That should be Blue Chamber. So we do not have to come back to Blue Chamber ever. Let's eat some stuff. I don't know. What do you what do you guys think? You think I can take that guy? I really don't think I can. Where do I go here? The Tonosaur? I think this is one way only since you drop a cliff at the entrance. Yeah. Can't go back through Holy Mission that way. Alright, there's more iron scrap. We need to... Really, we just need to store things. Like, a lot of things. Okay, so here is the flag. I'm getting so lost. I never get lost, but I did this at random. So now I'm lost. Ooh. Keep finding useful things, guys. It's... it's Crazy. All right, there's the skull head. Does that mean it's this way? Yeah. Right here. Okay. So that was the blue chamber. Wasn't too difficult. It was quite challenging, though. I don't know if we can take this guy yet. I really would like, like some traps or something. Uh, need to go now. Good luck with the legendary Trog Adventures. Hey, catch you later, Istvan. Thanks for stopping by. Let's grab the axe. Um, I could have for iron. That's right. That's a good point. Do I have wood, though? I don't. And I don't believe he respawns down there. I think he stays up here. I don't think we're going to be able to fight him. We're going to have to come back with actual traps. The mini-bosses are going to be much more difficult. Um, than, like, if you played as a trog in the old outward. Or old word, as people call it. I think that's funny. Yeah, he's down there now. We're just not going to be able to fight him, I don't think. This, this weapon I have is useless to him. So. Alright, have we decided on a faction quest that I should take, by the way? Thinking Blue Chamber to get the key. Shock playthrough. What's up, Grilled Ribeye? How's it going? What's up? I'm honestly thinking the Blue Chamber just to get the key faster and also for numerous other reasons. Alright. I keep wanting to drop my backpack with this truck because he's got that huge thing on his back. Alright, that was my last thick oil. This is going to hurt a lot. Can I add a dot? Yeah, I can dodge. Wish I could block that. I can't. Why, you're, why are you doing that? I'm right next to you. Dodge that. He should die now. He did not. Oh, my spore's broken. My, my halberd's broken. That's why. I'm like, why am I doing no damage at all? Uh, this is doing no damage. What? Th that that makes sense. Uh, fair enough. I'm gonna have to use this. Did the ice litter drop anything good? Not really. He does not drop anything good, Rodolfo. He really doesn't. A lot of the mini bosses don't drop anything good. Some of them drop bombs and arrows, but that's about it. There's blue sand somewhere. Okay. I can smell it. Not really. But I know it's here. I can't find it. What the heck is it? Hmm. Dude, I'm telling you, there's blue sand like here. Oh, I saw it. It was like right here. What is happening? I have to turn my brightness all the way down so I can see it. Can't find it. Near the star? It's back over here? Really? I don't see it. Always one at the end of the beach in my experience. 
I'm not seeing it at all. It's not even showing up. Usually you can see it sparkle a little bit. Am I blind or what, guys? Like... This is crazy. There has got to be... Blue sand. There's always one thing of blue sand. Whatever. I'm not waiting around. Between the star and the shelf. That wall. Look, I'm walking around, though. I thought it was there, too. I can't find it. I cannot find it at all. It's not showing up. Don't know. Bro, have you, you have taught me everything I know about this game. Thank you. And yes, you're blind. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. I literally can't find it. Uh, <laughs> glad I was able to help with the game, though. Oh, I don't have a harpoon. Common restroom and legacy. Oh, yes. Yeah, if you want to do this, noob question. Um, Got you. You do have to just take a common mushroom and place it in a legacy chest. And then make a new character. It's actually pretty easy. And very fun. We're going to buff up because I have all these potions for no reason. And also going to use a poison rag. Um, let's save these for later so we can make some health potions. And we're going to use... I don't know. What, what do you guys want to use? Nothing since I don't have anything. Cool. Uh, use one of these. Yeah. Still trying to learn the game. I still haven't found any good weapons yet. Uh, there are a ton of good weapons. Um, but yes, it is. You do have to find them. And it can be difficult to find them at first. Ah, uh, but Fang weapons are really good starters, I, I will tell you that. Alright, let's see how hard this guy is, because his attacks are brutal. Does this poison? I don't think it does. Actually, some of them put afflictions and some of them don't. Yes, it does. Okay, he is poisoned. Look how much damage you take now, because he's weak to poison. Now I just sit here and block. Wait till he attacks. I feel like after playing as a trog, I should play so much better as a regular... Uh, player. You know what I'm saying? I may actually turn my FOV up, too, because the trog is taking up more of the screen. Wow. It was a surprisingly easy fight. I don't think I can carry this tower shield, actually. Which is sad. Here's what we'll do. We'll drop the mushroom halberd. And we'll pick up the tower. Since it sells more. Since it's broken anyway. I think I'm interested in a gunslinger mage speedster. Looked up your video on speedster in the classic sick. It is sick. Okay. My experience with speedster is very meh. Because I haven't played a lot of it. Um, but I did play around with it to test it. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Um, you have to really figure it out, though. One of the skills lets you take a hit without taking damage, though, which is really, really cool. Still no... Oh, my word. Look at all the bandits, guys. What was happening? Can we speed past them? We're going to. More like trudge past him because we're so heavy right now. <laughs> Alright, we need to go back to Sierra one more time to throw a bunch of stuff in our chest and then we'll come back and go to Berg, probably. How's it going, boss? My connection is poor here at my new job, so I'll catch you after work. Okay, catch you later, Daniels. Uh, it's going pretty fun. Going pretty fun. You, you see words, guys. It's going pretty good. It's actually a lot of fun to play this and I have... I've I'm struggling a bit with certain enemies. That's for sure. Ah, oh, we gotta go this way. Struggling a bit. I could have poisoned him with the broken thing, couldn't I have? Because it still applies the affliction. We're actually gonna head in here and grab my halberd real quick, since we're going right by it. Two minute cooldown on eating that hits rough, though. Uh, you're saying the rough... Yeah, well... Longer cooldowns do suck. Alfie Sheen, you're so handsome. <laughs> I am quite charming, are I not? <laughs> Much appreciated, Alfie. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, the cooldown is actually really, really nice uh, from Speedster. I feel like it complements... Um, what is, what is the thing it complements? It's... Fist weapons, gauntlets. I feel like it, it complements gauntlets so well, it's hard to look past. Alright, here's my Fang Halberd that I dropped. Now I'm really heavy. So let's figure out what else I can drop here. I have a lot of good stuff, guys. I have a lot of good stuff. It's sad to see it go. We're gonna scrap the iron from here. It's sad to see that go too, but we have to. Stop picking things up, Sheen. Ah! The skill, yeah. Mm. The The problem with my trog skills is, yeah, the cooldown. I feel like they should have a little bit better cooldown. Like, check this out. Um, 300 and 240. That's a lot. Although they're really good skills, it's just, wow. I mean, this one's spammable, though. So. I can't complain too much. Does anyone know where any more, like... Thick oil nodes are on the way back to Sierra. I think I already hit all the ones I could. Can the truck learn new skills? The truck cannot learn any new skills as in terms of active skills. Um, you can use any passive skills in the game. Uh, skill tree wise and stuff like that. But you cannot use active skills. So it's what makes it very, very challenging. As well as the pocket space since you don't have a backpack. It's very much a challenge run. Sometimes people be like, oh, I want to do it. It sounds fun. And then they're frustrated by the fact that it it's weakens you so much. But that's the whole point of it. Oh, guys, I can get the other one. I got a wool shroom. A wool shroom lets me get a new outfit. That's so awesome. Why am I so slow? Is this hill going to kill me? Wouldn't it be sad? This is what I died by. Um, also don't need to go up this hill. I went the wrong way. That was helpful, though. Okay, so now I have, uh, all of that. That was crazy. Do I have a chest plate, though? I don't have a chest plate right now. But a wool shroom gives you the blue trog, if I remember correctly. And I think I do. Drop this. We'll pick another one up on the way back. Sounds looks fun once it gets too easy. Yeah, like, once you understand the game enough, this definitely uh, gives you something nice to work towards. I I, I don't want to say I'm good at the game, because I definitely have certain builds I'm good with, but others I suck at. So, like, overall, I don't think I'm one of the better players. But if, like, a mage build, I, I could take down anything with a mix of a mage and melee. Melee is challenging. I haven't done a ton of melee. If you do... Although melee is, it's it's really weird. That's what the way outward works is melee is hard, but it's also easy if done correctly. So like if you use brace and you use all the counters with the great sword, melee is the easiest thing in the world. You just delete everything while they attack you. But then again, counters are hard to hit. So I do feel like uh, melee attacks are more difficult, in my opinion. Melee play style that is. I got the endurance potions, but I never got any great endurance potions, which is what I needed this whole time. There's another node near the shipwreck. Oh, I'll go hit that when I go out. Sweet. That sounds awesome. Because I know there's the node right there, but I already hit that one. Uh, I guess I'm going to save Sears. I mean, I'm going to Perg. I might as well. We got to complete Vendivolt anyway just to complete it. So why not, you know? Doesn't sound too hard. I don't really think Old Legion Spear is that all, all that good. The range would be nice, but the speed it just of my guy already is frustrating. Confusion Sweep Kick helps a lot with melee combat. That too. That is the other. Like a good rogue build is almost unbeatable. I mean, you got traps, you got Sweep Kick, you have con good Confusion... Those builds are really fun to play. I like those. Totally agree. Rune Knight is the way to go. Either damage in melee is pretty fun. Yeah, no, I love a uh, Rune Knight. Like a good Rune Knight. Honestly, using Radiant Wolf Sword and going Holy Mission with runes, really strong. 
Melee is outright OP in my experience. Once you stack physical damage increases, you get upwards of nearly 150 damage with the SAR Great X. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, melee is difficult, but Greetings, technically friend. stronger. And I think they did a good job when they they made the game by doing that. Uh, because if you notice, they specifically made magic strong, but it doesn't stack as easily as melee does in terms of like damage increases a good amount of money too do i need money though i, I really what do can i do all right let's grab this and go take a nap as well you can play Venable before the faction quest. You get the Sierzo town key early if you wanted to go a different faction. Yeah, that is true, Taylor. I should... I thought about doing that. But at the same time, Blue Chamber just gives that nice health increase. 40 health is nothing to laugh at. You know what I mean? It really isn't. Do I have an alchemy kit? Why do I not have an alchemy kit? We have to buy one because we have to make those health potions so that it doesn't rot. With Wind Infusion, the impact damage is hilarious. Basically, everything kisses the ground on a couple of hits. That's true, Yotu. Uh, and that's why the last build I made was a physical damage build with Wind Infuse. It was, it was fun. Before that, I really hadn't used it much because I usually went Wind Sigil, but... Hey there. I thought it was a blast. Really did. Uh, I need, like, barely anything. That didn't help at all. There we go. We now have an alchemy kit, which means we can make a ton of health potions. And really, health potions... Oh, I already have wood. Nice. Really, health potions will be better when I don't have as much burn. Yeah, I did leave it in the dungeon. I It was just too heavy to bring back. I don't know what I was thinking. We need to buy an outfit real quick. I want to show you guys the other outfit for the trog. Is there like a common one I can buy? Is there something you need? Yeah, here we go. Check this one out. This is do, 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 do. the wool shroom, which I've never picked before, which is really funny. This is the gar gar gar. Gives you a huge damage increase as well as impact increase. And do you get a better poach? You do! You get a pouch bonus of 10. Check this out. It's really cool. That's where the impact comes in to play. It's really neat. It looks pretty scary. Alright, now let's get some alchemy done, eh? Uh, we need some water, actually. We are not going to be do able to do any alchemy until then. My favorite, honestly, is this one. I love this trog, but the blue one is really cool as well. For now, green trog is my favorite. That's what I'm saying, Yotu. Green trog is better, I, I think. He looks cooler. It's the face. Look at it. He looks kind of like a frog. More than the other trogs do. Plus the cool backpack, <laughs> you know. Blue is uh, more of a slim trog, I feel like. Kind of fit. You know, he's tougher. Alright, let's see. Health potions are here. Should be able to make a minimum of six. Yes. Okay. Now we can make... Where is this? One greater health potion. Which is basically just giving us our potions at this point. Oh, shoot. I need uh, this. We can make as many... Oh, no. We didn't make a lot of those, actually. Anything else that we need to make? Uh, stamina potion is what, guys? What's a stamina potion? It's water. This and something else. It's one more thing. Anyone have an idea? Because I don't. Egg and nuts? Egg. Does this work? It does! Yes! Yo, too. I knew you. I knew you knew. I knew you. I knew you had it in you, bud. I was like, this guy knows. You did. 
Where's the assassin's elixir? What does this do? Water likely boiled. Okay. So that's raw alpha meat. I can't make that right now. We can make one thing, which is discipline potions, or we can make... Let's just make a couple discipline potions to have. And we can make teas later. So. And that right there is how you do it. Potion up and food up and all that stuff. Superior, it's nuts plus the potion. Ah, yes, that's true. That's kind of odd that the... The bigger potion is just the same thing, but... With, uh, without the eggs. Kind of odd. Very weird. Okay, so now we can take a nap. Um, we get rid of our tired, get rid of all of our stamina burn, which really, really killed us there. We were doing a lot of dodging, though. Evan, what's up? Just wanted to drop by and say hi and good luck. Thanks, Evan. Good to see you in the uh, the chat in the stream. Glad you're here. Oh my word! Look at the health potions. Look at that. I like. I don't like how they put all this crap in your thing, though. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna store the gar 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 for now. I am not feeling that it's very useful. Uh, no, we'll we'll keep all of them for now. I, I don't know. We're going to store a lot of potions, though. We do not need potions when fighting lower-level enemies. Other than health potions. We obviously need health. Uh, Vibra eggs? Oh, yeah, I could use Vibra eggs, too. I'm going to keep the gold on me because... Uh, I want to buy some skills when I get to town. Uh, Berg. Mm, we don't want to store food. That's a bad idea. Don't want to store those... Uh, we could store rags. There's no reason to. We actually don't need antidotes on this character. Because we have invincibility. Which is kind of funny. Okay. That's pretty much good. I think we'll put teas in there. We don't need the teas for now. Man, yeah. Okay, so here's my question. Uh, I, I, or I don't even know if it's a question. I think I am going to go blue chamber. I want that vampiric... Um, what is it? Imbue that you can get. Blood infuse. Don't underestimate Gar 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 with discipline buff. True. Uh, I didn't even think of that at the time, actually. Didn't even think of it at the time. That is a, that is a good point, though. A very good point. All right, now we're ready to head to Berg. After we grab some water. Uh, Chris. Just me or does Definitive Edition make it feel like every weapon hits like wet paper against everything except bandits and hyenas? Uh, that is most... That, that's actually kind of true. And it's mostly because of Discipline and Enrage. When you use Discipline and Enrage, everything gets knocked back immediately. Um, and I think they wanted to incentivize using rags and things more often. Uh, mostly just because of the protection change. More, less damage taken to some enemies, and also less stability. Missed. You're sure you can use, uh, infused blood on- Oh yeah, that's true, I might not be able to use it. That's a good point, Azusio. Thank you. Uh, but yes, blood of giants, I do want, for the extra 40 health. No, Azusio, you had a point, I did say blood infused. You had, you had a, a valid point. Now, we want to get Go, Go, Go. Um, where's a Nightmare Mushroom? I think I can actually find one near Enmerker Exit. If, if they have them. I don't know if they have them over in that area. Might not be able to. We'll see, though. Uh, because the Annoying Trog is so much better in terms of speed. My problem is I don't think it had a Pouch Bonus. Which is odd. Hmm. Don't worry, we're going to see both things eventually. Holy Mission could be good for more protection or Levant. Levant, I just don't... I, I cannot do Heroic Kingdom. I already I already looked into it. Because of the way the Trog works with weather, walking over the desert that many times would kill me. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't think it'd be fun to watch, and I also don't think it'd be fun to play because of how hot it is over there. However... Holy Mission wouldn't be bad. However, I've kind of over Holy Mission. That's one that I do most of the time. The negative stamina and negative mana cost would be nice, though. 
I don't know. I just feel like Blue Chamber would be better. You know what I'm saying? Also, Blue Chamber, I think, is faster. Weather Potion and Tea. True. Uh, I mean, you got the cactuses over there, too. So it's not like the biggest deal in the world. It is definitely something you need to worry about, though. So you have a point there. But it's just very difficult to deal with. Especially since it goes from hot to cold. So you have to make sure you have everything. Sorbor, Merchant Truck. Hmm. I could go meet up with my other Merchant Truck buddy. <laughs> uh, I don't... Sorbor just doesn't have... The Faction Quest doesn't do much for me. Extra five pouches, bit really. But yeah, I don't know. It, it really, it's been between Holy Mission and Blue Chamber. I think we're going to go Blue Chamber, though. That one sounds the best for a Trog run. I wonder what other people have taken that have done Trog runs. I've never asked anybody. No. Alright, we're going to go talk to the Immaculate because we want Dreamers, Dreamer Halberd eventually. Since we're here already, we might as well talk to him. We can't get anything from him. There's no point in getting the... The boon, because we can't use it. I didn't grab another pickaxe, guys. That is a fail on me. Your cooldowns were a problem. They are a problem, Azusil. Um, but negative 10 cooldowns not going to help, really. It's like 200 second cooldown. You know what I'm saying? Either way, I have to wait. Uh, so that's not that useful. Since it's only negative 10 cooldown. Alright, can you help me? I could take storage. It's not good here, though. Alright. So I did that. Let's check what he has in here. This could be useful. Eh, nothing bad. I'll take it. Really, and Saber would be nice if I could use it. <laughs> it's also pouch increased and movement. Oh, it is movement speed, isn't it? It is all around nice. It's just, yeah, you, you make a good, you and Justin are making a good point. It's, it's really good, but I'm thinking bigger picture because it's so small of a difference. You know what I'm saying? In the grand scheme of things, you can get 40 health, 25 mana, which is, or was it 40? I think it's 40 from Blue Chamber. Whereas you get negative 10, you know, cooldown from that. Although it does add up after a while. So. Hmm. I don't know. Need to keep traps for later. How am I full already? It's crazy. We're gonna go check and see if there's a nightmare mushroom over there. Yakram, trogging around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Nothing to do but keep trogging on. For sure. Love it. That's really cool. I love how fast you are as a trog. Let's eat this. You guys wanna eat this? What does it do? It gives me mana. Hmm. I need that. Let's use our... Oh, check that out. I can't even use any skills. Huh. It's not good. Alright, we need to change our item here to the... What is it? The Fang Halberd? We didn't see the Wendigo, thank goodness, because I feel like the Wendigo would be so difficult on this character. Matter of trying and checking. Very true. For cases, two regen and three stats. Oh, wow. I really need to ju I think I'm just going to go Blue Chamber, and if it doesn't work out, then we know Holy Mission's better. You know? You know what I'm saying? And the only way to tell is to check. Alright, let's check this corrupted area for mushrooms. We need a Nightmare Mushroom. So, Furic Mushroom, eh. Although we... Oh, by the way, I believe that Corruption is actually good. Um, on this character. Because if we get it high enough, we can become corrupted and get extra decay bonus. Which is awesome. Not seeing any nightmare mushrooms. Oop! Found one. It's kind of weird. You can find all the mushrooms in the base region other than the sulfuric. Alright, we're not fighting those guys yet. They're too tough for me. I need a ethereal weapon before I can do that. You can't just throw a lantern at a Wendigo. I know, because I can't use a little lantern throw. Lantern throw is so helpful for, like, a beginning game character. And I can't use it. Alright, so here is the other one. 
This is go, 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 if I remember correctly. Or go, go. Not even go, go, go. Check this out. Uh, pouch bonus 5, so that's not bad. It's nowhere near 15. Uh, but negative uh, movements, or negative stamina cost, and extra movement speed. Which you can't tell right now, because I'm overweight, but... Also, I got hit in the back. How come you can become corrupted as a troll? Um, because corruption is not decay. The trogs are resistant to decay damage. They are not resistant to corruption, I don't think. I don't actually know for sure, though. Let's check in my corruption bar. See. You know, you can become corrupted. Um, and it's because, like I just said, the trogs are... Corruption is something different than decay. Corruption boosts decay damage for Scourge, but it's not the same thing. If that makes any sense. Moon and stars. Uh, but this is the one I put on the thumbnail because it's the new one. The annoying trog. Really cool. He has a rock taped to his back. Or tied to his back. But right now, the movement speed isn't this is great. Plus 17 movement speed and negative 20 stamina cost. It's very, very good for many different situations. You can actually decraft this because it's not going to be any use to us whatsoever. So. Oil point to the right. Oh, yes. Mm, thank you for saying that. Where was it? Right here? Or is it up there? Oh, no. It's over to the right. Gotcha. Yeah. Go, go, Power Rangers. Jeffrey? Oh, uh, does anyone miss Power Rangers? That was, like, awesome. And... The era of Power Rangers was epic. Alright, we can't kill that because we have to kill the Wendigo if we go in there. Should I fight these guys? I feel like no. Hmm. We don't want to fight two at once. I hope I can get this guy. Oh, I did. How lucky is that? I'm not weighed down by rain. Check that out, guys. Rain weighs you down, but it's not doing it. I know. I don't know if that's a bug or just because I'm a trog. And he's bleeding, so he's dead. You have to destroy everything you see, Sheen. It's the way. <laughs> it is the way. This is the way. I'm in a Mandalorian now. Dude, bleed just sucks. Bleed is just so bad. Extreme bleeding would be way better. Alright, can we attack three times, please? One. Nope, just once. Okay. There we go. Oh, I got hit. I timed it wrong. No. Alright, I, I, I timed that way wrong. Dodge. All right, we took some hits. I'm really thinking that Hex is going to be so good with the Trog. I, re I really do. The problem with that, though, is I cannot go to Harmattan without Dreamer Halberd. Because I, I just can't. I can't do it. I'm not going to be able to kill the robots easily at all. It's going to be too difficult. All right, step one. How many, how did we clear? We cleared, uh, the Trog Cave. We cleared the, well, we fought a Mantis. And we cleared Blue Chamber. So we're two caves down, guys. We're doing pretty good. Bleed used to be percent of life base. Now it's flat damage reduce. Yeah, I believe you're, I think that is why it's just not as good anymore. It used to be overpowered, though. So, I mean, they had to change it. It's sad to see, you know. Alright, can I actually use this now? It makes me still a bit slower. But... Why do I have so much iron? Ooh, can I make traps now? What is it, wood? I make a lot of traps at a time. Alright, go, go, go. Whee! It's really not that fast because I'm heavy. It does have that negative stamina reduction, though. 
Put extreme bleed with bow and you just kite the enemies to death. Yeah. I remember back in the day, you just, like in the Wendigo, you just shoot him one time and you'd run away, he'd die. Because that was the enemy. When you're a new player, that is the first, like, the hardest enemy in the game, it seems like. Is that first Wendigo that could jump you. And then you get later on and you realize, hey, that Wendigo is really easy compared to this other stuff. <laughs> yeah, Tonosaur Great Axe was stupid strong too. Didn't that imply... Or was it a bleed or poison that that did? I can't remember. Also, this is a weird chest, by the way. I always found it weird that it's just sitting here. It's kind of there. Bleed, poison is the horror. Gotcha. Mine was Black Pearlbird. Oh, you fought the Black Pearlbird first. Yeah, Black Pearlbird's rough. Uh oh. Oh boy. Stream Blade and Poison for Tonosaur. Gotcha. Oh, we gotta do it, guys. You know what I'm saying? I think they have uh, cold or poison resistance, actually. But sometimes you just gotta you gotta power through. That's what we're gonna do today. It would be nice to have that mana. Really would. I think I could take a giant, though. I don't think a giant would be too difficult. Unless I am over-exaggerating my abilities. Capabilities. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay, I, I need to get the poison throw off, which he shouldn't attack me immediately. Yes, okay. He is decently resistant to poison. Yeah. I think they have good cold resistance too, don't they? Oh, wait, I'm immune to that. Why do I care? Can I get bleed on him? I have bleed and poison. Dutch! Ah, oh, the range. Come on. Why am I not getting up? Like 20 minutes, I'm still on the ground. Okay, if we get it one more time, we may be in big trouble here. Man, they have some reach. I need to get some stamina. That's my current problem. Banditos? Hey, Banditos, come help me. I mean, if you're here, you might as well do something for me. Did my poison run out? All my debuffs on him ran out. That's interesting. Does he have ability to get rid of... No, they have it on him still. Alright, you're telling me that they're not hitting him right now? Oh, now they're on him because of the poison. That should actually kill them quickly, though. It's the Trog and the Giants versus the humans! Who will win? Wrong direction to dodge that attack. Yeah, you've got to dodge in, I think, right? Oh my word, the Giant is getting wrecked. Nope, now the humans. Because of the poison. It's crazy. Really? Are you kidding me? I came in to try to help you. Actually, I came in to kill you, but... It's besides the point. Whee! Are all my debuffs still on him? I cannot tell. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that, just in case, guys. We did it! We took out a giant! No help. Nobody helped us. No humans at all. <laughs> That's good money right there. I don't know. I don't feel like it's too bad. It definitely weakens you a little bit, but as long as you play according to your strengths, like with the poison, it's really good. Remember this moment, Chad. Heck yeah. Can I do anything with smoke root? Isn't that how you make... um? Weather, what is a weather defense potion? I'm going to need to make a bunch of those. Trog. Yeah, how about this trog? You ready? Oh, I can't wear it right now. The I have all of them but one. There's only one other trog outfit, I believe. I could just go get it. You know what I'm saying? I could just go get it. Sulfur mushrooms in the fire forest? No way. Are they really? 
Uh, no about that. I didn't even think about that. I I didn't fight them. I don't know if I should. Um, probably should. You know, that's what we do. Tra la la on the back. <laughs> Tra la la. Oh, expert timing. I got the right one poisoned that I wanted. I didn't even want the other guy poisoned. Okay. Shield characters are very difficult in the Trog, I feel like. Because they can just sit there and block all your attacks. I haven't been able to get a lot of use out of the running... Yep, that's what usually what happens when I use that. I, I don't know. I don't get... I just... I can't get it down, I don't think. Oh, there we go. Hmm. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Loot Bandit. And another water skin. Beautiful. You love to see it. Three gathering points. I didn't know that, you two. I, I think I've been over there and i seen that at one point, but I didn't even think about it. My brother in Trog spawn the forest is on fire on one section. Yes, there's sulfuric mushrooms. Gotcha. Gotcha, mate. Also, by the way, did you guys know you can get wool shrooms from here? Mushrooms? I actually never gathered a wool, um, a wool shroom before. I always get them from dinosaurs. I never found them very useful, I guess, so I never grabbed them. Oh, yeah, we need to test grenades still. I know that there's a few enemies over in Levant area that drop grenades. Poison grenade or ethereal blast, probably the best way to do it. How do you make the, what is it, the frag grenades? It's sulfuric mushroom and something else. The rain is making my game very glitchy. At least on my screen, I don't know if you guys are seeing that, but. Sulfur plus two iron. Oh, you can make it two different ways. All right, guys. Here's what I'm thinking. You ready? What can I do for you? This this will be a good one to get, right? As a trog. We'll vote in the chat. Should I get this? These are pointless. But this... The problem is the skill tree itself doesn't give me hardly any passives. You know what I'm saying? I get this, but that's it. Make fungal cleanser, right? I say they're very useful in Defensive Edition. Gotcha. What's up, Sheen? Hey, Emin. Day's been pretty good so far. We have been... We have not died as a trog, which is really cool. One is scrap grenade, the other is oil. Okay. Oh, the oil grenades are better, I think, right? If I am remembering correctly. Monk at least gives you the other passive of discipline. True. I was thinking of taking Hex, Warrior Monk, and Hunter. Why don't we wait on Hunter until we see if we need it? Keep chogging on. Yeah. Because once we get the extra health from the Giants, I don't know if we'll need it. You know what I'm saying? More health just following the Blue Chamber quest so you can get better passives. True. Scorch and do fire damage? Then why are people complaining about grenades if you can make those ones? I don't know about that. Wonderful. Alright guys, moves. we're going to do the blue chamber collective. I I think I've decided. Uh that's just what we're gonna do. Hex monk rogue. That's what I should do, Rodolfo. Thank you. Don't let me change my mind. You should seek approval. This is your task. Alright, now I gotta go make a fire rag. Do I have enough things for a fire rag? I have no oil. I do have oil. I don't have any... Oh, no, I do. Here we go. Fire rag. Yay. Made one. Can you rush blood infusion? Would be pretty good, I think. Yeah, but I don't think I can use it. I just realized because it's an active skill. You can't use active skills. I, I was going to rush the mana one, too, but then I... Someone pointed out earlier, it's... You can't even use it, I don't think. I'm sorry. Hop to it. And then we just give well, it to him. Well, all right. Here. Because I was thinking the same thing. I was like, that'd be so strong. But then again, it wouldn't be because it's useless. <laughs> All right. 
Man, did you pick up weather tolerance from Shaman? No, we're going to do that when I go back to Sierzo. I have to go back there to do Vendival and to get my Vampiric Halberd. Ancest wonder will you pledge uh, yourself yes, I commit. to the continued yes, supply I commit. his wish. This is true. It will be a few days before All right, so she needs power. a few days, which means we can head back to Sierzo and start our actual good stuff. Jump over the Shaman, but let him figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can't use any active skills, which is which is rough. There's more... I feel like some of the skills should have been used, like infuses. I feel like those could have been used. Um, but no, I guess not. Well, I can buy the house already, because I started this, I guess. Pay attention. How can I help you? Intriguing. Can I get 700 silver? Can we find out? Can we do it, ladies and gentlemen? Trog's Pond Redemption Story, a trog of the name Aberdeen and a chamber lord of the collective. Once scorned, now heralded as a hero. His legacy, lasting peace between man and trog. I love that. Hey there. That should be, uh, that should be like the statement. All we do, because we have the giant. That's like the, uh, the quest we are on here currently. Alright, and then we get two of these, and boom. Although, can I sell some of this and just get some? I feel like no. Need that. I won't need that here soon because it's going to rot. And we'll just sell one. What the heck, you know? Also, we got the giant high garden, which we already have. Oh, wait, that's only 400. I was thinking. What was I thinking? Hey, could you stop hammering, please? You're making me have a headache. How good is the second weather defense passive from only mission for Trog? It's probably... I think it's only five, but it's still really hey, good. Attention. How can I help you? All right. Nice. All right, we have, we have Berg, okay? Which is good. So, we can store this. Uh, we'll get enough money when we go over there. Why do I have an Iron Albert in here? That seems kind of odd. Sometimes I question my very own thoughts and, and processes that I do. You know what I'm saying? See if we got any blood mushrooms. We did not. That's fantastic. Let's go buy some, though. Because you can always buy uh, the materials to make more potions. Trog only can equip spears and halberd. Uh, yes. So, the Trog, for the specifics of anyone who hasn't Hasn't been for here for the whole time. Trog cannot use active skills. The Trog can only use a spear and a halberd, and they do not get a backpack. So that is kind of the basis of what you have to work off of. The ultimate challenge run, as we like to call it. I guess we'll buy one blood mushroom. Unless the Sorobor guy has more. Look at the running, dude. This is absolutely hysterical. Yeah. This worries me. He has health potions, but no. Why not buy him? You know what I'm saying? It's never a bad idea to pick up more health potions, I think. Iron Halberd can be turned into horror for profit. That's why I have it in there. It's not why I have it in there. <laughs> I have it in there by accident. But we're going to pretend like that's the reason. We're going to keep a bunch of health potions because we're going to uh, go ahead and assume we'll need them we will um we want a total of five though we do not want more than that i uh, throw the rest of these in there we actually I, I might use some traps so we're gonna keep some traps in here for now and that's looking pretty good to me guys it's looking pretty good to me we have a lot of food that we don't need but hey whatever uh now we can run back to sierzo we have the key yes sierzo town key and we have rations yes we do here we go, about to get our Vampiric Halberd. Now, the thing about the Vampiric Halberd was that it is slow-ish. It's a one attack speed. But I'm wondering if the health will be helpful. So we'll have to see. I think it's longer than the Fang Halberd, too. The horror weapon farm, it might be rough, yeah. Because no backpack space. None at all. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Or should we go get the other Trog outfit first? No, because we got to go back to Caldera later. 
Sorry, Yo2, we can't go get the other Trog outfit yet. It's also useless at this current point, because it's very, very good with the Thrice Rod Halberd, and we don't have that yet. We could go get it, obviously, but... Wah! They, like, shake their mouth when they run, you see this? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really funny. I'm gonna increase my FOV real quick. Because I think, actually, the Trog's a little close. There you go. Da, da, da. You guys are back? You want some more? Oh, I don't have any bombs. I don't know if I can even take you. Come fight me alone. I don't want the ice witch. Thank you, sir. How kind and considerate of him. What a nice guy. He does use a lot of stamina as a frog. Oh man, that hurt. Sometimes, uh, anticipating the timing, ugh, not good. Maybe simply backing up and then heading in for the attack. Look at this. This is kind of working really well. Oh, not long enough. That sucks. Oh, I didn't block. What am I doing? I'm just kind of standing here. Dodge. Okay, if he blocks this and then hits me, I could die. So I gotta be very careful. Uh, I actually want to attack him. I don't want him to bleed to death, but... I gotta be really careful. Okay, I guess not. Ice man... Ice switch is out of the question. No. That's a big no from me. Fire force first. Uh, do you guys want to see it? I mean, I can head over there. I know how to get there pretty quickly. I'll head over there for you guys. I gotta heal up anyway. It's just gonna burn a lot of my stamina, so. We'll go get it. We'll go get it. Poke and run, block if needed. You're fast with reach. Yeah, that's the difference. It's really weird. I'm thinking that actually it may not even increase your your capabilities when you go back to being a human. Because the playstyles are so different with the speed. I just don't know. Because, like, I thought it would make you play better as a human whenever you went back. But now I don't know so much. I love how fast you can take stuff, though. That's brilliant on their part. Traveling Trog Transformation. Stay away from Alpha Coral Horns, because they will kick our butt. It's like, can you imagine, though? Think about this. Think about this. Imagine you're playing Outward as a regular character. And all of a sudden, out of the corner of your eye, you just see this trog run by. Just really fast. That's me. I just book it. And you're like, what the heck? Trogs don't go outside much. What are they doing? They're supposed to be in caves. But no. I'm in this green outfit. I'm just I'm just zooming past you. And you're you're over there super confused, just standing there, baffled. What? What? You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel right now. Especially since he moves so fast. With the derpy Modern Warfare run. I can't imagine. I think it would be absolutely insane. I would lose my mind if that happened. I wish you had more random encounters like that, though. Like, random things. Like, maybe one or two enemies in each region that were super random. We have the giants uh, in the Hollow Marsh and the desert and this region, and we have the Wendigo in Cherisonese. But other than that, I don't know. I just feel like more random encounters. Like maybe a, a unique bandit that's just tougher or something. You just put one in each region. Look how fast I am. It's crazy. So where is this sulfuric mushroom we are speaking of here? Ah, I see it. The Blackbird. Yeah, that's true. That is a unique one, too. Now, I don't have the correct materials for this, though. So, what was the recipe? It's sulfuric mushroom and two thick oil? Is that what it was? For the thing? Bombs, I guess? I need to grab all of them. I really don't want to fight those guys, because... They're gonna suck. 
they're gonna suck. They're gonna they're gonna do a lot of damage quickly. If I get burnt. I don't have any resistances to it. There's like one mushroom. Where the heck are the mushrooms? Ah shoot. If I could outrange it. Let's see. There we go. I'm, I'm technically fighting it, right? Don't want to get set on fire. Why did he do that attack? That seemed silly. Probably could have killed him there, but we want to play it safe with this guy. Guessing he's going to do another flamethrower attack. Yay, we did it. There you go. I, I killed him. So you can't say I did kill. By burning trees. I got the one that was over here. I wonder if there's more over here. No, this spot just seems useless to me. There's nothing here. Hmm... Nothing, still nothing. One sulfuric mushroom. Oh, and here's another one. Sir, could you give this to me, please? Thank you. Yeah, Hex. Oh, my word. Hex is going to make this so much better. Okay, any more sulfuric mushrooms? I'm guessing there has to be at least three, right? There can't be less than three. Unless there's only two, which I already found. Live weedy, I'll take that. I don't know. I really feel like there's got to be one more, guys. I'm saying, aha! I told you. Thank you, Yager. There we go. We have the. You know what we can do while we're here, guys? We can go to the immaculate. That that's two down. It means we only have two left. To get our dreamer halberd. It's a good idea. How do I only have... I thought I had more iron than that. Or thick oil. Give me thick oil. Yes. Oh, I used one on the flame guy, didn't I? Forgot about that. Two iron scrap, two oil, plus the sulfur. That's five, though. How do you even combine that? You can't combine that together. Power coil. Unless I'm missing something. Because a sulfuric mushroom and you can add three more things. You can add four. Unless you have to combine those together first. Oh, I, oil sulfur. Okay. Gotcha. No, 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 no. I got what you're saying. I got what you're saying. So we want to try it, I guess. Is there the scourge up here? No. I have iron. And this should make the frag, right? No, that didn't work. Is it two, two sulfur? Gotcha. That didn't work either. Okay. I should need to try the oil, I guess. I don't want to waste my oil right now, though. Otherwise, I'd try it. We get some bombs. Like, none of the bombs are dropping from these, which is annoying. And I don't think they do. Two scrap sulfur. Maybe it's one oil as well. Maybe. Gotcha. Gotcha. I was going to say because it is not working for me. Okay. Talk to the Immaculate. Who are you? Can you help me? And option five. We want that Dreamer Halberd. Two scrap for grenades or two oil for the firebomb. Chem set. Oh, do I need the alchemy kit? Okay. That actually makes more sense uh, to need the alchemy kit. But I don't, I've never made the grenade, so I, I didn't. Could be. Gotcha. Hey, Caustic, how's it going? I haven't seen you in the chat if you've said anything yet. Uh, how's it going? 
This trog run has been more successful and fun than I originally thought it was going to be. Those guys we are definitely not fighting right now. I never fight two of them unless I have skills or a better weapon or something. Is there pain in the butt fight? Look at that stamina burn I'm getting. Do I have anything for that? I mean, I have health burn. Uh, I feel like that I had some peas for it. Yeah. I guess I could take this. It helps a lot more than I thought it would. Alright. Been chilling. Nice. Nice. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Yeah, I worked, uh... I was gonna put out a video today as well as live stream, but I worked on my enchantment video all day yesterday. Just trying to get as much information in it as I could. And that took a lot longer than I thought. So I didn't get another one out for today, but... Live stream should be good enough for now. I want to do, uh... I have a couple different video ideas. I have a couple different armor showcases I want to do, and I also wanted to do a showcase, like, a video of each mini-boss that they added. And, like, how you can go about defeating them and stuff. Talk about what they do. Things. All kinds of cool stuff. Hey, we got a ruby. I'm used to carry the pot and knock me around. Gotcha, yo too. Okay, so that's why. Yeah, I don't think you can with a trog. Unless you get the lightweight. It's just too much weight because it's 10. Usually, I don't even carry it around unless I get Mephinos. Although with a human, it's much more. I feel like after playing as a trog, I should never be overweight as a human. That's what I feel like. Uh, let's see. Did I get the sulfuric? Yes. So this is a this isn't a new one. Caustic. This is this was in the original game, but it's one of the better ones. So you have this one. I'll I'll show everybody that hasn't seen it. You have the Golg Golug, which is insane. Really, really nice. Decay damage bonus and stuff. You have the Gar Gar Gar, which is the Mana Trog. Cool, but not as useful as the... It is very useful because of the mana cost. I just like the other one better. You have the Urgar Gar Gar Urk, which is the Trogs with more protection over in smaller caves and stuff. They're like the more dangerous ones. This one gives you extra impact and physical damage. And then you have Gork Gark, which is the one typically people use as it has most protection. This is a new one, however. This is the Gogo, -Go, which is actually the annoying Trog, a one of the new mini bosses in the game. Um, and then the Oh, you're talking about this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then yeah, it is new. This one is definitely new. It gets a little bit of a pouch bonus, and it is the annoying trog. So. It's really good stamina usage, actually. Negative 20 stamina cost and plus 17 movement speed. Uh, but it does not have quite as much pouch, which is hurting me at the moment. We're hopefully going to here soon get the other one, which is the... What is it called? The Archmage Troglodyte. Yeah, not being able to carry everything definitely makes the trog much more challenging. Although you do need a lot less money overall. Technically. But at the same time, the more money you have, the more potions you can buy, so. You still kind of want money. <laughs> at least some amount. But yeah, that's the annoying trog caustic, so that you know now. I thought you were talking about the this one right here. This one's just... It looks too good. Alright, so let's play in here. We're going back to Sierra. Once back in Sierra, we can get our Vampiric Halberd, which I don't know how much it weighs. I think it weighed a bit, if I remember correctly. Um, but that way, I don't actually, actually have to go through the process of enchanting the Halberd and stuff. I already legacy did, so that's nice. We can, however, enchant weapons uniquely. So I'm wondering if there's some cool enchants we could put on weapons to make this better. I'm in game, and I can wear enough armor to take 
up most of my 110 backpack. <laughs> yeah, I, when I first started playing, I would carry around like the what is it called? The merchant armor. It's the what is it? master trader armor. I always had the full set of master trader armor in my bag because I hate running. Why well, I, I did hate running at the time. It was just the worst thing for me. Um, so I always had that in there just to have. And now, I I don't know. I don't really mind the running anymore. So. Alright, we need some stamina. This gives me some. And hopefully our sulfuric mushrooms did not die. They did not. So we're good. One would think that with heavy weapon and armor training, there would be weight training. Yeah, you would think so. Give you the ability to carry more in a backpack. Any backpack that you hold. Ooh, did the thick oil respawn? It should have. Yes, all thick oil should be back. Meaning... Meaning I get to fall on the ground and do nothing, apparently. Okay, meaning we're about to get some thick oil. If I find the correct places. There's one by the hyena den, and one... Uh, there's one by Bendable, maybe? I don't remember. I think there was one in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that'd be cool. It'd be cool to be able to have that. More thick oil? Yes, let's go. That's the kind of thing with this type of game, is there's so much in here that's customizable and, you know, make your own builds and stuff, that it almost feels infinite, you know? Anything that they don't have feels like it should have been added. <laughs> Even though they already added so much to the game. Just because of the amount of things you can already do. Trogra Shriek. Gula Golog might be good. I actually have Shriek Legacy chested so that we can get it much quick, much more quickly. Uh, that one is in the slide, I think. I'm pretty sure it's in the slide. I made that one slightly more challenging to get because it's overpowered with this Trog. When you have that equipped, it does insane damage. I'm talking ridiculous amounts. Plus, it does plague buildup, so for bosses, it it's really, really strong. There are 24 people company. It looks uh, at like a big Dark Souls game. Yeah. The thing about them is we were, we were talking the other day. Me and some other content creators and stuff. Um, with the fact that they are only a 24 person company and people have been complaining about how, you know, they do have issues and stuff. But we talked, uh, they were in the Discord the other day talking. The CEO was. And he said that not only were they making Definitive Edition, but they were also starting new projects at the same time. Um, they're starting two or three projects right now when they release Definitive Edition. So they were very, very busy, which is probably why the bugs on console have been a much bigger deal and have taken longer for them to fix. Since they have to go through all like the other companies and and like the con actually who run the consoles and stuff and get the checks and everything. I don't know how that all works, but you know what I'm saying. What's up, Skuma? How you guys going? But yeah, they, they're a really small company compared to other games that would make something like this. So. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. One of my favorite games, honestly. I think I started playing back three years ago when it came out with my brother on Xbox. And we were like, this game's awesome. And then we quit for a while, and Sora Boreans came out, and we played... I was living in a dorm at the time, and he came over, and we played all night. I'm talking 24 hours. We played Outward. Beat the Liches in a brand new playthrough. Um, what else did we do? I think we went over and tried to do the Train Dungeon, did parts of that. And then we ended up beating the, the Rust and Vengeance quest twice, and then quit playing Outward again. Until Three Brothers came out. And then got into it about two months after Three Brothers came out. And that's when we really started going ham, just playing it all the time. We're going to go grab the thick oil before we uh, leave so we don't have to come through this path again. But yeah. Yeah, how you doing today, Skuma? Doing good, I'm guessing. Hopped onto the Trog run. Wanted to see what it was all about. Just while uh, we're all getting everything set up and everything. 
figuring out the schedules and all that. It's pretty fun, honestly. Skuma puts away Skuma. <laughs> That's so dark right now. I cannot see a thing. What? The dodging skills. I just, I'm not going to fight him because this is nighttime. I, no one can even see anything right now. Just a trog waving a magic wand around, really. Okay, so did I lose him? It's so, e so much easier to lose enemies in this. Yeah, I've been home with sick kiddos, but hopefully this week or next I'll be free from our streams. Sweet. What are they sick with? Nothing good. Hopefully it's not too bad. I mean, you don't want to be sick with anything, but... I feel like a cold is the best thing to be sick with, because it's not that bad. Although a... a what is it? Stiffy... No or... Like a stuffed nose? Whatever you call it? I don't know. I feel like that's the worst. To me. I, I, I hate when my nose is all clogged up and stuff. Makes your voice sound funny. You can't breathe. All oh, around I'm a bad experience. We Ear infections? Ah, oh, those are terrible. When I was just, I wonder this worries me. Now listen close. When I was a kid, I had really bad ear infections, and I had to get tubes put into my ears, I guess. Can I use these guys? Can I have little pets follow me around? Ah, my little pearl bird pet. Yay. Okay, so let's go get our vampiric halberd first. Try that bad boy out, see if it's any good. Glad you think that's the worst. Why are you glad that you think that's the worst? Yeah, no, they're, they're pretty bad, honestly. All right, someone wanted me to go to... Where did they want me to go? Cabal? Yeah, I need to go to the Cabal Wind Temple. Not Cabal Wind Temple, the Hermit. Cabal Hermit. Da -da -da -da. The Vampiric Halberd inflicts Blood Leech. It does weigh six, which is more than the Fang. But, check her out. It's very slow. I'm not going to lie. That was way slower than I... Oh, it's a 0.9. I thought it was a 1. This may be a bad choice. We're going to have to see. It depends on whether or not I can get enough health leech. I think it'd be good with um, the protection armor, since that gives me so much more defense. Well, yeah, it can be much worse. Yes, that's true. <laughs> You're not wrong. I'm just saying that's like, it's just bad. I don't, I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it. Let's check. What else did I need to do here? Probably. Is there something you need? Here we go. Well, oh, that sells for 60. Nice. Here you go, guys. Here's the last outfit for the trog. The Sulfuric Mushroom is the Garganok. It is the Archmage. Really cool looking trog. And if you'll notice, it's very interesting. So you become very weak to fire and cold, but you gain very good damages in lightning, cold, and fire. A lot of negative mana costs as well. Giving you a really good armor to use with... Uh, what is that one from the Kowalman Temple? Rice Rot. Really good armor to use with Rice Rock. So yeah. I actually think I'm going to put it in the chest for now because it's completely useless without Thrice Rot. <laughs> yeah, the .9 speed is going to hurt a bit, I think. We're going to... I got it to test it, though, because I wasn't sure. Chug no de, chug no de way. I feel that. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to... What do I have on right now? The light one? Throw this in here and this, because again, we don't need that. You know. 25 damage bonus versus a 25 impact. This has a 60 damage bonus, though. Oh, and it scales with damage. This might actually be better with this. Now that I think of it. Okay. Um, and we had an alchemy kit down here at one point. Did I, did I put, I think I put my chest up. Where's the alchemy kit at? Here's that. We'll make a we'll make a little campfire down here. Get us an alchemy kit going. See if we can't make those things you were talking about. 
All right, campfire. We've got that going for ourselves. Let's get the admin in here. Kind of dumb that vampiric stuff is all 0.9. I don't, yeah. It's very, very good with wind infused, but for a trog, I feel like it, it may be too slow. Ooh, nice. All right. So we had sulfuric and iron. Makes a frag bomb. Or we can do the oil, someone said. Makes an oil bomb. Interesting. So we have two different types of bombs right now. And I gotta make sure I don't accidentally push these since I'm putting them here. Dealing fire damage and the scorched hex. We have all kinds of things we have at our disposal. That is the wrong combination. I don't know why I did that. Make some of this here. Alright. Could have made the fungal cleanser, but we don't need that right now. Very cool. Yeah. You don't make very many, but... Can make some. Okay. Let's put our discipline potions up because they're not needed currently. We do want the trip wires, and that's because we're going to Ghost Pass. Ghost Pass is slightly more difficult uh, than I like. Let's sleep until daytime. I don't know. I, that's not going to give me my stamina back, I don't think. But Oh, well. Big question is, can you use the bombs as a trog? That is true. I think we can. And here's why. Equipment doesn't seem to be locked, such as pressure plates and traps. And I think that's the category bombs go in. They're a big ethereal for polearm and cabal wind temple and berg. There is a big ethereal polearm. You talking about the thrice rot? That is there, yeah. I do need to go get that too. They don't make very many grenades. Uh, we're gonna go immediately test if you can use these, so don't don't be worried about that. Yeah, I, anything. All items seem to work. Like, uh, not items, but traps and things of that sort. I don't know what you call those. Hunting equipment. That's what I would call it. But we gotta test her out. We gotta see, guys. You never know. Did I need to repair that? Gotta make sure we grab the water, though. Always very important. Ethereal and fire. Good combo with bombs. I thought it was fire and cold, actually. If you're talking about the one in the Cabal Wind Temple. Oh, it's broken? What the heck? This doesn't usually break until after Vendable. Are you serious right now? What? No way, dude. That's crazy. Okay. Maybe it's because I started my faction quest? You got in the passive from Kazite Trainer. That might help some. Uh, I, I got... Why am I grabbing... I can't get out of this stupid animation. I want salt water. I grabbed the health one. I did grab that one. Breaks you to join a faction. Gotcha. Maybe I just never come back here. Yeah, uh, there's a pretty good way around that, though. You just cook the water, so. We're gonna cook that real quick and get that done, but yeah. Uh, I did get the passive from the trainer, though, yes. Not the middle passive, because I don't want that one, but I want the passive that gives you the health, obviously. I almost thought of doing this anyway, just to get the salt. Salt's pretty useful. Guess we're gonna go cure my indigestion that I somehow got. From the stupid rancid water. Let's see what this is, huh? Is there something you need? Uh, cures indigestion, which is what I have, right? I think. I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna take it first. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Sometimes I do that, and I'll be like, "Why did I waste that?" Because I'm an idiot. All right, we're set. We're ready to go through Ghost Pass and get our. Weather defense. Big gulp of contaminant water. Yeah. Well, as a trog, I assumed I could take it. Come on. It's it's poison water. You know what I mean? 
breaks as soon as you start vendable. Interesting. I guess I just never come back. Check. I don't know. Makes sense, though. Fire and Frost. Yeah, that's going to be really good with the Archmage. Yes. All right, we do want to grab uh, Gabberries because we are running low on stamina type things. Come here. Thank you. Only getting one. Here we go. So, do we have any yet? No, we need to take one. I have a lot of stuff in my inventory currently, but I'm very, very prepared for this cave. That is the goal. Mineral tea. I never have enough. Yeah, I on my other character that I'm playing with Liger, I just stacked up with teas. I'm not even joking. I just... Okay. It does give nice health back. I'm thinking... Here's what I'm thinking. It does scale with damage, the health leech. So when I put this on, I think I should be able to just take damage. Just take damage, you know what I'm saying? I get a lot of impact resistance as well. We might have a, a plan here, ladies and gentlemen. We might have a plan. We're gonna, basically what my goal is, I said this at the beginning of the stream too. My goal with this run is to beat the game. Every cave. I don't know if I'm going to do uh, Caldera's stuff because the town building is bleh, but Okay. You can indeed throw bombs, guys. Confirmed. Oh my word! What the heck? That was awesome. Well, let me take that guy out in one hit. Okay. Vampiric. Oh, dude, I can't even hit him. That was kind of dumb. It wouldn't even let me hit him. Uh, So we definitely need to switch armors when we use that. But, jeez, that grenade. We're going to need to stock up on thick oil big time. Big time stock up on thick oil. Um, If it does that. Oh, I have indigestion. I can't even heal myself. Boo. Stupid indigestion. Okay. There, there's a way to use this. I'm, I'm telling you. There's gotta be. Wish I could increase... I really, Wind infused with this would be stupid. But. Sir, I'm not prepared to fight you. I need health first. Which we do have health potions we're gonna use. Can I please keep this down? Yes, okay. That apparently gives me a fire damage bonus, which I will take. There we go. I'm gonna tank that hit. How the impact, though. Notice I have no impact resistance as a trog, or a decay trog. Nice health, though, guys. I'm. Are you seeing this? I'm seeing this. I'm seeing it, and I'm liking it. You know what I'm saying? I'm liking it. Is there any thick oil down there? Ooh, there's another raw uh, mantis. That's gonna hit me. Oh, it didn't even use the grenade. Okay. Did not use the grenade at all. Slow attacks. I don't know. I really think that with the... Now, here's my question. Does the vampir... Oh, my word. This is strong. This is strong. Does the vampiric weapons give you burn back? Because it looks like it is. It looks like it's giving me burn back. As well. Here we go. The ultimate test. Here's where we switch. And we have to drop something. Jeez. We'll drop these two. Ooh. Nice. Okay. This is usable with the blue truck. This is usable with this truck. Still taking a bit more health than I... Or more damage than I want. Mm, but I am just sitting there tanking damage, so... I can't complain too much. 
Dude, with the freaking bots lately. What is going on? Uh, yeah. Speed is atrocious. Yeah, it really is bad. Speed is so bad. Here's the thing, though. Can I take out these ghosts? I don't even know if I can take out ghosts with the way this is. Mm, hyenas. We need the meat, guys. We need the meat. Man, that's so slow. Oh! I one-hit him. Dude. What? Okay. Okay. 10% health regen and 5% burnt health regen. So do I even need Hex then? Hex is pointless. If I use this... I don't have to use Hex now. Because Stamina Burn is easily dealt with if you just max out potions. I just haven't been making a lot of them because I didn't think I needed it. We gotta try and find something harder first, I think. Because then I could go Warrior Monk, Traps, and... That would give me more stamina, too. That'd fix the whole problem. Yeah, Hex adds up to the... That's what I'm saying. Hex does the same thing this weapon's currently doing. Is, which is, like, how it's supposed to work. But I don't want to take it for no reason. I do have other weapons. I have Shriek, which I'm going to be using a lot. Maybe Hex is still a good idea. I think you can enchant a vampiric weapon. Maybe. Someone check that for me if you can. I don't remember. I'm not 100% on that. I thought you could... Maybe not. 10% and 5% of the damage dealt as health and burn. So maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to grab it just to have both. We'll see. I I'd probably still go Hex so I can use other weapons, honestly. In theory, it sounds good not having to ever... I think if you went Cabal Hermit for the Wind Infuse... It would be fine, but you can't use Wind Infuse as a truck, so therefore rendering that a moot point. Know what I mean? The only weapons you can't enchant are the Frost ones from Caldera. Okay, so you can enchant these. What are the enchantments on this? That's my question. I mean, these are low-level enemies, though, guys, so... It's like, oh, I'm so good. Uh, nah, I'm fighting crap. Yeah, I know, Rodolfo. It's ticking me off. Ticking me off, man. Or common enchant. Okay. So probably just Aegis would be... Or no, 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 no. It's a weapon, so you can't put Aegis on it. What are the four commons for weapons? I don't even know. Oh, probably Whiplash, Poltergeist. Those types of things. Use those. Whoa, it's nice being able to always freely dodge, though. I've noticed that. What do you guys like better, Poltergeist or Whiplash? I think, um... The one that gives you extra physical damage is better, unless you go with the... What is it? Runic? No, no, no. Rust Lich Armor. Then, the one that gives you raw damage is better, because you're not... Raw damage is not physical damage, and you do less physical damage with the uh, Rustlich armor on. Yeah, the Caldera enchants, I, I don't know. I can't ever use them, because it's so far into the game, it's like, I would have already enchanted something by now. 5 lightning damage, 5 ether damage, 10% extra physical damage, and the one that reduces damage and gives raw damage. Yeah, I gotcha, gotcha. I'll probably, I'll probably have to check those later after the stream and see which ones I want. Poltergeist with Fist is pretty good. That's true. Nomadic, how's it going? What's up, Sheen? Any thoughts on a gun hex build? What's my third tree should you... Oh, uh, Liger, actually, who I'm playing with on Thursdays, does this quite often. It's... You take Hex, you take Mercenary, and you take... Um... Leyline Connection, which is Philosopher. Because it gives you Mana Regen, which is nice, and also Fire Damage. More fire damage and resistance. Now, here's the thing. Can I hit him through here? Because I feel like that would be really nice. I'm going to be honest, guys. This cave is going to be rough. Although I do have imbues. Might not be that rough. What do we got over here? Another water skin? How heavy am I? Mm. This doesn't look good. 
We're going to go ahead and drop these at the beginning of the cave. Because that's what's holding us down big time. All right. That did not go great. We're going to come back. I'm just going to rush. Rush through. Oh, my word. I almost killed myself going too fast. <laughs> I'm running a gun hex build and it's so strong. Highly recommend. Yes, gun hex build is very, very, very strong. Especially since it's just, it's very ranged as well, which lets you just have a lot of capabilities. I have to get hit one time while using this, it looks like. I a minimum of one hit. Is what it is appearing to look like. Can you come here so I don't have to fight two of you once? Thank you. Man, this is the weapon to legacy, though. This is helping out so much. There we go. I didn't even get hit that time. Guys, are you seeing this? I'm stronger as a trog than I was with my other character. Ha! <laughs> it's funny. Oh, jeez. I gotta fight the big boy now, though, don't I? This guy's tough. Take the hit. Take the hit. Yes. Oh my word, it works. Alright, get some stamina back. It does use a lot of stamina to do this. He's gonna try and suck the life out of me here as I think. He did it. Come on, I had that. Ah, the speed really kills you. Okay, we're fine though. I thought I had just enough to get the attack in. Ooh, a halberd. That's kind of cool. Ice flame. I can't even hold torches, so that's useless. That's kind of funny, though. Alright, if we can make it upstairs... We can come back. Oh, no, I got these guys to fight, don't I? What is mixed legacies? I don't remember that. Come on, give me some health here. Take this. Is there a ghost there? No, he's right here. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, the Vampiric Dagger is really good. Especially since you can do so much damage with it. Man. I did get hit a bit too much there. That didn't feel good. How much is my imbue, though? Got about 20 seconds. I should be able to take this guy out before that. Dodge, please. Ah, my word. It's so slow. I don't really know. Ghosts are really fast, so... I, I, I'm gonna die. Oh, no, no, no. Ghosts are so fast, and I'm so slow. That's the big difference here. Dude, I can literally run faster than you. How do you feel? I am weaker, too. Because that dumb red ghost hit me with that thing. My word, dude. That was close. That was way too close. Jeez, ghosts are rough. A lot of people on Reddit were hating on vampiric weapons, so I skipped them. I'm running a vampire hex dagger and loving it. Dagger slash and blood sigil is crazy. Uh, yeah, according to Skuma, apparently dagger slash is the most damage in the game at one time. Man, I didn't want to use that yet. But... Look, they hit so many times in succession that it's hard to not get hit. Okay, though. We're alright. We're chugging. We brought health potions for a reason. Didn't want to take this many of them, but hey. 
When you gonna be done streaming today? I'm not sure. Uh, probably either three or four. Three o'clock or four o'clock is what I'm thinking. All right, here we go. Now I'm also not using my magic, which is hurting me a bit. Well, that's a ripoff. I feel like they attack when they come in, when they come at you. Yeah, I always get hit that one time. Man, I really think it was the red ghost putting that hex on me that's making me take this much damage. Otherwise, it wouldn't be that big a deal. Also, why is my... I just took health things, and they go away immediately. Is my indigestion still a problem? That's gotta be it, right? Yeah, it's gotta be the indigestion. Lurking while at work, just listening. Oh, nice. <laughs> HD, which faction are you joining for this tribe playthrough? I'm thinking I'm going to do... Oh, no, I already did it. Uh, the blue chamber. For extra health. Especially if I'm going to be using this vampiric weapon. Extra health is going to be a necessity. So that is the plan. Ah, jeez. Did I already kill this guy? Okay, I did. The only one we didn't kill is that guy. And I have a I have a plan. I wish he had pressure plate traps. That'd be nice. I have a plan. Ether Trog for the win. Ether Trog will be really good right now. The problem is, is I'm not like my burnt mana. That's why I think Hex would help so much, is I'd never have burnt mana. Because with one mana, you can't use your skills, I don't think. No, I can, actually. I take that back. I'm just a moron. It's good to know. It's good to know your strengths and weaknesses, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, should I... I don't know what I should do here. Probably this. Can the Hex go through gates? That's my question. That is my sincere question to you all. Yeah, dude, you can't hit me from there. I'm sorry. Alright, let's, let's see which of these guys gets hit. I think just the ghost will. Okay, so he got hit. We have an ethereal varnish, which we're going to have to use because this thing is not going to do any damage. Uh, we want protection, probably. I don't know. We're going to want this, I think. Some water for some uh, stamina here. Wish I had more food. Take one of these. I don't know. I don't know what I'm taking right now. I'm just taking a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? What do I have that's heavy? Oh, yeah, this. All right, do it one more time. You don't want to fight him there because of that. There we go. I was going to poison him first, but that didn't end up happening. The Ethereal Hex is the only one that's almost impossible to get out of. Uh, with him. Okay. Watch these big brain moves, ladies and gentlemen. I brought these for a reason. Now, I don't want to actually use all six. Because we do have a Shell Horror to take down here soon. Did he get out? Yeah, I hate this guy so much. I really do. He doesn't work properly. He gets out, and then he just walks around like a doofus. Yeah, he walked out. Of course he did. Where's he at, though? Ugh. And then, hey, Sheen, what would be a good build to start with for my friend? He just bought the game, and we're gonna co-op. I'm running Dagger Gun Build. Dagger Gun Build. That's freaking strong. That's what that is. Um, for your friend, go Rune Sage. Pairs really well. Or go... Warrior Monk. Uh, you could base your other two skill trees off of those. 
But Warrior Monk is going to give you a lot of good stuff for physical damage, which you're going to miss with... I don't even know where to find this guy. He's taking me off. Um, but a nice build is going Rune Mage, Warrior Monk, and let's say, I don't know, maybe Hex or something. You're not going to use your magic a lot, but you're going to have good... Like, use one trap and use melee after that. Get, a, get him into the melee combat and also use some of the stuff. Okay, so what happened was, is Sheen made a mistake. I know where he's at now, though. It's hard to describe a build while I'm doing this, but I think you get the picture. Rune mage, rune mage is something, you know what I'm saying? Rune Mage and Hex and Warrior Monk are the three staples that I say any new player should try. They, they offer a lot, really. Speedster is one of the only skill trees I think a new person shouldn't use because they just don't understand the game enough to really utilize it properly. But that's my opinion, though. So I could be wrong. All right, we're going to take whatever this does. Impact. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Notice I knew that was going to miss. <laughs> Alright, now he comes over. Once he gets knocked down... Oh, I knew it! I knew the MBU was going to run out. So hard to see. Aha! You suck! I'm better than you! That was actually way too close, guys. Way too close. The imbue ran out. If I had the imbue, I would have been... I would have destroyed him, but... That's okay, though. <laughs> Got a suggestion, thank you. I think you like Warrior Monk. Warrior Monk offers insane stuff. I... I don't know. You could take Perfect Strike. Uh, Master Emotion I like better, though. Warrior Monk is one of my favorites, though, because I like to take... Um, I like to use Chakrams, and so with Chakrams, Warrior Monk buffs it too much. Because you're not ever going to use your melee as much, but you, when you have Discipline active, you get that plus 10 resistance to everything. So. Yeah, I got a Power Coil the first three times I've killed that guy, and now I don't get one. I think it's kind of a ripoff, but I don't know. Alright, we have some meat to cook, so let's do that, because we are currently uh, pretty low. I think vampiric weapons are actually kind of stupid strong. They may have done a good job when they made them kind of hard to get. I, I used to say it was stupid that they're so hard to get, but now I don't know. They're really strong. That's not what I want to cook. Stop it. There we go. You like Archer and Skyrim? I really... I thought Archer was kind of fun in Skyrim. I, I like the... Uh, what did I go in Skyrim? I played... I can't remember what I played. I'm pretty sure I did one-handed, or dual-wielded one-handed swords, what I did. I played Skyrim. It was a lot of fun. It's such a fun game. One of those games you just always go back to and you're like, this game's awesome. Because the story in it's so phenomenal. Uh, We actually are going to grab that, because that has... I don't think they have one over in the temple. Shell horror? Yeah. Hopefully he's not in the beginning area and he's in the after, so I can go and prep. Actually gonna come back for all this stuff. Ball Hermit, really good too for starter. Uh yes, it is. Cabal Hermit's actually the best tree in the game, I believe. The single best tree in the game. You have wind infuse, you have insane uh buffs. I solidly believe that's the best in the game. The only one that can compete with it is probably totems. But a lot of people don't like totems as much because of their stationary, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what was I going to do? I was going to craft a ice rag. 
I 100% I believe it's the strongest. If you look at everything it has in both paths, it's, it's just good. All of them are good, but I'm just... If you want to pick a best, that's definitely uh, in the running. Oh, I put on the wrong armor, guys. Look at this. I'm getting knocked down every three seconds. But it doesn't matter because my vampiric weapon is insane. Don't kill the ships. Let them live to fight the horror. Uh, I can let the other one live. The one over here... They do have good lighting damage, don't they? You may have had a good point with that. I don't think this one's alive. Maybe when I go in the Cabal Hermit, it'll come out. Sometimes that happens. I think he's in the corruption, though. Come on, man. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to get all corrupted. Actually, I do. Why am I not corrupted? Get more decay damage. I'm already weak enough to lightning how it is. Much as I know totems are good, it pains me to think I can't move much once I place them. The You think that... There's actually a lot of room to move around in. I really do like them, and I think they are worth a try. When you read them, it seems like they are mostly a defensive type playstyle, but they're they're very offensive. You can use them pretty well. Mixing that with Hex lets you wait for their cooldowns enough for it to be useful, I think. I don't know. What game would you say is more replayable, Skyrim or Outward? I'm kind of biased when I say that. I Honestly, Skyrim in terms of mods... Like, Skyrim has way more mods. And so you could play it infinitely and it'd be different every time. Outward in terms of base game, I think is more replayable. Just because... Like, if you do everything in Skyrim the first time, I don't feel like... Well, I did. I did every single thing. And I feel like I didn't need to... When I went back to try and play it, it didn't... I was like, I don't need to play this. But with mods, it becomes extremely replayable. So I don't know. That's just me, though, because that's how I felt. How are you? Both are amazing games, though. Yeah, why did I have Lantern? Someone mentioned that earlier. I don't know. A lot of ghost eyes. Those would be nice for traps later. But uh, too heavy, so I gotta get rid of them. We actually want to keep the iron... Or many a thing. Many a thing. Sell this. Okay, that's enough money for now to buy, at least buy stuff. Excellent. Might add them to my mace, shield, and fusion. Going gong strike. Oh, that could work pretty well. Now where choices and factions matter. That's true. Listen to me. In Skyrim, they kind of let you do everything. That may be the one difference. Big difference. Alright, so we have to get this. Uh, to get this. This is increased by 8. Also increases decay resistance, which doesn't help me at all. But, and I can't use active skills, so that's pointless. Can you imagine, though? Mana push is so freaking strong, dude. I thought about taking this. Just for this boon. <sighs> but it's just not as good. You know what I'm saying? When you have a thought, it's just like, eh. That's way more meat than I had. Alright. I do have an alchemy kit, so let's go outside and see what I can make. What am I holding? A lot of junk. I'm holding stuff for fights that I haven't been using. Missed an hour of the stream. You planning on picking up improved pressure plates? Yes, I am, Gene. Yes, I am. I think it's going to be essential for some of the harder enemies. Although it's not going to be very helpful against bosses. But if you buff up enough, bosses can't hurt you. So I think we'll be okay. Where's a tree? As I say that, I realize there is 30 around me. Okay, is that the shell horror? No, that's a dead body. Usually he's much easier to find than he is currently. What are we doing here? Make this campfire. Instead of Trog, you should have gone with Immaculate. I know. A lot of people have been saying that lately. They should have made an Immaculate. I, th I think the reason they didn't is it would make it too easy. Although that would give Outward an easy mode. Kind of. But also not, because they, uh, they always change stuff, so. I don't know. 
I think that would be a good idea. I like that. Okay, well, we don't really care about corruption at all, so let's just enter and see where the shell whore is at. Actually, is there a mantis somewhere? So mantis would be really helpful right about now. And some stamina providing foods is... I am actually running low on stamina foods lately. I need to do a better job of that. Get rid of this stuff in my inventory. That's what I, Yeah, we should have both. I, I agree. I think both would be awesome. Drug and an immaculate choice. Give you two different options for something really cool you could do. But, um, from the way it sounds, they're pretty much done with the game, so. Doesn't look like we're gonna get that, unfortunately. There's gotta be... Where's the shell whore at? Come on. Is he in the very back? I've never seen him back here. I should honestly take these guys out first, though. Come here, you scaly little goober-looking thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you know I was immune to decay? You can't hurt me. <laughs> now I only get more powerful. Oh, there's the shell horror. I'd like to inform you that you've failed in your job. Is it nighttime? I should have slept. Do I have any traps? I have nothing to put in them, though. Oh, you know what, guys? These guys drop predator bones. Of which are very useful for stabbing your enemies with traps. Balance the immaculates by making their healing super inconvenient. Like, only heal by corruption. Oh, yeah, that'd be a cool way to do it. Make them super reliant on corruption. Like a corruption-type build built into the game. To get people more used to doing that. Also. So I can see. Thank you. Now we have another tripwire. Alright. We should be good to go, I think. Oh boy. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. We're just gonna go straight for this guy because if we get him far enough away, that guy won't be able to heal him. What are you what are you doing? Dodge! Wow, he does some significant damage there. He's not getting knocked back at all. We gotta run. <laughs> that is not looking good. Luckily, I have on the correct uh, outfit. Ah, we were doing so good, though. I just can't stand there in this armor. That's the only problem. Okay. What we brought the stuff for. What's up, dude? Alright, I need to block all damage until he attacks one more time, then I got him. Boom. Not my best fight, but I'll take it. It did help that I am a trog and I, I can take DK. It's so dark, I cannot see anything. Hey, dude, you can't hurt me. Aha! Nice. Alright, now where's my staff? Here it is. Put that on so I can see anything at all. Uh, I do need these for healing purposes. Look at that. Extreme poison does nothing. Trogs are not fully immune to decay. Um, this specific trog is, if you put on this armor. This specific one is. They start out with 40 base decay, and this armor set gives you 60. So when you put it on, you have 100. Also, I took the passive, which can... Oh my word, that's a lot of stuff. I got the passive that gives me an extra... What is it? It's 5 decay resistance, I think. 
Oh, I'm defiled. That is the opposite of what we want. We do not want to be defiled. Although, I do think it gives us good stats. It will, in fact, try and kill us eventually. Check out our stats here. Decay resistance plus 15%. Decay damage plus 50. So our... Oh, but look at the negatives. So bad. Yeah, we gotta buy a potion to fix that immediately. Immediately. I recommend the combat HUD mod. It's amazing to see the cooldowns of everything without going into menus. I actually would like to try that one. We're gonna try some mods eventually when I when I quit doing all my runs of the game. You wanna know what type of damage the Defiled Ghost does? I believe it is... Raw damage? Question mark? I'm not 100% sure on that. To be honest, that should just be base game immersion. In that case, it's just an excuse because you can still find the timers. It's just more... I agree, actually. Uh, some other people disagree, but I really don't understand why I have to go... In, like, I have to go in my inventory to check the timers. I don't see why you would... It's just a waste of time. Check. Okay. Obviously makes the game a bit more challenging. But... How are you? She doesn't have any of the potions? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I could have sworn she had some. I would be wrong, though, if I said that. So. Uh, we have Horror Chitin. I need one more Fang to make. We don't have enough Fangs. There's no point. Alright. Let's grab at least one gold for now. Sell the mana. The mana's not useful at all. Until we actually learn how to properly utilize it. And the alchemy kit. Which weighs way too much. I think the horror chitin weighs a lot too, though. Alright, and I don't even have a bed to fix the nighttime problem we're having. So, sorry guys, we're gonna have to bust through there. Mods are really good. So many quality of life things. Yeah. Wow, Ghost does Ethereal. Oh, is it Ethereal? Is this you? Okay. Thank you. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, I could have made the Thorny Spear. I don't know. I don't remember all the recipes, though, is the thing. So usually, like, weapon-wise, I don't make any weapons until I... Other than horror, until I actually... Like, get recipes and things, you know? Okay, how much am I corrupted? Because if we get too much, we'll die. Alright, a minute amount of light here. There's the Mantis. I, I knew he was here. Alright. How is that corrupted? Get me out of here. He's going to see me, I think, at the last second. Yeah. They're going to hit? Yes, it is. Yay. Notice he's doing nothing. He doesn't even care. It's like, it's fine. Poison on top of the fact that he's weak to cold. Yeah, get out of here, dude. Dude, are you guys noticing the, the speed? The weapon speed? It's so much slower now. Just 10% makes that much of a difference. What's the name of your trog? It's Froggy. I am Froggy the Trog. <laughs> yeah, plant tents would be a good idea since they weigh less, isn't it? That's a brilliant idea. Hey, Jay says, yeah, I agree. I realized how amazing it was when my friend was using it. And he was telling, list, listing the hexes and I was applying with Jinx. And the word they pop in. Nice. Does this guy want some? Does he want some of this? Huh? Huh? He wants some of this? He did not want any of that. I said attack so slow right now. I gotta get me a potion, man. This is bad. I don't think I have any particles either. 16, 16 split between physical and ethereal with a 1.1 speed for an iron spear. And... Cartilage and crystal powder, I believe. Okay. That's not bad. 
It's actually really good. The speed is what would be nice for the trog right now. Oh, there it is. There it is. I just heard it. Did you guys hear it? Tell me you heard that. Where did it spawn, though? I heard something weird. Now, I don't know if they make a noise. Was that him? That was him, I think. No? Dude. That was weird. I could have sworn I heard something spawn in, and I can't find anything. I don't know. I'm losing my mind, ladies and gentlemen. Two cartilage, iron spear, palladium. Cartilage is pretty easy to get uh, from the weapons temple. We'll do that. They do make a noise, but I didn't hear it. You didn't hear it? Okay. Maybe I'm going crazy. I definitely heard something. I cannot get through that way. We got to go around. That's uh, important to remember. I will say the most annoying thing about this is the light source, I feel like. Because it's so annoying not having... You know, not being able to see where you're going and stuff. Well, he looks to be alive, but he's not. Okay. What's next? Uh, may not be easy being cheesy, but it's easy to be troggy when your name is Froggy. <laughs> Jeremiah with the rhyming. Same sound effects as when you summon a ghost from a corpse? Probably. I, I've only ever seen one twice, so I don't remember. Okay, uh, let's go do Vendival, actually, after we go back to Sierzo and get rid of this stupid defile. Or, you want to get risky? We could get really risky and go do Vendival now. <laughs> That's a bad idea. That's what I call a terrible idea. Dude, the stamina reduction right now is insane. If I didn't have 10 million things in my inventory, I'd be fine. Salt weighs a lot, apparently. This pickaxe. Thick oil, I remember being easier to get than it is. Oh, yeah, the crystal staff. That's true. That's an interesting staff. It really is. All, basically, the, the two Trog weapons you can legacy are like kind of useless, but they're interesting at the same time. Oh, boy. I feel like a lot of this food is just going to rot here soon, so we're just going to start dropping stuff. I haven't been using those. I need to make some rags with those. I can do that right now. Uh, No, you can't do it after they're cooked. That's true. Did I hear a pearl bird? I did. Aha! Come here, you son of a gun. Why? Why are you running? The attack speed is killing me. That's why I can't go to Venable right now. The attack speed on this is a nightmare. Is the rune magic light source not usable? Uh, no, because it counts as attack skills. Or active skill. What is it? I think active skills, yeah. I've done that before in a build where I didn't use a lantern. I'd use that, but... No, I think you... I already cooked them, though. I thought you did it before. No, you do do it after. Why wouldn't it let me do it? Ah, here they are. I just didn't see them. You're right. Yeah, you do need to cook them. Uh, decay rag or poison rag. Actually, probably the strongest thing I can use right now. Trucks can't read books. Yeah, that too. <laughs> they wouldn't even be able to read the runes. What is this? I don't know how trucks talk. That's the best you're going to get from me, guys. Thick oil and a gravel beetle. A very nice find there. You could just get out of the dark. This is my one problem. Like, especially when you're streaming, you can't hardly see anything as I do. Also, Trogs are oh, rhythm. 
There it was. It just did it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I swear it did this sound earlier. Why is it so dark? I can't even really see it. Oh, shoot. I have no stamina. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's trying to stay away from me. I'm gonna have to hit him with the poison. You guys ready? He's actually very weak. Does he take poison damage? I think he's immune to poison damage, actually. What the heck? He didn't take any damage from that. He's so freaking weird. He's like super slow attacks and not that difficult, but if he jumped you or like was in the you were in the middle of a fight, this would be so hard. He doesn't want to get hit though. Look at him. He's running backwards every three seconds. He makes a noise every time he shoots too, which is kind of gives it away. I don't think he even drops anything either. Dude, stop moving backwards. This is ticking me off. Look at him. He's so dumb. Oh, his problem is I have no stamina. Dude, this is getting ridiculous. Every single time. Thank you. Jeez. Yeah, it's literally just a ghost. Comes to kill you. What's the deal with the stamina? Am I like... I can't find any foods or things that give me stamina. This is absurd. But yeah. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I'm assuming they're weak to ethereal, right? That's my assumption. Bet anything with that statement? Because you can find some books and some quests. What books are you talking about? I don't remember Trogs being able to read anything. I could be wrong too, though. I could have done that the whole time. That would have fixed my problem. I don't know why I didn't. Alrighty. I actually really surprised, guys, that I haven't died yet. Yeah, but yeah, it is a... Oh, Besky's asked, what is that? That is a corruption ghost. It's a lot more fun to fight when you can see it. It doesn't look like anything in the dark, but it's a red ghost. Um, and it shows up if you get defiled. It'll try and kill you. A lot of people haven't even seen it. And when Definitive Edition came out, a lot of people thought it was a bug. But it is not. It's actually a... Legitimate thing in the game that tries to Greetings, friend. You can indeed play Trog in co op. Yes, you can. You can indeed. Ooh, Greetings, thick oil. Friend. And I believe you can play as. I don't know if you can play one person human, one person Trog. I'm what not sure. I, I right. know you can play it in co op, though. Oh, uh, what was I going to do? I need to buy a corruption curing potion. Hey there. Before I die, I blood mushrooms. I need these, and I'll buy... What is this? That should be two. Two of those. 136. That's a lot of money, actually. But now we can make... Well, I don't know if we can make it yet. Make a horror weapon, eventually. What did I do? Here it is. The Sanctifier Potion, which I usually say don't take, but... I need to take them right now, because I don't have any particles. What is the EOR skill? Uh, my E skill is a grenade. It's not even a skill, it's just a grenade that I made. So, it, it doesn't do anything now, because I already threw it. Q is also a grenade. Um, R is push kick. I don't know if that's 100% what you asked, but. More iron. Nice. Okay, did we end up with... We did end up with palladium. We don't have fangs, though. Oh, no, we already have a fang. Palladium, chitin. Or... Or kite. What's the last thing? It's, uh... It's occult remains. 
which I don't have any of. I could make the halberd, though. I don't know why I don't have any of. That seems kind of stupid to walk around with no... Whatever. But yeah. Try playing as a truck with my girlfriend. As a human, she quit because she didn't want to carry me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, you kind of have to carry with the... The carrying stuff. Because, you know, you as a truck, you can't carry anything. You know what that weak is drug though? I have no clue what it means. So I mean, I mean on certain forum about character builds, they point to EOR skills for two-handed me melee builds. Oh, EOR. Um, I have... No, off the top of my head, I don't know. I also don't play two-handed... melee builds much, so... Maybe, like, the area of the swing or something? I'm not really sure. That's kind of a weird... Okay. Now, we get to stuff this full of... I guess that's gonna rot in there, but oh well. Alrighty. We're pretty good right now. I'm feeling confident with where we're at. We're gonna go take on Vendable and see if we can't, uh... Can't do it. What should I repair? Probably this. And we're gonna sleep all night. There you go. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that means either. I, I can probably ow get back to you, but I'm not a hundred percent. Area of is what it sounds like. Area of rotation, area of of I don't know. Go to the South Bandit camp and kill the Wendigo. Oh, for occult remains, true. Another brilliant idea. Alright, are we good to go? Yes, I think. I think yes. What's a girlfriend? Game is life, I don't know. <laughs> I feel the same way, Jeremiah. What is this woman thing you speak of? I have never... I never heard of her. <laughs> How do you become a trog? Is there any bonuses? Okay, Monty. Uh, welcome to the stream. In order to become a trog, you have to take a common mushroom, which is the green mushroom, throw it in a legacy chest, and then choose that character as your legacy. Um, and then you will show up as a trog. There are mostly negatives. <laughs> mostly negatives. You can only use spears and halberds. You can't use any armor or weapons that are regular at the end of the game other than the spears and halberds. You get six total armor sets, or five total armor sets to wear. I think it was six, actually. Um, but some of them make you very, very powerful, depending on what you want to play. You can't have a backpack either, but you get more pocket space. So it is not a advantage. It is a challenge run, very much so. Is Girlfriend a new character in the next DLC? That's got to be, right? That's got to be what it is. I, otherwise, I don't know what you're talking about. Right over my head. What? Is that a DLC? That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> is that a DLC? <laughs> That's what Nine Dots is working on right now. They're working on the, the girlfriend DLC. 100% true. No, they're not working on any more DLCs. But yeah, they, they definitely make the trog very weak. But also check this armor set out. If you're new to the stream, you get 100% decay damage bonus. And with this armor on, I'm 100% resistant to decay. So, Also, this one gives me movement speed and negative stamina. This one gives me huge bonuses. So, It's interesting. And yes, those are trog skills. I haven't used them a lot because of the mana usage I have right now. Um, but the one, the slot one is a grenade. You throw thick oil and does poison damage. Slot two is a buff. You basically use a lot of mana and it gives you the rage and discipline boon and heals you a little bit. Slot three puts confusion and pain, I think, on the enemy. You basically the same trog skills as a mana trog, what they do. Romance O'Leal DLC. Why is O'Leal so awesome, though? Love O'Leal. She's the best. Could we get, like, the next game is where O'Leal... We get to play as O'Leal, and she has her power. Can we, like... Can we do that, please? Can we have an outward spinoff?
Howard Real Life Edition comes with Real Girlfriend. That's awesome. I totally buy that. <laughs> uh, take my money. Alright, we need some more Gabberries. It's hilarious. If you have a girlfriend, you probably don't have enough time to play Outward. <gasps> Unless you're, you have an awesome girlfriend who plays Outward with you. Then you lucked out. Inward is the spinoff. Yes, 100%. Outward and Inward. We haven't seen the Wendigo or the Black Pearl Bird, and we've been walking on our cities in a while. That's kind of crazy. Alright, let's go take out the Vendival and then see if we're actually powerful or if this... <clears throat> Excuse me, if this is just a fluke. Monty says, my wife tries to play with me. Nice. So you got one of the good ones. If you're a gamer and, you, and you are, you're dating somebody who won't play with you. Sorry. It's not, it's not, they're not for you. <laughs> I mean, my trick is marrying a doctor. They're busy at the hospital. So, oh, you did it the right way. You just basically said, hey, I'm... I'm gonna get a lot of time to play games, you know. You you work a lot, so what am I supposed to do? Dova with the well, I don't have a mining pick. What kind of a dummy goes here without a mining pick? That's me, guys. Those Pokemon more though. I feel like a lot more women like the Pokemon games. I think it's because part of it has to do with the fact that the Pokemon are, you know, quote unquote cute. Like Pikachu and what is it? E is it Eve Eva? Evie? I don't know. I'm not a big Pokemon guy, so that's I'm the wrong person to ask. But yeah, I, I think a lot of the girls like Pokemon because it's a it's like a some of it's a slower play style where you get like the cool, um, looking animals and things. You get to collect stuff. Uh, they do have pickaxes here, so I should be fine. Yeah. Evie, is that what it is? Okay. Am I saying it wrong too? Wouldn't that be funny? I don't know stuff, guys. Okay, basically what we're going to be doing here is poison, because poison is stupid strong. Um, But what we're going to do... I don't know. I feel like I could just poison him. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Well, now, what do we have uh, here? You can go to prison a as a trog. That's kind of funny. We'll take good care of you. I could do it passively. Look. <laughs> what? I'll but pass. Thank no, you. No, I think you're sick. You need to see our medics right away. I'm going to get hit, but I get the poison off. Oh, no, I didn't get hit. Look at me. Nice. And then he just shreds because it's poison. Ha! <laughs> Oh my word, it does so much damage. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Oh, come on. This thing does a lot of damage, though. I mean, it is a vampiric endgame weapon, but... I took more damage than I would have liked. Come back up for that stuff. Overall, a decent fight, though. No kidding. My girlfriend dumped 2k on a PC and basically just emulates old Pokemon games with it. Oh, really? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, some of the older Pokemon games are really good, though. So, no complaint on that. I don't really know what Pokemon's deal is. Like, I used to watch Pokemon as a kid. But now they have the new Pokemon shows and stuff, so I don't really know. <laughs> I don't care for today. If I was a billionaire, I would personally find Nine Dots so that fund Nine Dots so that they continue making DLC for Outward. I 100% agree with you, Jeffrey. I think there's a lot more that could be done with this game. I understand their point, though. I've listened. I like to check in on the Outward Discord to, you know, read what's going on and stuff. And a lot of what they're saying is that, especially from GM, is that they want to make more games. They've felt that they've been kind of stalemated because Outward was so good, but then they just continued on with it. 
which is a good, it's a great game. I'm glad they did. But they haven't, they feel like they haven't been able to do what they want. They want to make a bunch of games. And they're like, we only have a short lifetime, you know, we can't make infinite. So I get where they're coming from for sure. All right, let's see if I can. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to be able to do that, am I? But I think that's the primary reason they're moving away from Outward. You're not one of my warriors. Do not cross me. Okay, we got to get back in here. That hurts a lot. These guys look cooler now. Did they change these guys? I think they did. They look a little bit different. Their helmets, at least. Oh my word, the decay damage on that. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to need you to not hit me like that again. I want to actually fight them, but they won't give me the opportunity. Look. Let me fight you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can only die happy after having been to Haboob. Yes. <laughs> I think one of the one of the developers entered chat the other day and they were like, why does everyone want to see Haboob? And everyone was like, why not? How could you not want to see it? Okay, here's, here's where things get... Holy cow, that hit me? What? Through the wall, are you kidding me? I forgot she could do that. I thought I was safe, that's why I was taking a health question. First death, died to Balira. That's a fair death. I thought we had her, though. I thought we had her. I kind of I kind of feel ripped off by that, but hey, I'll take it, I'll take it. Now we need to immediately head back there and whoop their freaking butts for doing that to me. First death, yeah. Yeah, Balira. Balira's rough. How do I get my burn back? Here we go. I, I just got... Uh, I I thought that that blocked that. It does not. So I was completely wrong. Here goes me. Think about Hour 2. If they take what they have made so far and improve it a lot, they could make an even more amazing game. 100% agree. I don't have a tent either, so I can't like sleep or anything. Um, so this is a problem. Oh. I I don't know. She is she is pretty difficult, mostly because I have zero resistance to uh, cold. I didn't know she could shoot through the wall though. I always thought that post blocked it. Huh. Oh well. That's why I didn't do hardcore, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to play the game. <laughs> You get caught off guard one time. Let's see if they have anything in the bottom. Size troglodyte, what do you think would be a fun challenge run for Outward cosplay? Well, we talked about the Immaculate already, but I think... What would be another cool one? Maybe a Kazite or something. I feel like that's it's still kind of human, though. I'm not sure. What, what would another good one be? A golem? A golem wouldn't be too bad. You know. Kind of hard to do, I guess. But. A golem would not be too bad. Ah! More mushroom bars. See, I knew somebody would have something for me. Eventually. They should have made it so that the pet you have could out pacifies that type of mob and makes pets harder to get. Oh, that'd be cool. Like, you get a pet of a lot more things. Um... I, that would be such a cool idea, actually, because then you'd have passive and passive things in the game, which I've talked about before. I think Outward missed the uh, missed the mark when they didn't put passive animals and enemies in the game, which they did in Sorborians. You have the passive humans, um, but most of the humans in the game are passive, so it's like yeah, Merton cosplay, yeah. Yeah, although something I have noticed is that the modding community kind of doubled when DE released. Unfortunately, it's still tiny even after doubling. I haven't looked at any of the mods, actually. Are there new ones that they've made? Ah, shoot. I was going to close the gate on that guy. Watch this. Where did you come from?
Well, the cook is not very good. I don't know if you guys knew that already, but... Do I have more range than them? Because this could be a health farm right here. I do not have more range than them. I feel like... Look, like, every time I attack, I move forward. Which is a big, like... I don't know. It, it hurts me a lot. Oh, I circled. I shouldn't have done that. See, look. I get hit. Thank goodness, like, the armor is indestructible, though. Can you imagine I have to repair Trog armor every three seconds? Aha! We did it. Ah, I get wrecked. All right, so died by Vendival. We need to keep track of where I die at for the Trog run. I want to see what all gets me. Class mods are pretty balanced, so it feels really nice. Five new mods came out and a bunch of quality of life. Hmm. Like, you're talking to classes by, like, skill trees? Is that what we're talking? I wanted to try the Necromancer one they made. Uh, like, a long time ago. That one seemed really cool. Alright, so I think this is the outfit I need to go with. The poison one is not very good here because they do a lot of damage. Go ahead and poison that guy. I feel like fighting both of these guys at the same time. Not a good idea, but... Ha! Ah, they suck. What do you want to do now, mate? Alright, one down. I don't think uh, you can dodge fast enough as a trog. I think they should have changed. I don't like how slow you are after attacking. I mean, that is kind of the point, but I, I just feel like you're a little too slow. I also haven't been using that. That could be why. Right, I need to pick up all the iron that I can. I don't need that key, but hey, whatever. Alright. Necromancer is awesome. I, I'm i feeling it is. It looks really cool. I recently updated the Necromancer. Oh, did you really? What uh, what's What's the dealio with it? Did you change anything, or how's that work? The Dragon Knight Necromancer. I have seen Dragon Knight. I haven't played it. But Gun Mage looks really cool. Two monks and a frost tank. The Gun Mage looked interesting, because you have to, like, use your... What is it? What did you use? Use your mana to refill guns and stuff. Alrighty, what do we want to drop here? That we were heavy. Why do I have 20 keys? That's probably not... The Crusader and Juggernaut, those still haven't been updated, which makes me sad. Huh. I didn't. I oh yeah, I mean like like what's been changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I meant. Not specifically you, sorry. <laughs> but like what's been changed with it? I, I don't know. Okay. So we're still really, really heavy. I'm gonna have to wear this one. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Can we take this guy? The thing about this guy is you can bring him downstairs, so he's not as difficult. I feel like. Gun loads automatically in exchange for mana and lowers the damage a lot. Oh, did it lower the damage a lot? I didn't even know that. It's been a while since I read that one. What are we doing to do here? Let's put on this and... Nah, still not enough, right? Let's go get him and close the gate. Can I do that? That is what we shall do. Okay, the archer is here. Now we can switch to this. Can you go through the wall? That's what I'm wondering. No, it doesn't go through the wall. That's lame. I mean, it makes complete sense, but... 60% damage bonus. Alright, one down. We want a decay rag on here, though. Secondary attack is cool to enter and leave enemy attack range. I think I need to use it more. 
You know what I mean? I've been, I've been saying that. I think I need to use it. This key... What the freak, bro? Come here. Step on my trap, you big dummy. Oh, did I one-shot them? I didn't know that one hit. That's cool. Alright, I need to test this out. It's just a bug fix, this seems. Okay. So nothing, like, huge. Where's Croc at? Or not Croc. Um, what's his name? Ah, Dodge! What are you doing? Yeah, I have had zero luck with that ability. And I, I, I... Every time I use it, I actually get hit. I don't know why. Alright, so this guy sucks. He's too defensive. Look at him. What the heck is he doing? I've never actually had to fight him up here. This is very odd. Now, get me. Dude, chill out. Now die by my poison. Okay, there's the dodge. I like that. I feel like if he attacked more, I could get in and do something, but he won't. It's gonna be just one hits. One hits. You cheeky little dude. How do I do it? See, I got hit again! I don't get it! I don't understand how I'm supposed to use that. I get hit every single time I use it. I gotta be using it wrong, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Pass him. Oh, I already read it. It doesn't one hit, but your damage bonus with the blue truck applied to traps. Oh, is that why? Oh. Yeah, because they apply now, don't they? That is interesting. So I will have to utilize that more. I keep getting charges I can't use, so. I don't know why they give me a vendable key. I already have 12 of them. Drop this one. You usually do the chug charge with lock on and remove lock on after I hit. Will that work? Hmm. I'll try that. There's so much iron here and I can't even really pick it up. It's sad. Darn. Let's go loot the iron in here and get some more oil though. That'll help. Ooh, what's in here? One single coal rag. Alright, where's my pickaxe at? Here you are. Um, I'm 90% sure this is a bug. Because that's the same person twice. Anyone? What? The heck? That's so weird. What? So, uh, PC is not fixed. I think we all knew that already. That's so weird, dude. Twins. <laughs> yeah, one, one is dead, one's alive. A lot of gravel beetles, but no oil. That's kind of goofy. I wonder why. So, some one of those weird code things just happens, you know. Outer body experience as she's watching herself die. This is an amazing experience. My staff? Yes, it is. I really need a staff, though. I, I can't just be throwing that away. Alright. I want to sell this, but honestly, it weighs so much. Let's uh, decraft the sword, however. That'll help a little bit with the kind of weight problem we're having here. I really is a huge... I mean, I'm 10 and a half weight 
over all the time. How do I take this guy out? That's my question. I will probably die by her again, honestly. I'm, I'm not even lying. I'm... All right. That's excellent. That is awesome. Since I already got hit. So, feeling good about it. <laughs> I gotta stop reading chat while I do things. Getting me killed. Dun, 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 dun. Alright. If I get hit by lightning, I die instantly. Yep, I told you. I can't attack. It's so slow. She's fast. Also, she keeps going on the stairs, which is the worst location in the entire world to fight her. That's the second death of the same freaking character. I can't fight her. I need to poison her, but I have no... It's too slow. I can't poison. I don't understand how she can use the lightning right after using the lightning. I thought she had to use them in succession. That's what I thought. I guess I was wrong. Because lightning, I'm so weak to lightning. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, just get hit because I can't. It's when they do attack stuff. Like, I don't know. Playing as a trog, definitely a frustrating experience. Almost got hit there. What the heck is happening? Dodge. Nope. See, I can't dodge. The dodge window on a trog is zero. It's actually stupid. I feel like we need a trog with extra dodge. Or maybe, maybe a different weapon. What is the Dreamer Halberd? How fast is that? Now I'm just dying every time. I didn't have any health, so it's freaking dumb. Uh, but... I honestly, this halberd, I honestly think it's too slow. I feel, it feels too slow. I have to walk all the way back to Vendel to kill one person. This is so annoying. Well, that time I couldn't even buff because I was sitting right... I guess I could have buffed beforehand, but... I don't have any, like, potions or anything to buff with right now. Um, and I was trying to get health is what I was trying to do, but it wasn't working. The The health from burn is, like, minimal at best, you know what I'm saying? Minimal at best. I got back to Sierzo, I guess. Is that a plus? I don't know. Was that the plan all along? Alright, gravel beetles. We don't have any other things to use with them. I don't know. Maybe I need a lightning potion for Balira. That seems to instantly kill me. Let's take a nap real quick and get our stuff back. I died to Balira twice in a row. And then a Mantis Shrimp because I was half dead. So, you know. Usual fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the eye switch is very frustrating for certain characters. Very frustrating for certain characters. And it feels like a, the poison trog is the wrong one. Um, don't use that against her. If I could get one poison bomb off on her, she would die instantly. Oh, you know what didn't help too? I'm tainted, which means I'm even worse. It's negative 65. Holy cow. Yeah. Dang it. I don't know. I literally don't know how to fight her, so that's... I don't know what the workaround here is for this. Gotta think of something. Traps don't even work because she barely moves. Most of the time she hides behind that table. Hmm. I don't know. Let's not 
Put our money away and let's go buy something that's going to help us, I guess. You get the skill that Ice Witch uses? Um, Technically, it's like a version of it. Dang it, it's snowing now too. This is terrible. The Lightning Blast is from the Wind Sigil with Spark. And then the Ice Shot is technically if you use Ice Sigil and Mana Push. But it's not the same thing. Yeah, what would be a high impact weapon? Sar, but it's too slow. Hey there. All right, do we have weather potions? Because I may die on the way. No, we'll grab some of these. Let's help with cold, yes. Um, we have an ice potion and a lightning potion that we can buy. I guess we'll take that before we fight her. I also need to use these buffs, these trog buffs, more often. I think I need to get Hex before I can do that, though. Alright. Once again, we're going back. <laughs> that is so disheartening to die by the same person twice. Ice Sigil and Mana Ward does it. Uh, it does an Ice Explosion, yeah. Oh, you mean Ice Witches. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. I thought you meant Blira the Ice Witch. Cleaver from Bandit Camp has high impact. I did have that earlier. I wonder if I could... Mmm, Dreamer Halberd with Trog is a better option. Yeah, I mean, I'm halfway to getting the Dreamer Halberd, so. I'm so used to having boons. This is going to be interesting, but. So I did the same Manicore like four or five. <laughs> five reasons. Dude, Manicores are rough. Manticores are rough, honestly. Because they, not only can they move fast... But they have high impact as well. So if they get you, they you're done. For the most part. The Manticores are very frustrating. Still a 0 0.9. Hmm. I don't I don't know. The Vampiric, it doesn't feel like is the best with the Trog because it just it's too slow. For smaller enemies, yes, but for any bigger enemy, I'm not gonna be able to leech health fast enough. You know what I'm saying? Force the melee AoE and throw a poison grenade then. You think that would work? I got one hit by the ice, so the ice is... May have been a little low, though. We'll give that a shot. We'll give that a shot. Cabal Hermit may be better to take, just for those resistances. But I still get 20 if I drink the potions. Need mana regen for my rune mage. Best advice. Uh, get tired. That's an easy way. Tired gives you mana regen. Or you can get Philosopher, but that's going to not give you much. Unless you want the fire and the mana regen. But being tired gives it to you. You can eat, um, what is it? Dreamer's Root to become more tired, which helps. And all the foods. Yeah, all the star mushrooms, the turnips. Uh, there's some foods you can buy that do it. Which you can find in most of the alchemist shops. Not alchemist. Yeah, alchemist shops. And also, mana potions are extremely easy to make. Like, mana potions are the easiest potion to make. In my opinion. So, you can make them. That run looks hilarious. Dark Souls. Is, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Ah, it's making me run out of stamina quickly. But I will defeat this witch, I tell you. Um, I'm kind of busy. I'm going to leave you guys there. I'll come back. Maybe switch... I don't know. Because Halberd and Spear don't seem to have any different attack patterns with a Trog. So maybe it's just... The attack speed on your weapons matter. What about Thrice Rod? Does anyone know how fast Thrice Rod attacks? That could be a really good option. Crescent Scythe. Maybe if you can come across some Shark Cartlet. That would be a really good one. You need two shark cartilage, right? And palladium. Buff the speed of the trog. Did they? Interesting. Makes sense if they did. Rain enchantment on Scholar Circle. It does give one nice regen. What the heck are you guys doing? Oh, he's flying. Alright. Let's see if we can't do this properly, huh? Huh? Thrice Rot's 1.1. Ooh. Thrice Rot may be the way to go. 
now that they added that new... Depending on the enemy. Now that they added that new... What is it? Chest or helmet? Whatever you want to call it. Alright, she's down there. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna do this, guys. We can do it. We can do it. Um, let's put this on and activate this. Oh, I did it through the wall. It might be. See? That is so stupid. Alright, I think I got her, though. I did get her. Now all I have to do is not die. Woo! That was close. Ah, I got scared. Balira is so tough as a trog. Oh my word, she's tough. Elemental attacks destroy me so quickly. That was a good plan, though. Two cart large sharklage, palladium, and a pitchfork. Oh, a pitchfork. I always forget about that part. Okay, Vendival's done now, so we don't have to worry about them killing anything. Jiminy. Holy cow, dude. Valera is so rough. I don't have anything with cold resistance, I don't think. As a trog. I don't think any of the armor offers it. You get physical or some or you can get physical and what's the a decay, but that's it. Wow. I want to try Thrice Rock. I think that'd be fun as a trog. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Go back to Enmerker. That was a rough, rough battle there. I'm not going to count the Mantis Shrimp death, as that's kind of dying by Valera anyway. It is technically a death, but like... The ones I'm going to remember is not that one. Is that... I died because of Valera, so... What classes did you take? I haven't taken any yet, actually. Which is part of the problem. I shouldn't attack... I should be attacking everything with no classes. Um... I don't know. We talked about going... Hunter, Hex, and Traps. Make a pit stop for the Occult Remains. Probably should, shouldn't I? Ah, I see. I have the wrong equipment for fighting that guy. Also, no health. Does health regen get slower on a trog? Because I feel like I'm not regening at all. No, I think it's just because I usually take more mana. I should do that, Yotu. I will head over there and see if I can. I don't know if I can kill him. The way I'm playing... Dude, the way I'm playing now is so different than earlier. I was trashing earlier. Now I'm getting my butt whooped every three seconds. Good old outward. Make more fire rag. Oh, you know what? I can poison him, can't I? Just choosing health rag too instead of better ones. Ah! Hey, I found where the Wendigo was, guys. I'm 90% sure I can kill him with the poison. I'm 80% sure I missed. Do, 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 do. I'm out of thick oil now, which is not good for later, but. Alright, if I had a fire, that'd be nice. I don't know if the poison's gonna kill him fast enough. We don't want to give him health regen, that's what we don't want to give him. Let's just go hide. We go hide. Oh, I'll take him to the bandit camp. That's what we'll do. When to go to the bandit camp? Yeah, yeah. Yo, too. You have a brilliant idea there. We're on the same page, aren't we? Literally runs so fast as a trog. It's so amazing. Alright. Poison actually didn't do a lot of damage to him. 
from the initial explosion. Alright, you, come here. Fight this guy. Immediately started fighting him. I like that. They're all trying to fight him. Oh, they might not like him because they trapped the other guy. There we go. We got him trapped on there. Oh, they're gonna give him health. He's full health. Don't do that, you ding-dongs. That did not hit me. There's a 0% chance. Should I take him down here to the... Where's the trap at? Isn't it on... Yeah, here it is. Can I get him around that, though? Here we go. He is fighting them, but they're not very good at fighting a Wendigo. Hence why they couldn't fight their own Wendigo. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah! Alright, so he should be bleeding now as well. I think. Hey, Sheen, how's it going? I hope all's well. Hey, Bayou, what's up? Uh, it's going really good, actually. I just died twice to the same person. But other than that, I haven't really died that much. Now, there should be two more bandits, I think. I think they're healing him, though. If the archers would do to the Wendigo what they do to me, we would never have a problem. So he just keeps healing himself. What a doofus. These humans are stupid. Stupid, I tell you. He's constantly healing himself. This is funny. Ooh, they knocked him? Okay. Bandito number one actually helping for three seconds and then tried to kill me and healed the Wendigo again. What a brilliant buffoon you are. Alright, come up here, buddy. Can you come up here? Thank you. I need you to step into this trap, please. Eh. He's not walking on any of the traps, but... Ah, there we go. Can I get him on this one? I don't even know. This is a weird spot. Ooh, I did. Nice. Hey, so, um... We're having minute issues with this one to go. <laughs> <laughs> Running animation for Trog is just perfect. It really is 100%. Alright, alright. We're finding a win to go. We gotta, we gotta buff up here. With what? <laughs> Should I use a, a frost rag? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Hmm. Impact. There we go. Oh, he hit that boon on me already? That's not good. Ooh. How is he healing? He must have massive heal mechanic. Is this the wrong trog to fight him with? Does anyone agree with me on that? Choo, 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 choo. You can just kite so well with the trog. It's crazy. Let's try something else. This guy, maybe? I don't know. I know I need a health potion. If I can knock him down, I could just beat him to death, but... Look at that massive health mechanic. I'm missing half the shots. That's the prop. Also, I gave him health regen, which wasn't great. I did get him on fire, though, which is going to help a little bit. I don't know if he's still burning or bleeding, though. Well, Mika fever, I'm cold. It's a good situation. Uh, health potion? Using a lot of health potions. Wow. I am out of thick oil, too, it appears. Fire is doing massive damage to him. Range is killing me. Okay, this is the trog. Dang it, dude. I hate that attack. Ah! So annoying. Okay, we got him. Occult remains. That's what we came here for. Yay! 
I can leave the other one alive for now since I don't have anything to fight him with. We did it, guys. Instant you became cold, you caught a cold. Yeah, I don't like that either. I think it's kind of stupid. I can't believe we got that guy. That was so... Oof. Traps are going to be essential for enemies like that. That is what I'm thinking. Man. Definitely need that extra health. Wow. How do you get outside? Wasn't he locked inside? Uh, no, that is the the roaming one. There's two in Cheris or three in Cherisnees. Um, one of them is just randomly outside. One of them is inside the that dungeon or that whatever you want to call it, that building. Um, the, I chased him all the way over there. That's yeah, there's always one outside, guaranteed. Um, but he's a random spawn. Um, I've seen him in front of Vendable multiple times. I've seen him in front of Sierzo twice, which is not very many. And then he's sometimes by the exits over here. Or under that bridge. That bridge is a very common spot to fight him. But yeah, I didn't kill the one inside, so. The traps helped fighting him, but they didn't help a lot because the humans kept getting themselves killed and healing the stupid guy. So that was fun. Oh my word. You gotta, you'll love to see it, guys. You'll love to see it. Okay, we have negative 30 stamina regen from our cold. We have negative 15 weather defense from Mika Fever, and I'm very thirsty because of it. Jeez. This, what solves the cold? This one does. There we go. Good job, Gene says. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Nano, what's up? Good afternoon. How's it going? We've been fighting some stuff. We cleared Vendival. That's the big task. I did die in Vendival, though. That is disappointing. He can be all over the place in front of Ghost Pass is another location where you can find him. That one is actually where I first found him for the first time ever. My first played hour. And he whooped my butt. Yeah, that is another one. That one I feel like is the worst one if it's snowing. Because he blends in too well in that location specifically. Let's see, I've defeated a giant. I've defeated a Wendigo. A Golem. All the ghosts. Without the only th I can't believe Balira killed me, but the giant didn't. It's funny. So the only thing we had trouble with really was the Wendigo. As he took way more damage on me than I wanted. Sleep 10 hours for the fever. Is it 10 hours? Okay. I knew it was sleeping some amount. We can how make a however make a horror halberd now and see if that's any better. I don't think it is though. Although the attack speed's a one if I remember correctly. Not being able to use wind infuse one hundred percent hinders you. Where are we at on our quest? Just talking to Risa? Good deal. Oh, I have armor that I should put on. Let's put on this guy. Negative stamina usage. Found him in front of the Mott Calm and near the Gate of the Swamp. Yeah, near the Gate of the Swamp is when I've seen him a couple times, too. Catching a cold is 30% chance each second once you reach negative 40 temp. Wow. 30% chance every second? That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, someone told me Extreme Poison did fix something earlier. I didn't know what it was, though. You want to try? I mean, I have... Poison. What do I have that... Here we go. That one doesn't work. I need to... Doesn't Extreme Poison, like... I don't know, I don't have anything. Wee! I'm poisoned. It doesn't matter. All right, guys, we're gonna nail this down. Okay, we are definitely taking the health skill and the stamina skill. And oh wait, no, we weren't taking stamina. Health, hex, 
that. Alright. So let me grab this, since the health is gonna help. One of the most annoying diseases in this game. The cold? Yeah, 100%. I actually, in my playthrough of my brother, when we were doing live, I died by what? cold. I didn't I even die by you. the shell horror, if you notice. I realized that after rewatching. I was like, wait a minute. Alright, I don't have a lot of money. Darn. Booey. Alright, let's get this, this, and this. Now I can craft a horror weapon. Which is Palladium, Fort Remains, Horror Chitin, and Fang Halberd. This is a 1 attack speed, 12 decay damage. I am intrigued. I am going to try it. I have to try it. Okay. Also, we were going to buy the skill, which I need. Let's take some money out here. I don't even know if I have enough money now. I spent some earlier on other stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, it sure does have better impact. Hey there. No, we're not going to have enough. Darn it. How does this keep happening to me? Weather defense potions for that. And that's about it. Didn't I have silver in there, though, too? I might have a little bit of silver. Yeah, the truck definitely runs a lot faster than the... Human. I have, like, no silver in here. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, Sean! Thanks for donation in the sticker. What's up? How's it going? How you been? Doing good? I need to sleep. Maybe not that much. I don't even need to repair, do I? Scrapping or dropping weapons that sell by 67. Yes, I am. Didn't I have a shield at one point I was going to sell? I'd already sell that. Only the accursed one to go on fire beetles can apply it to you according to the wiki. Oh, really? The regular Wendigo gave it to me, so that's interesting. I wonder if that's a bug or if they just intended it for it to be the Wendigo as well. See nothing in Outward Wiki, but in Definitive Edition it runs notably faster, I think. Gotcha. Good, thanks. Ah, awesome, Sean. Good deal, good deal. Glad you're uh, in the chat here. Let's go get a cold potion. Wee! I really thought I had that shield. I guess I scrapped it for the palladium. <laughs> this is hilarious. Alright, you have a quest for me, lad. Here's the pay attention. You've earned this. Give her a cold stone. Don't have a manticore tail, so we can't get that. Eat this. I don't know what it does. That's pretty good. That was pretty good food. Mm, nice. And we can sell the robes. That does give me a bit of money. Want to buy something? Not much, but it's something. Let's go talk to Risa. Oh, uh, no, we need to talk to Roland first. Trogs look funny. Yeah, trogs are hilarious. Yeah. The ugliest weapon on too. Uh, hi. Oh, he gives us some nice stuff. Thanks, Roland. Palladium spikes. Now that's gonna be helpful. This is your task. Uh, so we need to do the blue chamber Here's part first, right? Know. I'll be there shortly. Cool, 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 cool. Made a runner trog with mercenary running skill, and the speed is insane. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Ha! I didn't even think of that. You can cure it with a cool potion, though. Mika fever? Gotcha. Alrighty, let's double check what we have here. We need some water. I think I've been focusing too much on the poison aspect of things. But we'll have to see if I get any use of this horror spear. Or I guess it's not a spear. Alright, alright. 
I gotta figure out how to use that better. That's all there is to it. Okay. Oh, uh, didn't I need a pitchfork for one of the crescent shark weapons? Yes, I did. See if I do this quest right, guys. <laughs> Sometimes I mess it up. Alright, don't talk to that guy because he doesn't matter. Have you picked up on any relevant gossip? I'm gonna Look mingle. To yourself. Keep your keep your eyes. Talk to everybody once. This guy's oh, gonna die no. for him. <laughs> this is Poor dude. Are you serious? I elat. Oh, listen to me. Alright, just gotta get uh, through on. everybody. Uh, come on. Keep walking. I have what can I Oh boy. Uh oh, Soraborian guy, I yes. All right. She I don't remember if this lady dies or not. No way. Curious. See ya. We don't see her after this a while. Will not stand. All right, here we go. Have you picked up on any relic? Could you check the inn to see if they've arrived? Now I'd leave and have yet. to come right back. Cuz that's how it works. That's how it works. The speed right about here. Explosion. It actually is really nice because of the speed. Like, you get to run around a lot faster. Alright. Is anyone not dead up here that I need to kill? Oh, they're not even close. Well, that was a terrible way too far away. They kicked butt, though. Did you see that? I need to take all that. All right, talk to these guys. I don't know if I have to, but what do you? I saw. Here's the plan. Huh? Then Sagard, Sagard Battleborn has nothing to say. Got nothing. All righty. Let's do this. Should have two enemies down here. Let's see how hard this is with this drug. Can I isolate them? Maybe. Yes. I did. Not. That didn't even make any sense. I wasn't in that guy's range. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Doesn't make any sense, but brilliant. running attack was really, really nice there. You know what I need to do is put on the other one. Get the extreme bleeding on, or extreme poison on, and then attack. There we go. <laughs> this one's so much better. Defensive-wise. It's crazy. Gotta head to bed for now, Sheen. I'll catch the rest of the VOD tomorrow. Alright, catch you later, Azuzio. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support, guys. Means a lot. Really does. Alright, so we're heavy with that. Let's put on this one. Wah! One is more lenient to mistakes. It very much so. I mean, 10 protection is a lot. If we get the en Aegis enchantment on some of these, it might be a bit better. Alright. Excellent by me. Yeah, it's nice. It's weird. It acts like it doesn't even... I don't know. It's kind of goofy the way it works with that attack. I'm not even sure what it is. It just lets you hit or miss. Oh, what happened to my light stick? I don't have it anymore. Can't see crap in here. Where am I at? There we go. Should be an assassin beetle. Come over here where I can see you. 
Ah, shoot. Fighting two of these guys is a nightmare. Four weapons only apply poison. If you want extreme poison, you need to put rumbling anger on them. Okay, yeah, I believe you're correct. Or I know you're correct. Wah! It's a lot of running around. And then dying by this stuff that happens. I'm gonna have to use all my stamina to get away from him. I can't see anything. Literally can't see a thing. This is insane. Alright, head all the way back to where the light is. We need a buff with... What are these weak to? Cold, I think? It does say it inflicts stream poison, though. I thought there was... Oh, no, it's the bow. You're right. Uh, They do inflict extreme poison. I think the bow doesn't, though. The bow has to be enchanted. They just attack too fast together. Like, you can't... Oh, my freaking word with this speed crap. Fighting multiple enemies as a trog, impossible. It's the biggest nightmare of all time. That works, though. <laughs> okay, I get I get what you guys are saying. I see it. I see it. The bow. Yeah, the bow is... I think it's because the bow is too strong. You can inflict extreme bleed and poison at the same time. Now, how do I see? Hmm. I can't even tell where I'm going right now. Oh, I, I put an ice infused. That should help. What are these guys doing? Being wackadoos? They're being wackadoos. Was I even supposed to go up here? I think I am. Yeah, see this giant room? I couldn't find that. The door to limit their movement. Oh, I got you. Oh my word. Thank you. I like this crystal. It's pretty cool. Now there is a unique enemy down here. So let's see if I have trouble against him. Alright. Let's take a water... Um, what else do we need here? Gold should be fine, I think. Alright. These guys are harder because they... That mana and explosion that they do is a lot longer than a regular one. There we go. Bleeding. Or poison. Nice poison. That is nice. Um, we gotta be careful with this guy. He is not... Burned woods, okay. Enchantment for the bow is irrepressible anger. Oh, gotcha. Where is he at? I know he's somewhere. There's a unique enemy. There's also an ice witch, which, if you don't know, is my worst nightmare. I feel like he's to the right. He's to the right. Okay, we're okay. We're not really okay. But we'll manage. Oh, fighting an ice witch and a bow guy. Let's do this. You follow me and have the other person not follow me. Oh, shoot. The barrier guy came up here? Let's do it, bro. You want some of this? I'll give it to you. I'm dishing it out today. Dishing it out. Could you come up the stairs, please, though? I don't want to fight three humans at the same time. Yeah, you come here. This guy has perfect strike, I think. Maybe not. I don't remember. 
Let's see if I can take him. I run too fast compared to a normal human. What the heck? Dodge! Thank you. Oh, that's way faster! It's way faster! <laughs> I didn't even get hit by him! Okay. Yeah, the vampire Calvert's too slow for the truck. It's sad to say, but... Alright, we need to come back up and get that later, because that sells really, really, really well. Maybe I should bring it down. Which way is this? It's the one and only exit, I think, right? Oh, no, it's over there. I'll grab it and take it down there. Wolf Great Hammer, that's going to be some nice cash. I am definitely liking this halberd a lot more than the other one. I just don't know if halberds are better than spears. You know what I'm saying? Which is which is the best? I mean, it doesn't open for here. Got the key. Oh, this is the part of the. Yeah, this is for the. What's it called? Wisp William of the Wisp West. That's very cool. All right, that's the exit. I guess I have to go backward. I have to go all the way around, I guess. Four weapons are so good and so easy to rush. Yes. Usually I don't use them, um, but for a trog, it seems to be the best option. I see what you guys meant, by the way, by... Lock on and then unlock. That works. I don't know what I was doing before, but I tried to do this and it wasn't working. Now we have the Ice Witch, which typically I suck against. Well, that was very anticlimactic. If he does an Ice Blast, I'm knocking. Yep, I knew it. He did the Ice Blast after doing a stupid attack. You will die by me, you stupid witch. How dare you. All right. I just hate being slowed so much. My least favorite things. We're running low on health. Noticing that big time. Spears are good for poking single targets. Halberds have widespread sweeping attacks. Okay. I need to try out a better spear. That's the thing. Oh no, I have plenty of food. I couldn't find it. I need to try out a decent... I need the World Egg Spear. That's one I was going to get. Eventually. I was thinking of... I was looking up things to Legacy Chest last night, and I was like, poor leg, and I was like, no, that's so easy to get. I don't need to Legacy that. Okay. This could be a nightmare. Mostly because I'm slowed. Hmm. Oh, it does good damage, though. Ah, please dodge. Thank you. Oh, he died to the poison. That inflicted poison pretty quickly. Alright, alright. I'm digging it. I thought he was done. I don't know why I did that. Booyah! Nice. I am very disappointed with ornate chests after Definitive Edition. They have been utter crap. Alright, I already read that. We need to go left. Does anyone else feel the same way, though? I feel like they have been garbage. You can wrangle a Phytosaur horn and a Mesmopod. You can make the Phytosaur spear with a fishing hook. Thing. Okay. A Phytosaur horn and a Mesmopod. That's a good swamp weapon. Hmm. 
You seem to like to fight from a reactionary standpoint, and being the one in the offensive can be so good to finish the combat before it starts. That's very true, Yotu. Um, that is a that's a good point. I do I do tend to favor a defensive playstyle. We're not going to fight this guy. Um, it's literally impossible to win with low health like this. We will come back. All right, I thought there was a way around this tree. There's not. I look like a big doofus right now doing this. But also, we've been out of like bombs for a while. Feeling very disappointed about that. Supply stash are better than some chests. I 100% agree. Lately, that is. Look at this. I can dodge faster than I can run. Stupid. Let me go. And a 1.1 attack speed. Oh, really? I'll look into that then. That ghost is going to fight for me. I will... If I go to this... When am I going to the swamp? Probably not for a while. The the Ash Giants quest. Hey, what's up, Sectos? How's it going? Look at this dodging. It's hilarious. I feel like the Trog definitely takes up more of the screen. But if you move out your... Is that Palladium? Probably Iron. Move out your FOV, it's not that bad. I moved it out about 10, and it's... This seems normal for me. I usually play at about 70... Shriek is calling you. Oh, yeah, the Abrasar Desert. I think... I think that's where I put it. Duty I put in the Light Mender. If I, if I, it's like, where did I put it, you know? Because you can't check in your inventory. Alright. Now we have enough money for our first skill tree. Uh, yeah, I think after I save Risa, I can go do Blood Under the Sun. You make a good point. Oh, no, no, no. I need to start the Blood Under the Sun by going in the inn. Don't worry me. Don't worry about me. I'm just falling down a cliff. Then I can go to the Burning Tree and do both at once, you're saying. Yeah, yeah. That's so easy to forget when you're playing. You're trying to get stuff done. Hey there. 300, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hence why I kept them. Keep the cold stone for now so we can use it later. Alright. Good, thanks. GM himself answered me and told me the troglodyte loot bug is going to be fixed next patch. Troglodyte loot bug? Oh, the one where they don't... Um, you can't loot the blue knights or whatever. What can I do for you? Alright, let's get this. Extra health is just going to be so much help, So much more helpful. So 160 health. We'll end up with 100, 200 health at the end of this. Optional bandit captain over by the wind temple. Yeah, I need to kill him. I usually do. What is with all this weird stuff I keep getting? I keep this in here for later. I have a Misma Pod. I just need Thorny Cartilage, right? I need to stop uh, throwing stuff away. Keeping it. Ooh, do I have two health potions? I do. Craft that here. Okay. I don't really need mana potions, but I may later. That's why I'm making them, in case anyone is wondering. Throw that in there. Keep traps for now. And that is about it, I think. Put one of these waters in there. I feel like I'm carrying too much water. Fight a sore horn. Yeah, that's what it is. 
Evan, also I worked a full day and you're still going in the grind and mindset on you. Sheen shot is unstoppable. <laughs> you know me. Hey I'm an outward fiend. Ugh. <laughs> it's just hard to... I, I like live streaming longer hours. That's why I only live stream twice a week. So I can make videos at the same time. But it gives me enough time to do all this, I think. Also, I think some people have enjoyed the longer streams, just getting on and hanging out. So I've kept doing them mostly because of that. Alrighty, let's go get us a... Uh, no, we need the blood under the sun first. Yeah. But how was work, Evan? How was it? I don't know what you do, but I imagine, uh... It wasn't easy. What? Oh, Alright, that starts on. blood under the sun. Oh, no. Okay. We could probably... What do you guys think is better? A horror al halberd or a horror spear? I don't know. I've been wondering. Still at work? Ah, this worries me. I love that you guys can tune in while you're at work, though. I find that hilarious. I guess some people are like truck driving and stuff though too. I if I mean if I was a truck driver I'd be streams would be where you'd want to be. You wouldn't be able to chat as much really, but I don't know. My my dad used to truck drive. He watched Netflix and I don't, he didn't get into podcasts much, I think. But a lot of people watch podcasts. I work from home, so you know it's pretty alright. Oh, I see, I see. You you get to do what you want, I feel you. The work from home life is kinda nice. I like it. Love the longer stream sheen. Unfortunately, some of them are in the night where I live. Uh, but I enjoy the ones I can check out live. Awesome. I think right now what we're trying to do is mornings on Tuesdays and later in the day on Thursdays. I think that encapsulates pretty much everybody. It also gives me time to make videos on the side. Currently extremely mad at Outward right now. Lost my Master Trader Armor and Scaled Boots. I'm an electrician. Spent all my day running wire for a grounding system for a new building. Ah, it sounds like a lot of work. It doesn't just sound. I know it's a lot of work. I know it's a lot of work. Yeah, I'd be frustrated too. So who did, who was it yesterday? Someone, there's a streamer that streams outward. And he got in one of the discords the other day. And he's like, it's, it's time to quit outward for the day. I just lost my hardcore character. I can relate to that so much. How did you lose it? That's my question. But yeah, electrician, being an electrician is a hard job. I just enjoy jobs that are not outside as much. I, I used to do flooring. And that is, when you're inside, it's not bad. But when you're outside, oh my word. And then you have people that'll leave their um, AC off in the summer and be like, you put my flooring in and we're like yeah but uh it's not gonna be fun <laughs> i'm not gonna enjoy it let's see do we need anything up there no nah, we, we can do that later i should attack these guys right how many is there two uh i don't know what are bandits weak to Okay. Oh, they're already almost dead. Well, he blocked that like a pro. Okay. Okay. I wonder if he can... Yeah, there we go. How is he circling me? That's my question. I circle you, not the other way around. <laughs> I work at a daycare with kids from age 4 to 12. It can be brutal, but also a lot of fun. Ah, yeah. Ages 4 to 12, really? It's a surprising age frame, I guess. Hmm. See if I can get some of the kids to watch Sheen once I'm back at work. Nice. Epic. <laughs> 
Oh, man. You guys want to see if I can take this? I don't know if I can take this guy. I'm about to find out. They don't poison, so this could be the wrong armor set to fight them with. Um, let's choose impact. Yeah, you, come here. I'm not gonna cheese him. I could take him to the guy, but... Stamina. Working on that. These guys are annoying because they, they exit your range when they attack you. So sometimes with certain attack styles, they can be very hard to deal with. I was in the swamp area, Evan says, and got knocked down by a mob, woke up in a ruined building surrounded by poison swamp, and my armor was in a chest and water. Died almost instantly when I stepped into it. Oh, really? I think it still should be there, though. I don't know if it changes. If I knew where it was, I... Oh, you'd say you don't know where it's at. I got you. It's probably in the middle of the swamp. If you look on your map, there's a giant lake, like this area-ish in the swamp. There's a bridge. It's probably right there. I think that's the only... I, stopped doing that. I think that's the only location there. They do that. Not having anti-poison measures in the pocket was your first mistake. Yeah, that too. <laughs> you always gotta have that when you're in the swamp. Yeah, Outward's one of those games you just kind of give up for the day when something bad happens. Move back into it later. <laughs> this guy's very resistant to... Oh, they hit me. Yeah. Hey, excuse me. I'm literally walking backwards, dude. Man. N un the inability to heal constantly is what I'm struggling with. Dude, this guy's ticking me off. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, he's angering me. That does let you dodge that rather easily, surprisingly. Get out of my face. Out of my face! Some nice stuff he has. Really nice stuff. Eat this. Nice. Prayer Claymore. A tent! We're gonna grab the tent. I know it was the third way. My weapons weren't taken or my bag, just my armor. Oh, I see. It probably should still be there. I'm guessing it's on the left side of that lake. Keep dropping my pickaxe. It ticks me off. But yeah, no, that's really frustrating when that happens. 80% burn HP. Oh, so it, it killed you instantly. You didn't get a chance, yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing it's that location. There's no way it's not. Because it's the only one in the swamp where bandits are at. I could sleep, actually, now that I have the tent. Let me beat the crap out of this guy real quick. I never know when they're going to either flamethrower or do the other attack. The other one will do a lot of damage. He almost got me there. I almost almost gave it away. I almost gave him the win. Whew. Bigger bag you can't. Which I do. Yeah, well, yeah, true. Get to keep... I don't know. Yeah, that's one of those death snares that is really difficult to deal with, though. Some of them are really rough. Um, let's guard, actually. Four, four, four. Let's do four. Let's do this right here. There's a 9% chance. I was just trying to get to the city and grab the level 1 perks from the Warrior Monk and the other trainers there. Ah, I see. Yeah, that can be... 
Deck that, that can be rough for sure when that happens. Are you kidding me? With a nine percent chance, guys. With a nine percent chance. What is it though? A burning man? It's a giant. What? I have never been ambushed by a giant, guys. I'm telling you right now. You know what I am going to do, though? Big brain moves. You ready? Big brain. I've got this. Watch me die. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> Come on. Come fight me. If I can get him to chase me. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. It's real weird. All right. If I can get him to fight the horse down here, I will be very, very happy camper. Will he come down here? Come on, buddy. Mate, you're slow. You're slow. I picked fire. Um, That was a mistake. Fight that guy. There we go. I need actually cold. Do I have any cold? No, I don't. There we go. I don't want him- I don't want you guys to kill him. He actually is not taking that much damage, though. He's pretty resistant to this. Oh, it, it automatically locked on to me. Or no, I automatically locked on to the giant. Um, in my inventory, which isn't even possible to lock on. Alright, come on, buddy. Stop being a wuss and get over here. Is that just a fire horse or is it a unique enemy? Uh, it's just a fire horse. Fire elemental. Horse, but I don't like him. He is on that dead body for some reason. Sir. That is not an enemy. Thank you. Alright. No, this way. Stupid. Aren't giants supposed to be, like, smart or something? Actually, I'm pretty sure they're not. Whatever. I love it. Here is where it gets tricky. If I get set on fire, we could be in trouble. Alright, here we go, here we go. Alright, we're within range. He should fire the giant if he does anything. Oh, there we go. He got on the giant. Excellent. Ooh. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The... N oh! The brutal battle. Oh, my word. Who wins this? I really don't know. It looks like the giant. Maybe not, though? His impact is insane. Hmm. Interesting. I'll get rid of that in a second, guys. Kind of... Worried about who wins this, honestly. Oh, it looks like the giant. It looks like the giant's gonna win. Which I'm fine with. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez. That's crazy. Yay, I did it! I took out two enemies! It's that easy, guys. Why why you have trouble? <laughs> uh, Fire Horse has killed me too many times for me to not be that cautious. Too many times. Whew. That was nice, though. Can't believe I got ambushed at 9%. Pure skill, Evan says. You know it. Yeah, there. Uh, YouTube apparently has a lot of problems with bots now. It's because I got. It's because I started on YouTube. They were like, "We gotta, we gotta get on here." All right, he's not gonna take any damage from that. I just realized. <laughs> oh, darn! It like lets you bounce off the enemy almost. It's really, really funny. These guys with their sabers, man. 
All right, I completely missed that time. Even with that much decay resistance, this thing still demolishes them. All right, so we read the scroll now, which is part of uh, Blood Under the Sun. Well done. <gasps> Uh, kidnappers shot him, left him for the animals. I will make my way back to Bird. Hey, lat, watch your back. Okay. Look after yourself. Rocky. Pinball strategy. It it kind of works. Thanks a bunch. And he gives us a hundred silver, I believe. Yeah. Give me some good loot, though. Or don't. Okay. Shut down immediately. I always double check this just in case. Even though it updates here, I think. Yeah. I need to talk to Burak for the end of that quest. Alright. I guess I could sell that, but we're not going to. We don't have enough room. That wasn't too bad, guys. Poor Halberd. Yeah. How cool would it be to learn the spear charge from a trog after rescuing a trog? That would be so cool. The only trog that you're, like, able to interact with is Felocia. Fel I don't know if that's exactly how I say your name. But the trog merchant in Sorobor area. And she doesn't actually talk, you know, because she can't really speak to you. You have Dynamir, that sounds fun. A trog in Caldera. Yeah, I really like that idea. I really like that idea. Now, can I sleep and not be ambushed, please? Can the trog use a weapon? Okay, so there's a 17% chance, guys. 17. Pelosia is my wife who... <laughs> Jeffrey, that's hysterical. But she, she is pretty awesome. Uh, trogs can only use spears and halberds, Evan. He said weird flex, Jeffrey. Hey, I, I, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Yeah, no, um... Drugs can only use halberds and spears. Which is unfortunate. But honestly, the best weapons for him, too. So. Kind of works out. And Immaculate teaches you corrupted magic. Magic that consumes your corruption. I do agree, like, one more P NPC that teaches you kind of an evil art would be cool. Like, I like... The necromancy mod. I like that idea because it's something... It's an evil kind of... Um, play style. You know, you're bringing back the dead. I feel like something to do with corruption that gave us a more... He Hex is technically... Evil-ish. Um, because it's Hex magic. That's how it works. But, I don't know. It's not the same thing. Yeah, we should get Immaculate Teacher. Yeah, see? <laughs> Thought the same thing. Yeah, it's... it's. I don't know. Because Hex is more of the evil side of the game. But it's not really e evil. It's using evil for good. I feel like Corruption itself, if you were to truly empower Corruption... Like, let's say... I don't even know. It'd be hard to do. It's hard to add skills to this game because... Most of the skills you're able to have are from enemies. Like, some enemy has the same ability somewhere. So it's hard to be like, this should be added, and then you have to fight something with that. That should have been added. <laughs> it's too hard. Oh, yeah. You know, something funny. I legacy chested the mushroom in the vigil tower here, so I never have to go in there. <laughs> I will eventually complete it, but... Hey guys, did we die by something? It would appear. Such a long range attack. Well, that made it look really, really easy to do. Come here, dear. Can I even get near you? No. I cannot. Oh, that's an alpha. Thank goodness I didn't attack that thing. That would've been bad. <laughs> Look at those little blue booty jeans. <laughs> What's up, Luna? Heck yeah. Whee! 
This one's not even that fast. We gotta get this one going. Whee! You gotta look at that mouth. Uh, uh, and I like the, uh, the annoying truck, too. The annoying truck just is a regular truck, though. Just with the cape. I feel like they should have changed him... His color a little bit. To make him cooler for the player. Not in terms of his unique enemy. He's cool. Why does it run like that? I, it's just whenever you go fast enough. I don't know. Yeah. Sprinting. It's funny. Get the weapon you get from the friendly immaculate. Oh. Did I go down there? No, no, no. I already went down there, right? I've done that one and I've done chairs and knees. I need to do Levant and what's it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to. Annoying Trog looks cool. Too bad the bonuses aren't great. Yeah, it's good for running around, but other than that, it's pretty useless. I feel like maybe... If they gave it... I don't know, some type of resistance would be better. Cold resistance or something. Will there ever be a fourth DLC or is the Definitive Edition the final state of the game? Unfortunately, this is the final state of the game. Other than patches and things like that. They, uh, they're... They want to work on some new projects is what basically what we're getting from them. Do Thrice Rot and the other new armor piece that boosts fire and frost. Yes, the Archmage. I haven't gotten the Thrice Rot yet. I just haven't. Uh, but I I need to. That is, I'm planning on it. All right, we need to talk to Risa and then we can go do Blood Under the Sun and get Shriek. Because I legacy chested that over there. Shriek may help a lot. Shriek's kind of dumb. Well then, this is tr listen. What they claim in Shriek well, is kind of crazy. Is still Three bouillon de pardonar. Talk to Burak and Sierza for a reward. Ash giants come back, so we can go do Blood of the Sun right now, and do Purifier when we go to do Ash giants. You make the trog armor or find it. Um, Evan, you have to make it. What you do is, you take all of the mushrooms in the game, and you craft them with a lower-ranking chest plate, like a tattered attire or a cloth something. Stuff that, like, basic stuff you start with. And it gives you this stuff. Um, so, one of them is a nightmare mushroom, a cooked green mushroom, a sulfuric mushroom, night... I already said nightmare mushroom, but, uh... The star mushroom, blood mushroom. That's how you get those. Alright, did I have enough beetles for... Health potions? I think I do. Ooh, I can make a frag bomb. Which I did do earlier. But it gets rid of my oil, so I'm not going to do that yet. We're going to go to Caldera eventually and get a ton of oil. The best place for oil. I'd like to see something like a physical mage skill tree with focus on applying pain and applying your physical damage with magic. That'd be neat. Kind of like a two-way street type of deal. We have plenty of traps to kill stuff with. Um, I don't think I need anything over... I should keep a little bit. But... Yeah, that's about it. Let's go sell some stuff and then we're good to go. To Levant. Hey there. All right. Is that all I need to sell? I'm so overweight still. Not really overweight, but. Let's go see if anyone has anything for heat, because that's what we're gonna have to deal with over in Levant quite a bit. How can I help you? Hot weather defense potions? Ah, uh, no. Some of these help with the heat, though. Burnt health. No, it's the other one. I don't know. Ah, the cool boon. There we go. That'll help. Spellblade skills worth using, thinking I'm making a build with them. Um, if you ask most people, they would say that Spellblade is considered the lesser of the skill trees in terms of power but it is very good in terms of like kiting your enemies around and, and I actually really like it 
Now, you have to play with it certain ways, but I think it's definitely good. If used correctly. Want to buy something? Worth a try. Using it with Rune Mage is fun. Alright, he doesn't have anything for heat. That's what I wanted to check and see if he did. Alright, let's go cook our... Yeah, berry tartines first. Uh, Spellblade is nice with the Runic Sword and also... What is the other one? Uh, enchanted weapons uh, I found the other day. Not enchanted. Iron weapons enchanted with unsuspected strength. Then they get pretty good. Alright. Did we have any here? We did have these. And we need to cook two more foods for ourselves. Tartines! What are these? Oh. I can't believe I never read those. I already know that one. I already know that one too. Well, that's why I didn't read them. So there we go. Hey there! What about here, here... Here, here. All right, let's go to Levant. What is Blood of the Sun? Is that... I gotta go all the way to the slums, and then... No, I can go to the hive first, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can go to the hive first. I don't know about that one. That might be difficult. I don't know if I can pull that one off. It might be a struggle. Maybe a little bit. Like none of the trogs have good fire resistance. Hive prison, that's what it's called. One of them with good fire would be nice. Oh, you can't get the passive that has the fire resistance, though, so... Eh. Living wood axe. Nice. Not really usable right now. You can run through the hive, just need to read the note. Gotcha. So maybe I will do that. Uh, I'm running out of iron, because I keep not leaving a pickaxe. I really like fighting bandits now that I can do this. Like, I didn't know how to do it earlier, but now that I do... It makes them very easy. Like, you just walk through them. Living Wood Axe is a rare drop. Yeah. Can't even use it. Back before Definitive Edition, I think it was even worse. Like, you could... It was really hard to get that thing. Is it still a lot of silver? I don't know. Uh, we're just kind of cruising. Cruising. Did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way, guys. I feel stupid. We wanted to go to Levant, not this place. All my food's dead now. And turn right back around and we go right back. I just wanted to waste time. You're welcome. That's what we do on the Sheen Shots channel here. We make big mistakes and we make them at the right time. Oh, is it 60? Ah, I see. So maybe not quite worth it. It is decent. Yeah, it's not bad. How fast this guy is insane. I'm not fighting you again. I just killed you guys. Actually, I do need to fight them for rations. Let me get them to fight this guy. Or they're not going to fight him at all. He's just beating them up and they don't care. Somebody hit somebody. Why are they not attacking at all? There we go. Alpha Coral Horns are mean. They'll win every time. If this guy was helping fight, they might have a chance, but...
shoot. Oh, let me dodge it. Nice. Yay! <laughs> oh, yeah. Doing blood in the sun. Which is why I was not great. Which quest are we talking about? I learned that you can get 100% cooldown, which is silly when doing a sigil mage. Oh, really? How do you get 100% cooldown? I thought it was only 95% you could get. Which I never understood why they... If you can get 95, why not just let us get 100? You know? I understand magic. Or even then, I guess. Who knows? There we go. Uh, no, I am doing Blood of the Giants, Dova. Yes, I am doing that, but I, I didn't start the quest yet specifically so I could complete this first. Oh, I see. Because this will get me... I don't know what it gets me. It's just the Levant thing you have to do. So I try and do it now. Now, I wanted to kill the Ice Witch before I had to fight this guy, but I guess not. Do the stupid attack. Not that attack. Dummy. Man. Very resistant. I guess the Ice Witches do have resistances to a lot of things. Alrighty. Ooh, three thick oil. Nice. What a good find. All right, yeah, we got to do Blood Under the Sun, and then we can do B. Also makes the house cheaper, I think, maybe. I don't remember. Do Blood Under the Sun, and then we can complete Ash the Ash Giants one. I really do think Blue Chamber is the shortest faction quest, now that I've done it again. Blood Under the Sun, you get the Levant housing for free after finishing the main quest. Yeah, that's what it is. If you do Levant quest you get it for free immediately not immediately but you get it after you complete that quest all right stamina buff that a little bit i don't know how how are we feeling about the trog run everybody i mean doing good doing bad i don't know i i've only had issues with belira the witch which honestly was because i was getting i just i was kind of playing a little badly but for the most part, the Trog run seems pretty good. I mean, you're not that much weaker than a human other than the fact that you don't have the skills. Obviously, that makes you a lot weaker. But in terms of, like, the attacks and things like that, it's not that bad. Should I join in here? Who wins? Pretty sure the Coral Horn wins, if I remember correctly. Impact is insane on a Coral Horn. I jumped in at the right time. Look at that. Yeah, I think uh, a trog, while it definitely is a challenge run, it is a lot of fun. This is a blast to do. Alrighty. You're still in the early part of the game? Yeah, wait till word bosses. I will be changing my tune then, for sure. <laughs> Dreamer Halberd, I feel like, would make Rust and Vengeance not too bad. I just... The only thing, though, is I haven't fought an Immaculate yet, if you notice. And Immaculates are pretty tough. One of these help against the heat? No. Immaculates are very tough, actually. Okay, we're running past that dude. I'm not fighting him. That's a big nope from me, sir. It does make sense that none of the trogs are good in weather, though, since they all hide in caves. Although, shouldn't caves be a little chilly? Shouldn't they have, like, cold resistance or something? Cold defense? Guess not. <laughs> uh, where's a cactus at? There should be one right here. Hey, look at that. With a cactus 
I can survive the uh, the weather and all that. Are you not strong against Immaculates? You got the corruption resistance. I I do, but at the same time, they do so much physical, and they're fast. But my only complaint is that they're fast. Trog is slow. Which means they're the only enemy... Fast enemies are the only ones that I should have difficulty with. Okay. Theoretically. Although I did have trouble with Balira. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, water. I haven't even taken water. What am I doing? How did I forget about that? All right, let's see here. Uh, there's another cactus right here, actually. Now, I actually do want to clear this cave because if I clear it, I don't have to ever come back here. That's my uh, thought process on that. We'll see if I'm right, though. I could be wrong. <clears throat> I know these guys are pretty tough. Considering I almost died already. Okay. Any amount of health would be nice right about now. Oh, I have for health. Nothing? Okay. Alright. I know they're very weak to poison. So this may actually give me an advantage here. Depends on if I can survive the big guy, though. The big guy's the tough part. Oh, fell down. Dang it, I was hoping he'd come over. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. Okay. Alright, both are poisoned. Just gotta get the little guy to come over here. He's being real weird. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, now he's coming. Alright, that's baloney. Okay, big guy is left. Here's the thing, though. He is not... <laughs> he's not dying. <laughs> At all. Oh, I have traps, actually, guys. Let's do that. Let's think intelligently for a couple seconds before we get ourselves killed here. Use one of the Palladium's ones real quick. Alright, now we got Tripwire 3. That should be all we need, I think. Right? Hey, when I press escape the wrong time and it does that. This guy's always weird. Like, the pathing this guy has is goofed up, bro. It's goofed up big time. Why don't you come up here instead of sending your flies to do all the work? He will not come through here. Now he should. Come on, get up the stairs, you big lard. All right, should have bleeding and gosh darn it! How? I just knocked you down. All right. He's just being dumb, which usually happens with this guy. Actually, he usually does this for whatever reason. He just doesn't work properly. Ah, of course. Gotta get more poison on him. There we go. Goodbye! <laughs> Big Fool gets stuck more often than not. I, I agree. I think he just gets stuck more... Like, every time I fight him. Ooh, Flintlock's first one. He should die here soon, though. My Pearl Bird's down there with him. No, I must save him. 
Get out of town, Sonny. This thing's ever gonna explode? Wow. Oh. Alright, a lot of occult remains. Uh, tattered hood, which would be good for linen, actually. There we go. That's another cave down, guys. Oh, you wanted to, we needed to go to Levant for, uh... The pressure plate thing, too, didn't we? Okay. Did I read that? I think I did. Let's double check. Okay, yeah, we did. Now I go to the slums, yes? Oh no, Blood Under the Sun is the priest, right? I need to go get the priest. Alright, so for 100% cooldown speedster, which is 40% energized, 10% scholar circlet with arcane unison, right? Gives you 15. Then more 10. Boots for 5. Logistic expert. Oh, staff. You get more with staff. I didn't know about that one. That's cool. Do I need the potion? No, I don't. All right, let's go back and talk to the priest. I forgot to talk to him. Which I don't think changes anything. Because I'm pretty sure you can do it all out of order. Yeah. It's actually hysterical. Some of the most fun gameplay I've had, just because it's goofy. Well, hello. I didn't know you were over here. I can't wait for Caldera. Oh my word, I'm going to get so much thick oil from that one cave. It's a really cool cave, though. The only problem is, um, everything over there does so much damage in that cave. The Medes are not fun to fight. Man's derp running faster than jewel birds. Heck, I wonder if I could catch a jewel bird in this. Is it that fast? I mean, I know I'm fast, but am I that fast? There he is, the priest. Is the Jilbert going to attack me or run away? Because I don't want to... Yeah, thank you. Wait, All right. What? Oh, hmm. Listen, Tell me about the meetup. This? This is... I don't think any of this matters. Dare you? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's river water. You gotta clean that. Gross. I am speed. Heck yeah. Is that a rock mantis? Ooh. Ooh. We do it for the for the giggles. We do it for the giggles. Ha! That's so funny how that works. Rock mantises are kind of cool now. They were they didn't used to be, but they are now with Definitive Edition. They can fight a lot of stuff. I need to poison myself, don't I? Do I have any Kraybe seeds? Ugh, don't. Usually those guys drop them. Why did I not pick one up? I don't know. That seems silly of me. Oh my word, the loot! The loot! It's real! Okay, so now that we're in the middle of the desert, we got two options. Uh, we have to go to the slums. But we could go to the slide first. Spear charge would be one of the strongest abilities. Yeah. I didn't, that's for sure. How much weight do we have? It's not bad. Let's go try and do the slide first. I don't, I don't know if we'll be able to, but... Talking to the priest guy is optional. He just basically points you in the direction of the high prison for the note. Gotcha. I usually do it out of, you know... Respect for the the process, but yeah, I guess you don't. They're actually scary to fight early too. It only takes them a few hits or a single one if you don't have a lot of impact resist. Ah, I see. Are you talking about those bug guys or the what else? We need to make sure we kill the Baron. I forgot to do that one time. Last time I played, I think. 
I'm not fighting those beetles. It's so annoying fighting beetles. It's weird because the last build I did was a halberd build with Moonswipe. And that's the easiest way to destroy multiple mobs at one time. Oh, Rock Mantis. Duh, we were just talking about that. Versus this guy who cannot attack any more than one enemy at a time most of the time. So I went from one to the opposite. I don't recommend, but... Yeah, rock mazes are a lot tougher at the very beginning. To deal with, at least, but... Once you get them down, they're not too bad. Going from the mindset of... All I have is one weapon to hit everything with, to I have potions and imbues and... Rags, all kinds of stuff. Definitely makes rock mantises a lot easier. My stamina burn is burning as fast as I can run. Huh. Interesting. Also wish they would fix the lighting problem that happens in the desert. When there's too many shadow or there's too many shadows from the sun going down, it just flickers over and over. It's so annoying. Alright, I already fought those guys. I don't need to fight them anymore. I could get those crushing sharks, though. Give the two of those things. Sucks when they give you confusion is the real problem. Yeah, that's true. Earn your bag as an arsenal when the game gets a lot easier. Yeah, 100%. Which is what rock mances are. It's weird, because in the release statements and stuff for Definitive Edition, they were like, one of the biggest things is rock mantises are going to be harder. Because they have more protection now. And rock menaces I don't feel like are any harder. Could be just me, but I don't know. I don't feel like they're any harder at all. Although typically I prepare better for them. Than like someone who had never played the game before would. So maybe they are harder. I don't know. Alright, we need the key. Which we're not going to be able to see anything. Well, actually we got uh, fire in view. Ah, stupid wall. This is the unique mantis. And we're going to bring him to our buddies. This is a bad idea. I want everyone to, to take note right now. I am hereby saying it's a bad idea. I have no stamina and or health. Alright, he can't come through until I release him. Let's take some of these because my stamina is crap. Um, what do we have for health here? Nothing good. That's for sure. Ran out of meat like a long time ago. <laughs> You're doing the complex path of the holy mission. The guy that helps you there can actually die. Oh, yeah, he can. That's true. Maybe, maybe that's shows how hard, much harder they are. He could die before, but it was a lot harder, I think. Did I just get two water skins at once? That's kind of crazy. Oh, there was meat in there, too. I should have eaten that. Protection does nothing when you're hitting them with elemental damage. That's also true. Yes, you make a good point. Alright. Is he going to fight him? Alright. Here's what we're going to do. You ready? I'm just going to go ahead and... Almost die. We get the shell whore up here, have all three of them fight each other, and we'll, we'll be better off. Hey, my light ran out. You want to come kill me now? Thank you. Not down here. I don't want to fight down here. Oh, shoot. He's fast. All right, Rocky boy. Do something. Don't fight the human. Oh, my word. All right, there we go. There, there's that's a mess. That was a mess that just happened. They're all fighting the wrong guys, dude. Well, they fight him now. He hit him. They're just beating the crap out of one human. Why is that? Oh, oh, he's gonna turn to me. Don't do that. Where are you going, bug-eyed? 
Can these guys fight each other? They have to be able to, right? They're just not. I mean, the shell whore is technically killing him. He just doesn't care. Or is he even hitting? I can't tell. I could have just made this a lot harder on myself. Dude, I don't understand. I'm out of the reach. You, come here. I need help. Fight that guy. Ugh. Why won't people just fight each other? It's so frustrating. <laughs> I'm done dealing with it. I'm, I'm done dealing with it. Oh, boy. Oh, it's not easy to dodge his attack. I take it back. I should have I should have put traps down for this guy. He's tough. Uh, let's see. There is a lever here. A lever here. Not gonna fight you down here, dude. Not happening. <laughs> I really thought they could fight each other. It appears I was wrong. Where did my traps go? Here they are. I literally can't... Stupid traps won't work. Ah! Yeah, apparently him and the shell horror have, like, no beef. All right, we need to figure out a way to solve this problem. Anything good in here? I'm just going to loot while I get chased. Nothing good. Master Trader hat. It's very cool. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Can he get through? I don't think he can. Oh, he can. He can 100% get through. Can I get back through? It's a better question. Yes, I can. Woo, a master. They said it couldn't be done. All right, he's stuck. So that is uh, good news. And we're going to go back and take that meat that was over here. We're just kind of chilling. Need some light, so that's what we're going to use. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Here we go. Thank you. So many water canteens right now. All right, let's do this. Rock man this time. I really... <laughs> That's so funny. It would have been better if I didn't even have the rock mantis because I brought him over there and the bandits didn't attack the shell whore. Let's do this. One more attack and we attack. Boom. And now we get Shriek because I trapped the Shell Whore. That's hilarious. Boom. Monstrously Diseased Spear. Inflicts plague on hit, which can spread dangerously. Can poison you when you strike with it. Very, very strong spear. Now we set up for the Shell Whore. Which hopefully can come back. Figure 8. With their speed. Hmm. Oh, I can use Shriek as a trap? That's terrifying. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the power it does, though? It has to just absolutely wreck the enemy. This is why I carry traps. Don't worry. The Shell Horde will die one way or another. That's kind of scary you can use Shriek as a thing. Well, yeah, I don't do that. You get rid of the hive infestation with Shriek? Uh, maybe. That would be interesting to find out. I don't know if I'll get a chance, though, because this guy may die. I'm kind of spiking him. I can't use Shriek right now because it doesn't have my MBU on it, so I can't see anything. All right. You. Are an idiot. This way. Is he gonna get stuck? No, he will not get stuck. 
Which is a good and a bad thing. Alright, come on, buddy. Let's do this. Let's let's do the dance. I um underestimated the traps. Or overestimated the traps. Not gonna lie. He was much easier with a vampiric spear. Hey, we did it though. Nice. Okay. I will take that, and that is it. Woo! That's a rough cave. Alright, can we get out this way? I don't think we can. I think we have to go all the way back. Surprise legendary weapon trap. You can lose two to four health bars and are struck with extreme poison. <laughs> oh, I'm corrupted now, too. Oh, no. No. No, oh, it just counts as a spear. That's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. I just put spikes in the traps. So I didn't put anything else. Uh, here's the shriek, by the way. It looks epic with the trog. I can't believe I actually got it. Um, in the first stream. Because it's on the thumbnail. But, I didn't know if I'd get it or not. I did. My only problem is I don't know if anything I can attack fast enough to give me poison. Because the poison buildup's really low. It's like... I, I don't know. Hey, be saucy, what's up? Need the old Levant key. Ah, that's what I thought. I remember not being able to go through there, but I had to check. Yes, the corrupted trog of destiny. Ah! Sharks. I hate sharks. Why am I excited? Okay, good stamina now. Let's deal with some of this hot weather. It's about to be daytime, though, so we're not really that concerned. What are sharks weak to? I'm guessing cold. We'll use more decay. Why not? Oh, there's two of them. I take it back. I no longer want to fight. Let's go fight the hive instead. I'd rather fight two hives than two sharks. I'm not even joking. Not even joking. Oh, are the sharks really weak to fire? I didn't know that. Okay. I already have five infestation. Ding dong. Come after me. Uh, guys, I did a bad thing. I'm, like, really slow right now. Why am I so slow? Oh, that's right. I'm carrying 24 things. Yep. It's, I don't know, dude. The Trog literally just can't attack. It's so slow. Did you just see me bolt away, though? That's crazy. When you play for 10 hours in one day, you should be able to get the thumbnail weapon. I 100% agree. <laughs> it, yeah, it is. It's 10, yeah, after 10 hours. I should have something at the end of this, you know? Alright, we gotta get health back before we can try out Shriek, because otherwise we're just gonna die. Not weak to anything in particular. Oh, really? They're just... Most things are weaker to fire. If they don't have a strength to it, it's like weakness, you know what I'm saying? Quote-unquote weakness. Shriek are weak against every element again. Or sharks are weak against every element except lightning. Ah. Oh, here we go. Let's drop this. In the sand so that I can never find it again. And this. I'm back for you. See what the poison buildup is. I mean, it absolutely destroys. That was the fastest attack I've ever seen. So I didn't poison myself, but I have to be able to attack rapidly to poison myself. 
That may not happen for a long time until we fight something much more difficult. Yeah, zero resistance is technically weak if you can debuff them. But yeah, they're they're not like weak weak against everything. They're just nothing. Typically, if something doesn't have resistance to fire, it's weak to fire because burning is so powerful. Versus the other abilities, which just inflict like they don't even inflict hexes all the time. But they don't actually do damage over time. Never thought of running away while locked on. It makes me run in a radius, though, so what gives? Running away while locked on. Um. Yeah, it does make you run in a radius, but you can kind of run backwards. Or just lock on and then attack and then lock off, maybe. You can, I mean, you can lock on and off pretty quickly. Burning does negative. Yeah, <laughs> burning's crazy. Weak when they take extra damage. There's a manhunt going on in the next city over from mine. Just got an alert for it. Oh, that's nice, Evan. That's always comforting. <laughs> Not? <laughs> that's crazy. You do do that? Hmm. I don't know. Dude, if you go any slower, I will stab you. Stab my own character for going slow. Ridiculous. Show no respect. Yeah, are they hunting you, Evan? Because uh, if so, what gives? We did it! Alright, we completed the slide, and we completed the, the left hive. The other hive's way harder. The other hive actually has an enemy that drops bombs, though. That would be cool to get. All righty. Let's see, there's like four skills I need here. There's actually a ton of skills since I'm getting this kill tree, but... Can I... This worries me. Okay, I have chitin, but I don't have anything else to use with it, which sucks. So I'll probably just end up selling the chitin. Oh no, I have a horror spear. Which I don't need anymore, because I have this thing. That's what I'll do. Which will get me more than enough money for... Wait a minute, I need... Yeah, I need fangs, so these are points. Mmm, those I'll keep. I'm gonna use those later against some enemies. Ah, Master Trader Hat sells quite well. I like that. Whee! I was just taking my attention away from the stream. A manhunt us a boar hunt if you live in the south... Oh. Can I help? This worries me. All right. All right. You had us all worried for you for no reason. <laughs> did I end up bringing that tent with me, guys? I did. That's why I'm so heavy, by the way. Now, should I buy these? I, I don't know. How much does armor even affect? What could I do for you? This one, definitely. I don't know about this one. Stamina and movement penalties from wearing armor. I guess. I don't know if it does anything, but... I mean, might as well grab it just in case it does. I love how he just flah, throws the spear around in the air. Listen. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, he says. Now we sell the beautiful spear for a lot of money. I'm hearing you correct. It's set up that way so you can quickly reposition tactically. I roll when a quick sprint and tap will lose less stamina. Uh, I, th I think we're on the right page with that comment, yeah. Blame the tent, not the rest of the... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's the tent. The tent's putting me overweight. 100%. Alright, we wanted to do a trap what build with I this, so let's see. This, obviously, because it's a passive skill. And then I should have enough to get both. Sprinting and having a light source will still easily alert them. Okay. Let's let's check out the ability. Lowers stamina cost of dodging by 50%. So that's kind of the... That's a lot, actually. And as a trog, we do need to dodge a lot. This is a, this is a good skill to have. We're going to grab this. 
We're also going to grab this. Increase the power of your pressure plate traps. That way, we don't have to carry around 20 traps. We can carry around two or three. And blow everybody up. And actually, if we use decay traps, we will be really doing some damage. Alrighty, so now I should be able to turn this into Sirene, I think. Yes, I am correct. We got over here. Mm, delete that. Very nice. I feel that having to carry around your armor is frustrating. Mm, necessary. Hey, what's up, Hytro? How's it going? It's a lot of fun, actually. I've died technically three times. <laughs> But all three times were Balira, and then I showed up from Balira, and a Mantis Shrimp instant killed me. So, how can this is troubling? All right, let me get two of these at least, which is thirty-six. I can sell. I don't know anything I have. Really? Get rid of those for now. What about one more. Ooh, it's a little much. I would think. There we go. Three pressure plate traps. Now, if we put these down... What can we put inside so far? We have the ethereal, so... Reuse pressure plate trap. Never use them in my runs. You can if you buy the top right breakthrough point. Or not breakthrough point. Skill from the skill tree. Otherwise, they get used. Um, but there is a passive skill that lets you reuse them. <sighs> Do, do, do. I found some evidence Prince about Jay. the plot. Don't just stand by stop. We need to move on the pair of them. Ready to come along. Are you ready to go now? This is one of the better quests because it's one of the only quests that um gets more people involved. That's not a faction quest, I feel like. You know, how can we get to make trap ingredients? I know. I'm hoping to just get enough stuff from walking around though. Alright, let's eat some mushroom bars and well, apparently a ton of tea. Because my stamina bar looks like trash. <laughs> oh, jeez. It barely moves it, though. What's this do? It's the only one that helps stamina, I guess. Nah. Passive unless you reuse them without that. Yeah, it's a one-time use otherwise. Let's see how much decay damage we actually do with Shriek. I guarantee you we one-hit half the enemies in here. Um, we need bandages, actually. There we go. We actually have more decay damage because of being corrupted. Hello, Baron. Are you serious? Oh, dear. You, you'll never take me alive. We shall murder you. And I don't know if you're actually supposed to kill him or not, but I always do because he's a jerk. Oh! What the heck? I just almost one-hit him with a decay with corrupted... <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, you cannot tell me that's not awesome. I don't remember what that does, but it does something. Okay, and we just literally have to walk down here. There's, like, nothing to fight. Hello. I want to talk to you. Oh, no, there is one thing to fight. I, I forgot. He blocked me. Oh, sir. You seem to have hit me. But I hit you too. How do you feel, dummy? How do you feel? Okay, so now we just walk all the way down the ramp here. There is a unique enemy in here, by the way. And I think it's the worst unique enemy in the game. Because this is a regular human with extra abilities. <laughs> like, he wasn't even given anything cool like the other ones that were given... Cool armor sets or the wolf greatsword or great axes and stuff. All right, I know when yeah. I'm beaten. I haven't found anything to heal it yet. 
Do I look like I stand a chat? My, my, my brother was never. I was. I was. All right, so we did that part. There we go. Oh, I didn't get to fight the unique enemy. Darn. I guess I could uh, use hex cleaner or something. I didn't have any cray bases to poison myself though. Gives you to go, but he still gets caught from the cross. Gotcha. So I should have done that, but I didn't. Phooey. Did that complete? I need, I need to talk to Queen Calixa. Alright, and again, I don't think I have anything that poisons me. Whoops. Not at the moment, at least. Queen Calixa, I'm coming! I'm coming to get you! Because Shriek doesn't really poison you that fast. Alright. Siren told us an example. He's gonna die, we all know. I, hey, I killed excellent. the Baron. Ooh, we get four gold though. That's a lot of gold. What was my other passive hex? Then we'll have all three passives? Yeah, let's do hex. Let's go over there. Need the money for that though. Good thing I grabbed the shield to sell. Who has money? Someone over here had money. Make shark great axe in my pocket. I have all the ingredients. I've tried making it. Mm. I never make the shark stuff, so I'm not sure. Crayface sees in the shop. I'll check. Shield sells for good. And that covers my trip. Basically. Still going to need a bit more when I get over there, though. Because I need 500. Hmm. Okay. Also, let's sell two of these water skins that we don't need. 100% don't need those. Oh, the cook might have cray bay seeds, probably, I'm guessing. Want Maybe the shopkeeper. Something? No, he didn't have any. Can yeah, it's all, it's like really, really low. It doesn't matter much. All right, this guy's got to have a crazy seed, right? Can I help you? No crazy seeds. Fantastic. Okay, um, I'm going to travel. I can't think of anything else I need over here. Uh, Blood Under the Sun is now done. We need Ash Giants next, so we can go here and any location can we go to is going to be good. Help you? Yes. Take me to Harmattan. Yes. Damn. What? Yes. Oh, four rations? Did I not buy four? Can I? Yes. All right, guys. Uh, I will be right back, but I have to go to the restroom really bad, so I, I will throw on some music for you, and give me a minute here, because I have to pee really, really badly. Uh, so let me throw this up for you. I will be right back.
Oh, sorry, I was had the mic off. All right, I'm back. Had to use the restroom real quick. What did I miss? Uh, Thrice Rot, Dreamer. I'm definitely getting those, by the way. Oh, shoot, I forgot to talk to uh, the Immaculate when I was getting... Darn. Okay, so this doesn't matter. It automatically starts the quest. Blah, blah, blah. Touch this. We have 100 days. I'm not worried about it. Um, okay. So, yeah, I'm back. Um, we need poisoned because this is killing me, actually. What do you need? I don't know. I can't find a single Crabe seed anywhere, though. Mm, I can't use active skills. So, three. I haven't found a single Crabe seed. It's nuts. Check Alchemist? Okay, I'll check Alchemist. Raw Hermit affects boons, not direct damages. If he's not using boons, he doesn't get the bonuses. Now, I do get the bonuses if I use the potions, though. Uh, be careful about that. I do get them if I use the potions. However, I wanted to go with traps just because. So we're doing traps anyway. Technically, boons would be better if you wanted to go for... Or Cabal Hermit would be better if you want to go for bosses. But traps are more fun to use. So we're going to be playing with those. Put them up. I'll train ya. All right, and this gives recover death around, or every death around the cast to recover five health, mana, and stamina. Probably not the best to pick on a trog, but I am going to because stamina recovery has been a nightmare. All right, it's really all we needed over here, actually. Crave AC, I don't know. Someone has to have a Crabase. What is that? Does this have one? This cannot have one. Nah, no. Hey, an alchemy kit. I can get a tree. I can alchemy. I can alchemy stuff, guys. Yeah. How can I help you? Uh, let's see. Nope. Unfortunately, didn't have any of those. I have one still, so I need one of these. Okay. Mm, no, she wouldn't. He wouldn't have any. This guy Can might. I help you. General goods? No. I already checked the food lady. I thought. Well, what do you need? I don't know. Food wastes? Does it poison you? You better have the money. I wish I could eat a rag. <sighs> so many poison rags, but I can't eat them. Hey. You better. My good buddy has the these. Aya, which are very useless in this region because nothing takes poison damage. Or takes poison. Which is why I can't do Rust and Vengeance without Dreamer. Can I help you? All right, you two were also worthless. Uh, doesn't this poison you? I or no, it's mesmopod. I think maybe. Is this give me indigestion. Yes, it does. So we know that now. <laughs> I I was like. 50 to, I don't know, 60% sure that's what would happen. What happens with this? Does this kill me? I can't get anything poisoned. There's no poison in this region. There's no Crabe seeds. There probably is, but they're few and far between. Also, it's snowing. I'm not I'm not doing anything here. Um, we need to loot the rest of the stuff and sell it. And then we should have enough money to get the heck out of here. All right, what do you have? Ooh, a dark stone. I think that sells decent. You're literally carrying a weapon that poisons. I know, but I can't get it to poison me. It's a low. It's really, really low buildup. Everything I fight dies in four hits. So, and I don't attack fast enough to build up the poison on it. So, I haven't had much luck in that department yet. 
Uh, let's see. I really need to take a nap first, though. That might kill me, though. Yeah, I could, I could die, true. <laughs> I usually always have Crayberry Seeds. Like, I mean, most of my playthroughs, I almost always have them. But, I don't know, I have ever made. Yeah, it's really, really low build-up percentage. Oh, you know what? I needed to grab this, too. The extra stamina. Want me to train you? Darn. We need some moolah, ladies and gents. And we need a lot of it. Should I just go fight something? I should just go fight something. That's what I'm thinking. We have to do it. Sometimes, you just gotta go kill stuff. She can go to the corrupted cave and drink the rancid water. Ah! Brilliant idea. Uh, what we'll do, do that. Need? Thank you, Luna. Appreciate that. I didn't... I thought that... Does that poison you? I think it just kills you, doesn't it? I don't know. That is like no money that I got from those, so that's awesome. What about Hex Cleaner? Does Hex Cleaner... Let's, let's try. Let's, what, say what the hey, let's just do some stuff, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's take a hex cleaner and see what all gets rid of. It did nothing, so there you go, guys. Heads up on that, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. No, I think there is some outside, but I don't know where to find him. Oh, I can't go out the back way? What? This game's killing me right now. Alright, we'll go out the front, we'll take a nap. We can take out of here. Rinse of water in almost every dungeon in this area. Gotcha. Alright, we need a pickaxe before we go up there, though. Does anyone have one? Can I help you? Because, uh, if we go up to the Corrupted Caves, they have a lot of okay. the iron veins. Do, 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 do. Nobody has a pickaxe. This guy should over here, though. Only poison you and panacea heals. I gotcha. Uh, pickaxe. Here we go. Oh, that's why I was going that way. I was going to get the stamina skill. Okay. Now we know what we're doing. It sucks they won't let you at the back, and I don't even know why. The epic journey of one trog trying to deliberately poison itself. Yes, that's the trog life, guys. If you weren't... If you didn't know, that's what all trogs try to do constantly. Kill themselves. Want me to train you? Alrighty, we have that now. We don't really need less corruption, because we want to be corrupted, so... Alrighty, we're letting you leave town. Also, the chest may have Mesmopod. I did check. I thought Mesmopod did poison you, so. They did not, unfortunately. I was sad to say. Food waste? So someone's, someone mentioned that earlier. Uh, I can't make any food waste right now. Oh, shoot, it's gonna be cold out here. Fine. Clock tower in this area, that was an easy money farming method. There is, uh, but I also want to poison myself at the same time. So. We're going to run for it. Yeah. My, the thing is, I don't want to die because I've only died to Bolero. So I don't want to be like, well, I died to this guy too, even though I didn't really. We're going to run to the Corrupted Cave. Yeah, I know. That's the frustrating part. It's like my weapon poisons me, but it won't work. I can't get it to do it. The inconvenience sometimes. If we die by cold, though, I mean, I'd die by probably die by cold. That would be an acceptable death. As a trog. I feel. Howdy. What's up, Rodrigo? We're sprinting. We're literally trying to make it to a cave. Isn't there a skill that makes you lose less stamina or something? Isn't that, uh... It's gotta be a passive somewhere. Oh, here we go. I can attack this guy. See, everything dies too fast. <laughs> everything dies in two hits because I'm so 
Like, because I have the buff on. I have corrupted. Yeah. Man Mantis Death trying to kill me. No. I don't think so. What about a golem? I might die to a golem. I could see that. Need one of those real quick. Come here, you. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Ah. Uh, it's the first time I'm able to use it because I had the mana burn. Or I had, yeah, the hex. Okay, I took a lot of damage from that. I took a lot of damage from that. It's a broken one. Why do they do so much damage? Ah, I see. I simply wasn't using it correctly. <laughs> I gotta drop that iron. I'm too heavy for that. Sounds like such a problem killing too fast. Yeah, such a problem. I know. Just kill things too fast. Yep. Now, two of these guys? Who knows? Wow, that, that does so much damage. Dodge! Oh, beautiful. Or don't. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, we're slowly working on... The stamina's burning too fast. I can't even work on it. It's just burning like crazy. I'm gonna need to make a ton of those mineral teas and just carry them around everywhere. Good morning. Hey, Gene. What's up? How's it going? Yeah, Swamp is the perfect place to get poisoned. Slash heal. Oh, I did it. I finally did it, guys. It's, uh, that running attack's definitely better with the spear because of the length. The length on the halberd wasn't good enough for me to do the running attack. I don't know if you guys are seeing that, too, but... Hiya! You can make for extra travel speed. This one? Yeah. I don't know if you're actually talking about the trog or not. Show you what it is. I'm just carrying this one because of the pocket space. I got all kinds of cool ones. i actually been mostly using this one, really. Yeah, it's a fun one. It really is. Fight golems, they're resistant to decay. Are they? I thought they were just immune to the poison. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It's over here. There's three different pathways over here, and if you mess it up, you end up going nowhere. Yeah, I have all of them, actually. One of them is in my chest, though. Because it's completely useless without a certain weapon. And I believe they did that on purpose. Okay. So, in case you're wondering, health is a problem. Why can't I use my... Oh, that's why. See, right, check this out. Buff up. Yeah. And now I can use... Oh, that heals me too. Nice. Forgot about that. Whee! That is so strong. I'm guessing they left that in. the Or they put it like that on purpose to make it a little easier for Trogs. Tangling Abyss, by the way. Hey, how's it going? I uh, try to give you a heads up if I see you in chat for the first time. But yeah, I do have most of them. They're pretty cool. Alright, is there a Mantis over here? There is right here, I think. Usually there is. I see him fighting a Scourge a lot. Oh well. Ah, crap. More iron. I don't want that. I want oil. Give me oil. A tourmaline. I'll take that. Grilled fighter fish from the caldera will also give you poison. Yes, I love how everything that poisons me is not here. <laughs> the one he's not carrying around is the archmage. Yeah, I'm not going to use that till I get thrice rot. And then it might actually be really good. But I don't see how anything could be better than shriek with the damage bonus. 
I, I've known some people to have trouble getting rid of this debuff as well, so... I'm not really surprised by this fact. Now, let's see how this goes, because these guys are, like, very resistant to decay. Alright, yeah, they gotta watch the range on these guys. I'm not too bad. Okay, someone said there's rancid water here. I think that was Luna that said that. Crabe seed? Two chitin? Why just keep getting things to pick up? I don't, I don't even need pure chitin, actually. I feel like a nightmare mushroom should poison you, but it doesn't. This looks like a problem. I'm gonna use it. Huzzah! It worked! Did I aggro him? I feel like maybe is the answer to that question. Alright, hit me. Alright, now he's poisoned. Oh boy. Now we run up here and we get the Scourge to come out. The Arcane Elementals don't really chase you. That Pearl Bird freaked me out, though. What is, did they ever change the wiki to tell us what this buff that the Arcane Elementals does? Yeah, this is Shriek, though. Shriek's insanely powerful. I had a Horror Halberd for a while. I see. I see how you want to play. Oh, not far enough. Okay. Aha. Hey, I got that thorny cartilage someone wanted me to grab earlier. Poison is not doing anything to him. Aha! A particle. Okay, I don't see any water here. Carry around a water skin with rancid water for the future. Not a bad idea, actually. I think you could just drink river water anyway. Holy cow. Get enough stuff from that? That is definitely an entrance or something. Oh, here we go. I didn't do anything. Still hasn't done anything yet. What the heck? It's not doing anything to me. What? Do I need to change armor? Is that what's going on? Okay, so rancid water is doing nothing. Which is supposed to do something. It's not doing anything. I don't know. Maybe it does. I am immune to poison, but it should still give me... I do have curing indigestion, though, so that might be what it is. We just went on a wild goose chase for no reason, but uh, that was fun. Oh well, we just cleared another cave we don't have to come back to. I'm gonna take that too. Alright. That doesn't have anything for me. So we need to s basically sell stuff to get back. Do I have the alchemy kit? I was gonna do some alchemy. Doesn't poison, only ingestion. Okay. Uh, that never ending, the never ending battle. It's really not that big a deal. It's so easy to get poisoned. And for some reason, I'm having trouble. It's just my luck. Ah, we can drop 10 iron. That might help. A little bit. Everything weighs up so much on the Shrog. It's mostly because I'm carrying around the pickaxe, too. But I need it for the thick wheel. 
What the heck is that? Nice. Alright, we'll head back to town, and if we can't do the money farm, we will just... I don't know what we'll do. Or if we don't have enough money, we'll do the money farm. Is it because I'm a trog? I don't know. Maybe I'm allowed to eat, drink rancid water? I wouldn't think so. That's the long way around. Let's go the short way. Let's try again. You ready? Yeah, <laughs> it still does nothing. Awesome. Epic. And the stream turns into the legendary story of the trog that couldn't be poisoned. Yes. This stream was one thing, and now it is something completely different. Completely different story. If you'll notice, it's affecting me a lot. Let's check it out. Stamina burn plus 200. That's why I'm burning so bad. It's pretty bad. Light pickaxe. I feel like a... There should be an enchantment for a pickaxe that makes it lighter. I think that'd be cool. Oh, true. I did get indigestion from that, didn't I? Oh, boy. We're going to be hot here soon. Or cold, I should say. That did nothing, too. Oh, no, it cures the common cold. It's a whole mess of stuff right now, guys. I can't fight anything. I have zero stamina. <laughs> it's hilarious. I can't even do the clock tower yet because I'm so dead. This has been quite the adventure. Got a cold. Yay. Don't have anything to solve that. The burn is on. Food waste is always an option. Yeah, I do need to make food waste. I don't have a cookie pot, though. That has been an issue as well. Don't you have to have a cookie pot to make food waste? I'm 40% sure on that. They definitely have one in town. Somewhere. I can barely move at this point. Um, yeah, it's going good. That's why I had the alchemy kit, too. I was going to do stuff with that, but I never did. The way the cookie crumbles, you know? Crab a bush or two somewhere around here. I thought so, too, but I haven't seen a single bush on Marie, like, the whole trip that we've had here. Because I'm pretty sure Craybays are in every area. Although there's no hive over here, so maybe there isn't. I know that Craybay seeds are in every region hive are in. Unsuspected strength rather than light in the pickaxes. Uh, unsuspected strength is pretty strong. An unbreakable pickaxe. Oh, we can always buy another pickaxe. Oh, here's the caravan. Does he have a Craybay seed? I will, I will pay him the money. Just if he, just, just to be nice, he has it. He does not. In fact, he has nothing. Way to be absolutely loot, absolutely useless. Okay. Yeah, this is a gigantic problem. What happens if you get like a hundred percent stamina burn? You just walk. That seems kind of crazy. Cook thing is already cooked. I could work too. Ah, I see what you're saying. Let's do that. Cause I wanna I wanna see that. It's interesting. Does this tree have wood? It does. Dun, 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 dun. Alright guys, we made it all the way back to our men. Could go fishing. Yeah, I don't have the harpoon though. I can either uh carry the harpoon or the pickaxe. I cannot carry both as a trog, it's too much weight. Also, I have the alchemy kit, so it's like... Kind of have a lot of stuff right now. Alright. What we're going to do is we're going to make two fires. We're going to make one fire. That's all I have. I just thought that would be an easy way to do it. It wasn't. 
But I should be able to cook this, right? And then eat it. That did nothing. That gives indigestion, I believe. Believe that does indigestion, mates. Oh my. Make some nice life potions. <laughs> yeah, since I have like 100%. Alright, how much money do I need to get back? If I can, I'm just gonna do that. What do you need? Those would be nice for later, but we need the money. Tourmaline and this. Oh my word with this. Why does this always happen to me? Alright, 130? That means I don't have to sell the Can I help you? Other thing I was gonna sell. There we go. Now, do I have rations? That's a good question. Greetings, friend. Yes, damn. Yes. Okay, we can go back to Levant, which is not a bad idea because it'll give us the Dreamers Halberd, so it's fine. Can I help you? Do, 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 do. Well, how many do I need? Four? Yes. Jeez, this has been a nightmare. What the heck? All the chunks in the plateau have them. Ah, oh, gotcha. Greetings, friend. Yes. Well, guess what? We're out of here. I have had enough of that. I have had enough of that. Nuts. Yeah, I always fill myself up on foods and then forget the solo chog is rough. Yeah, definitely. It's been challenging, but kind of a lot of fun, too, at the same time. Now watch this. Pull out the uh, handy-dandy tent here. And we sleep. That is not what I wanted to do. Actually, does he have a plant tent, do you think? Can I help you? He does. Nice. We're just going to leave that tent there. I don't need that. It takes a long time to set up your bed in a Zotarog, though. She got Crave from chest. Oh, my word. I'm getting hosed. All right, here we go. We should get rid of most of our burn here. Solution is fine. Get your corruption 100%. Ha! <laughs> yeah, Julian. Yeah. It's true. I got it to 80 earlier. I had to fight the corruption spirit. It's the third time I've ever had to fight it. All right. And actually, I have an easy solution to this problem. We're just going to go I fight the hive. You? They drop them. So. Whee! We're just going to go hide the hive and you can deal with it that way. I have to go over by them anyway. For the good old immaculate. I almost have the Dreamer Halberd. Yeah, I could just drop it to you. Two Crabe right outside of Levant to the north. Oh, yep, there is. Why didn't <laughs> somebody tell me this earlier when I was uh, in here? I was here already here. See, I knew Levant had Crabe seeds. Antique Plateau has, like, no crazy seeds, though. About time. Yeah! I just poisoned myself. Oh, I hate these birds so much. Alright, thank you for that, Caustic. That it was a lifesaver. Yeah, right for the river. All right, can we make it to the uh, Immaculate before Poison sets in? Also, we're going to kick this guy's butt. How do you feel now, stupid? Attack me, please. Okay, okay. 
See, one I can take down. Two of these guys is a nightmare, though. As a trog, at least. I feel like it's not quite as bad as a human because you have more abilities, but it's still rough. Here we go! Trying to sprint. Mode is harder to play. Yes, Rodrigo. This mode is, is definitely much more of a challenge. What the heck? Do everybody in pairs today? What are we doing that for? The annoying troglodyte. I love this outfit they gave it. Can I get up on that cliff? Yes, I can. Do, 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 do. I need to go fight the annoying troglodyte as the annoying troglodyte. Yes, that is uh, that was very well planned out with the whole me running 30 miles for something I could have gotten immediately. <laughs> What is in here? Where am I? Oh, those are the banditos. Those are the banditos. Those are the Vaunt quests. Otherwise, there's literally no point to that entire area. Ah, here we go. What are you doing over here? Are you just, just spawning in random places to find me? What you got, buddy? Greetings, friend. Two master trader hats. Nice. He still hasn't had anything great, though. You, you, oh, there's Palladium right here. Yeah, poison is uh, fantastic whenever you're immune to it. Now, I don't actually want to fight that shell horror right now. I do want to check this ornate chest. I feel like it's a weird place for an ornate chest because it's so... There's nothing here. I mean, there's the mat or the horror, but you don't have to fight any of them to get it. Like, why is the chest there at all? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? All right, this is going to be essential for later. All righty, so I did that one. Only one left is Hall of Marsh, and that's the easy one, since I can walk through poison. Let's go! The thing, the funny thing is, though, if you really, really think about it, the biggest downfall of being a human character is decay. Like, that's what really hurts you the most. Um, other than fire, obviously, because it does burning. Since the Scourge have decay, there's now a new a couple enemies that have decay. Poison is all over the place. It just hurts you a lot. Yeah, I don't call... But I, free loot, you know, might as well. Might as well. Watch me get poisoned by using this weapon after all this. Ooh, that was close. I almost got hit. Almost got hit that time, too. Excuse me, sir. Could you not? Alright. Oh, I don't have my decay armor on. What am I doing? It, look how much less damage it is. It's still a lot of damage, though. Don't get me wrong. This is new. Yes, this is a new set of armor. This is the annoying troglodyte armor. Who is actually one of the new mini bosses. And you get to uh, be him. In order to get this one, it is a uh, random lower piece, like common chest plate with, I believe, a nightmare mushroom. The sulfur mushroom does something else, I believe. It gives you the archmage. Which makes no sense to me, but. But yeah, Proboni. Hey, Proboni. How's it going, by the way? We are not fighting them. That's three enemies. We don't do that around here. Wouldn't it be funny if I didn't have any travel rations? Which I don't. Gosh darn it. Why do I do this to myself? Why? Why am I the way I am? Every time I try to do something, you make it not that. Does anyone know what that's from? I kind of butchered it, but... 
Oh, hello. Guess we gotta go kill some banditos. Corrupted 50%. Yeah, it's still doing extra decay damage, but it's not nearly 100% extra. What is that? Is that a guy? No, it's not a guy. These guys should have rations, I hope. Drafting many hurts my soul. <laughs> I make rations whenever I need them. No matter what. I guess I could use... Where are they at? There's always bandits right here. There they are. And if I do it correctly, I only have to fight one at a time. Come here, buddy. Yep, there's the one hit. Oh, I got jerky out of that, though. You are stupid for that. You can do ice shot. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? Use 50 freaking abilities. Oh, he dropped both. That's a... Can you imagine being a mage right now and this is the first drop you get? What? That's negative uh, 35 mana cost right off the bat. It says cooldown reduction. Lots of... Dude, that's... That is the ideal Ice Mage setup. All right, well, this was a terrible venture. But let's find some cactus, or cacti, I should say. Can I make any rabbit? Yes, I can. Now I need one more, guys. Hello. Um. What are you doing? Oh, that makes sense. Don't hit. I didn't want you to anyway. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't done attacking like 10 minutes ago. Uh, does this guy drop any food? No. I need cactuses. Cacti, cacti. Not only uses the craft menu to make rations, he also uses good foods as ingredients. Yes, I do. I told you I'm not a food guy. <laughs> I am not a food guy. I always forget what foods do what and all that jazz. Eh, it doesn't help me at all. Cactus. Thank you. Alright, you, come here. I'm not gonna fight both of you at the once. But... Way to block that. What a professional player. Stop being a noob. Take that, dude. Yeah, jerk about it, why don't you? Then we come over here, grab another cactus, and then we come back and kill his buddy. Because he'll be dead by then. There we go. Oh, he is not dying yet. Can we make another cactus? A ration? Oh, yeah! Desert bandits are. They can be rough. Oh, the one shot. Get out of my town, dude. It's my town now. <laughs> Cacti and salt make rations. Ah. I think I already read that one. Yes, I am actually not very good at making the, the better foods in the game. I never got into foods much. And most of the time when I play with somebody, they do all the food. So I don't have to deal with it as much. Like, alchemy, I know. Like, I get alchemy pretty well. The... Only the basic foods are what I, I remember. I need to buy more recipes for them. That, that would help a little bit. So what's something really weak to decay? Like, the light mender? It'd be kind of fun to fight the light mender with the decay build. Problem with the light mender is you're so weak to light. Any attacks are going to do so much damage. No matter what you do. And that should heal me a little bit. It did indeed. I always forget I have that skill. We did it! <laughs> we, 
<laughs> we made it back to uh, Merker. All right, so what do we want to do next? Probably start our faction quest part and then head over to the swamp since that's next anyway. We will add gourmet run to the list. <laughs> You're only allowed to eat foods that are um, more than three ingredients. Or only allowed to eat four ingredient foods. That would be very difficult for me. I would have... I would struggle. Let's just use this because I want to. Also, right now, I only have one point of mana. I don't know. I don't know if I need more. So this is a problem. There's a bow guy. Oh, no way that hit me. Okay, I think... Shriek is a little overpowered. Um, but you've been fighting humans. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Shriek is strong in, without the Trog, though. So I can see why it would be so strong here. Dodging is much better with stamina now. That's good. Is it less or is it the same? I can't even tell. Yeah, Light Manor would basically be a game of who can tag the other first with this build. I agree. Because I do so much decay damage, but he does so much lightning damage. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Jewel bird meat, regular meat, cactus, salt for running speed. I got you. I got you. Yeah, Shriek is so strong. I, I need to do a run with a regular character with it. Like, maybe silver armor or something? Palladium silver or something like that? We will probably... Let's see, I need to go to the Hall of Marsh to talk. I, 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 here's what I'm thinking. We'll probably go to the Hall of Marsh, and I will get the Halberd, and I'll have to be off for the day. Well, that's why my stamina is so bad, guys. I am uh, tainted. Or no. Yeah, I think it does affect it. No, it doesn't. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, I probably have to get off after that. Very poorly. What we need. What do you know about the Ash? Um, well then, you will need to make an effort to understand that I appreciate travel to the Hallowed Marsh. All right, that should be pretty easy for me. And you only need three rations, of which I got. No, I only got one. Darn. Want to buy something? Oh, right. oh, no, I can sell the arcane stuff that I found. We have a ton of charges that I actually want to use as well. I haven't got a chance to use them yet, and they're really, really fun. Some mod are part of the game. Uh, this is actually part of the game, Sark. This is part of the game. What you got to do is take a common mushroom and throw it in a legacy chest, and you can be a trog. And then you just pick that legacy chest as your character, and voila. It's absolutely hysterical. Like, every part of it is really funny. Um, we'll keep those in our inventory. Look how many keys I have. Why do I have so many keys? The world may never know. Okay. I feel good about this. Position we're in currently. Let's make do, 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 some teas, though, for stamina burn. Because obviously stamina burn is more of a problem than anything else so far. Okay. Breath of the Wild. Like that. I guess I could learn that food from doing that. Why don't I do it? I don't know. Okay. And we already repaired and everything. Check our weapon here. Our tools. We need water and we're good to go. Developer has so many clever ideas. I agree. They, everything is really... Some really cool stuff. Honestly. They did a pretty good this job with the game. Me. Oh yeah. Oh! Anybody wanted to see the other outfit? I'll, I'll throw that on real quick. This is the other outfit. 
It's the Archmage. It's pretty cool. But it, um... It makes you weak to fire and cold. We're really strong in those other departments. And it's unusable without Thrice Rod, I don't think. So I haven't been carrying it because I don't have Thrice Rod yet. And we'll go get that later because we don't need it right now. We can do Purifier, Legacy Chest, um, the Faction Quest, and there was one other thing I wanted to do while over there. I can't remember. Oh, uh, the Dreamer Halberd. There's a ton of stuff in the swamp for us to do. Hey, just got off work. How's the truck run go? What's up, Daniels? How's it going? Well, actually pretty good. I fought a ton of stuff, and I only died to Belira the Witch like three times in a row. <laughs> died to her twice and then showed up and fought a Mantis with zero health and died. Um, that was the only thing I had trouble with. Well, not had trouble. I've had trouble with everything, but the only thing I died to. Why is it not letting me mine? There we go. Hey, yeah, I can't buy houses with chests until after the main story. I have to so many items hoarded every time I loot areas. Yeah, the only thing, though, is you can actually get the houses pretty quickly, at least for your faction quests. So I found that if you just buy the house that you start your faction quest with pretty quickly, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, Harmattan is one of the better ones because you get that house immediately. I don't know how I hit him, but that's very impressive. It is a problem, I agree. But the... Berg one you get pretty fast, too. I bought that one pretty fast. Valera. <laughs> Valera and Valera. Her pet. Sounds about right. All right. Let's actually double check the quest. Talk to Ash Giants. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I went over here for no reason. It was great. What we do have to do is clear out... Um, the swamp may actually be easier because a lot of stuff's poison over here. I have to keep traveling back to the faction house to get my items. Yeah, that is true. Although, think of this, Sark. Sark you ready? This is going to sound condescending. I'm not, I don't mean it, but I don't mean it that way. I'm just being funny. Um, I'm playing a trog and I only get 25 capacity. <laughs> or 40 capacity. Uh, so, yeah. I have the same problem, though. I'll loot way too much. What you really got to learn is you don't actually need everything you find. That, that's when I, when I was playing and I had the same issue. That's kind of what I was trying to do was I was just like, you really don't need as much as you think you do. This is so dumb. One arrow attack. It's always a bow and arrow. They do so much damage to your character. It's unbelievable. Not bow and arrow, but the arrow itself. There we go. Aha! Take that, you stupid bow and arrow character. Alright, we gotta see how hard lightnings and golems are gonna be. Because I'm very weak to their attacks, but I'm very strong. My attacks will do good against them as well. I don't want to go do them right now, though. Darn. Make immune to plague. Uh, it does, actually. Because plague does 6 decay damage per second, I believe. And I'm basically just immune to it. Hey, I have that Kraybe seed now. I don't need it. I need to buy the Tartines when I get to town, too. Because I have no uh, stamina buffing stuff right now. And I need it for this. Aha! I did all the work! Oh my word, my Pearl Bird scared the crap out of me. Not that. There's so much loot laying on the ground. 
Yeah, exactly. I realized that I could just sell by Bajorme loot. Yeah, it's like you you really think you need everything and you don't. It's it's just about realizing what you need to grab. I'm leaving Berg with like 2,400 gold and it's my second area of export. Nice. Yeah, bows are really, really dumb. Is this going to hit? Please hit. Don't be a waste. Okay, it does. It has a nice range. This guy's going to be so hard. Yep. Yeah, I say these guys that suck in general. Why does it take 20 million years to get off the ground as a trog? That's my question. I can't do anything. I literally cannot attack because he... The, uh, no, 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 the, the spear thrust doesn't work on these guys. Maybe blocking? Blocking may be the better bet here. They're fast, though. Can I heal before he does this? Alright, alright. I can heal, I can heal. Nah, we can do this. We need a... Something that's not decay, Rag. <laughs> you want some of this? Let me get it. You buffoon. And I'm freaking dead. This is dumb. Fighting these guys as a trog is is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Ooh. Wow. Those guys are tough in general, but the usually the way I deal with them is I knock them down. I can't knock them down as a trog. Oh, it poisons them, doesn't it? <laughs> Avoid them overall, I agree. I can use bandages, yes. Uh, I can use all items like that. Can I poison one of these guys? Like, does that... Oh, I can't even get in there yet. Hiya! The only problem is I can't have a light source other than, like, a, a trog spear. And I accidentally got rid of mine, like, a long time ago. Skeleton? Thank you. All right. He does not take the K damage. I mean, he takes some damage, but he should be dead. This guy's a pretty cool enemy that you don't really see ever. Jade Lich weapons, first try. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I'm telling you, ask anybody that was here for the beginning of the stream. I have had some serious luck today. Silver Helm, nice. Some serious luck. Bait them to fight the lightning golems. Oh, that's a brilliant idea, actually. Because they're pretty strong. They might actually take them. Oh, another pressure plate, guys. Oh, I have pressure plates. I should use them against them. Darn it. This is why I never use traps. I always forget I have them. I'm, I'm telling you, every single time, I always forget I have them. There's also much less the hot bar. Hmm, let's do a water skin. What? Oh, no, 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 no. That's what happened, okay. So, golems should be weak to ethereal, yes? Are the faction quests timed? I want to be able to explore and ship away into main story. Yes, they are timed, but they have breaks. So, if you simply... ...do them... And then whenever it says, like, speak to Risa, or it says speak to somebody, and then you get three days, while you wait for that three days, typically that's not timed. I wouldn't say always, because I don't want to be 100% wrong on that, but most of the time that's not timed. Hi, buddy! I have a present for you. It's called Death. Come get it. It's a very uh, fun... It's very fun, yeah. You you'll love it. You'll love it. Look at it. Oh! What the heck was that? Haha! -ha, that's how you take them out. Take that. Alright. Pressure play traps helping out a lot, guys. But yeah, people think that they can't... Um, people get a little confused by that because the game doesn't tell you. There are breaks in your faction quest. Whenever it says, like, wait three days, typically that's not timed, and you can just go do other things. 
Um, but also the game does incentivize you to complete your faction quest quicker than anything else. So most of the time it's not too hard either to complete your faction quest. Every once in a while there's a unique enemy or something you have to run across, but you can either avoid them or just come back later to kill them and, or use traps. Typically, if you want to complete your faction quest immediately, just trap everything. <laughs> now, here's the question, guys. There is a gargoyle here, and I'm wondering how hard a gargoyle would be. Sir, that does nothing to me. There he is right there, actually. Oh, my word. I wish I could run attack. Oh, my word. Ha! <laughs> I really wish I could run attack. Okay. You guys ready? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. But I am gonna use all my traps. <laughs> my traps. Is he immune to decay, though? He's actually really slow, so we should have... Oh, the Tonosaur is fighting him. Okay, that's good. I don't know how I got that lucky and got him to fight him. But I'll take it. Uh, We'll use a fire, and we will also use a tripwire if I have anything to throw in it. I don't think I do. Can I place this stupid thing? Okay, I guess not. What are they, who's winning? Uh, that's what I want to know. I'm guessing the golem. Oh, the golem is destroy. The golem is um absolutely beating the crap out of him. Like big time. Dude, I can't hit him. What the heck is that about? Alright, come over here. No, no. We don't do that. You come this way. Luckily, he did get some of the health down for me, though. That's nice. I'll take that. I think that poisons you, so I shouldn't be con too concerned. Okay. There we go. There we go. Doing damage over time. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be honest. That wasn't as hard as I thought. Marble Fist, does he drop that every time? I feel like no. A Hexa Stone too? So that is the, uh, the unique gargoyle over here. Cool. Oh, I need to grab my things, don't I? He... What does this, uh, trap do? It does damage over time with Ethereal for some reason. You know what's funny, though? I feel like I'm playing better with the Trog than I would with anything else, because I know I have to be cautious. There are swords in your previous enemies for the tripwire. Oh, that's true. Let me pick those up so I can use them. I can always craft cloth knuckles, too, for uh, traps? Tripwires. Yeah. Unless you use everyone else to kill him. I see. Yeah, there is no room to get cocky. That's the thing. There is a little bit with the Decay Trog because Decay doesn't kill you. But that's about it. That That's as far as it goes. As far as it goes. Alright, is there any more Blade Dancers? I don't think there are. I think there's only ever two. There's the Phytosaur Spear. It's damage every 0.1 second, I think, during 3 seconds. Okay, that's what it seems like, because it's doing a lot of damage over time, but doing nothing at first. Uh, what do we have here? We have the Phytosaur Spear. This is a Phytosaur Horn and a Mizma Pod. That's not too hardy. That's a 1.1 attack speed. That's fast. I have a one. It's not bad. Not great, though. But yeah. 
I need to go. I got to test against the lightning. That's where it's going to be hard. You think it's possible to kill the light mender with the trog? Yes, I think it is. I, I think I know it's possible. Pretty sure I've seen someone do it. Um, if you're good enough at dodging and stuff like that, everything in the game is definitely possible to kill. You don't actually have to have correct resistances. It's just, typically, that's how things, you know, end up. <laughs> Alright, that let me miss, luckily. Alright, that got me hit, unfortunately. Two hits for one of these guys, that's not bad. Do remember, guys, I am corrupted, so I'm getting that extra damage from that. If I wasn't, I probably wouldn't be able to kill these guys. Uh, we need to go left, so let's grab these for traps. Bridges are for peasants. Yes. The power. I don't know if I can get back up, though. On the left. I need to get back up. I will when I go to over here. You'll see. 12.5 ethereal, 1 impact, and pain every 0 0.5 seconds for 4. That's amazing. Holy cow, I need to learn how to craft this stuff. Some of these are really good. I know how to craft a fire one, I think. If I remember correctly. 10 overweight, guys. Marble fists are not helping anything. Lightmender got so much impact resistance and DE, it's kind of insane. Plague Doctor falls at least two times faster. I can see that, though. The Plague Doctor has much more that you have to worry about while fighting him compared to Lightmender. Greetings, friend. So it kind of makes sense they give him more resistance. There we go. That helps a little bit with the weight. Oh no, I can sell Greetings, that too. Greetings, friend. Uh, the Hexa Stone does weigh something. I don't know what it weighs, but. All right, let's go see how difficult this all is. I gotta fight these guys and see. Crabe, Crabi, and Misma Pot or Occult Remains. Check with you. Hmm. Yes, I can actually walk through the swamp. We're about to see how hard these guys fall to... De I think they're golems, though. Aren't they immune to decay? I can take the big one. The little one, actually, I have more trouble with. I can just run away and keep placing stuff in one trap. Ah, yes. Yes. It's the wrong thing. Oh. I died. Huh. That's why you don't do that. Wow. Wow. Definitely very weak to lightning damage. <laughs> uh, wow. That's frustrating, though, because I was on the right... I was right there. Now I have to walk all the way across the swamp. Darn it. Oh, Gep saved me. Nice. Jeez, though. Got my gear back. Thanks, everyone, who told me where it was. Nice, Evan. Awesome. Holy crap, dude. I just got my butt handed to me in about three seconds. Man, this is going to be hard to go through there, actually. Nerve gas is just live weedy, blood mushroom, and salt. Oh. Oh, I can get that. Dude, I just got trashed. Bad. That was bad. I mean, I was in the animation, so it's not like I could do anything, so. Again, hence why I didn't do it on Hardcore, because I lost my character. Alright, let's get some stamina buffs up here. So, traps are going to be the way to go with the golems, 100%. We're just going to have to fill up on traps and hope we can... Did I get my trap back, though? No, it's on the ground. Nice. Okay. Are they mostly dead? I feel like they're mostly dead. Yeah, yeah. 
They have all the stuff I just put on them, so. Come here. Thank you. Oh! Okay, the poison ones, with, because they stack now. Does a ton of damage. How do I make the poison ones? I feel like that's going to be better. Getting out of the swamp's a death trap. Yeah. Swamp, the whole swamp is a death trap. Alright. Now we make the long trick. Hitting the mush shriek. I personally think that the green corruption animation floating in areas is ugly and ruins the aesthetics of the game. Uh, it's meant to, though. It's not meant to... It's not ruin the aesthetics, per se, but it's meant to be goofy. It's meant to be extremely... What the heck is this? Why can I not move? This is stupid. It's meant to be that way, though. Kind of blurry, and that way... It makes sense with the lore of the game. If you really think about it. It's this darkness that's spreading over the world, and... That's just, that's just how it works. Should I get rid of this? I feel like, for now, no. We can make it, guys. But yeah, the corruption's meant to be that way. It, it, it does get annoying for some people, and especially at the clock tower, because it's extremely blurry there now. But that that is the way it's intended to be. Like That's the way it's written for the game. Being in water while overweight is negative 50 speed for some reason. Oh, that's why. That's so goofy. I know the water's really thick. I know it does have an effect on you, but I didn't know it did this. I can barely move. Oh, well. <laughs> Not like we're taking any damage. <laughs> there we go. We did it. <laughs> this is really funny. Oh my word, that was a good uh, drop from that. Sapphire. Here we go, guys. And actually, Dreamers would be better to take on... Yeah, uh, Constructs. Which are the Golems as well, the Lightning Golems. Hmm. Yeah, Froggy the Trog. I love Froggy the Trog, that's such a good name. He gave us a gift. <laughs> We did it, Dreamer Halberd. Oh my word, it's so fast! What the heck? That will be essential for certain enemies. Essential. Ooh, silver armor, nice. Some pretty beefy stuff. Notice once I got my skill trees, like things were a lot easier to do, though. Can you roll through it normally, I believe? Or you can roll through it. Oh, I should try that then. Uh, Jeremiah, I'm almost done streaming, unfortunately. I meant to quit an hour ago, but... Uh, whenever you're playing outward, you just don't want to stop in the middle of the world. You know? Oh yeah, look at this. It's the new Sonic... Uh, but yeah, as soon as I do a couple more tasks, end game will be done here. That's just how it's gotta be. The, the old Sheenster's gotta eat food and stuff. I am human, I know. Doesn't seem like I am, but... <laughs> and I wish I wasn't. I wish I was a robot. Uh, good thing I kept that pickaxe. What do we get? A ruby! Two thick of too. I don't believe it. I know, Jeffrey. I'm sorry. I hate to just ruin the mood with me not being a robot. But you know how it is. You're a trog, Sheen. We can all see it. Yes, that's my true identity. I am the trog. You're wondering why this has been so easy for me. Because this is who I am on the inside. Wah! These guys are very easy. With the Shriek. To be fair, I did Legacy Chest it, though. 
I mean, if you played an actual Shrog with no legacy chest, that might be difficult. All right, which way do I need to go? Because that's the Spire, so this is the beginning. I need to start Purifier as well. All right, what am I holding that's so heavy? Oh, Dreamers weighs a lot, doesn't it? And I'm not going to have a chest for a while. That is a problem. What we need to do is just stop carrying so much. Watch this. I'm just going to walk through the swamp. I don't see water here. Whoa. That was crazy. He came at me. I can't move. Why can't I move? What just happened? What? Is it the poison on me? Why did I all of a sudden just couldn't move at all? What the heck? Playing Trog without Legacy? Yeah, it would be really, really difficult. No. No way I can't. Because the attack animation doesn't run. Alright. Uh, we need to find our direction here. The J Quarry's behind us, so we need to head this way. Who's fighting over there? Oh, a J-Dog? What's a J-Dog doing all the way over here? My friend. That's how you do it. No dodge, please! Stop it! Ah, getting hit by these guys is like getting hit by a truck nine times. And it's so hard to get out of that animation. This is so stupid. How come when you fall on the ground, you're just falling on the ground for 30 minutes? I'm just going to lay here. I don't know how to tack in on these guys. Hmm. And you can't block forever. Because if you block and die, or you block and fall down, you're dead. Luckily, I got him. Ooh, Acolyte Boots. Jeez, man. We have Golem Elixir, though. That's nice. Ooh. Uh, they're weak to Ethereal, and I believe Lightning. What's that guy doing? Why didn't he help me? Oh, well, because I'm a Chog. I'm not a human. He wouldn't know what Why are you walking in a swamp? Dude, you just poisoned yourself. Buddy. What are you doing? It's not too late. It's okay. Or not. What's this guy's problem? Huh? What the heck was going on with that guy? What a weirdo. What a wackadoo. Alright. Thank you. Uh, yes. So they... Are very weak to, uh, I believe, lightning and ethereal, yeah. They're not weak to decay, in case you didn't notice. I kept hitting them with decay and it didn't do anything. Uh, let's see. Purifiers on the way, and then we go giants. Yes? Oh, hello. Is that too far? Too far. Watch this. Oh, you don't think Dreamers does a lot to you, too? Oh, it does. <laughs> it doesn't one hit like the other one. It's so it's so overpowered for humans because they literally cannot attack you because of the reach. They don't have any. It's kind of crazy. Tonosaurs, however, I have enough trouble fighting Tonosaurs by myself on a human character. There's no chance I'm throwing 
No chance of, of course, of course. I spoke the words and it said instant. What is wrong with this game? All right, are they immune. They're not immune to decay, right? I don't really know. I don't know how that works. Okay, okay, I can do it. I can do it. Uh, I'm very scared, guys. Oh, I'm scared. -er 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 -er. I'm more scared. -ed. All right, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. I am much faster than a human, and therefore, I will cheese this fight. Hopefully, better than I cheese the last one that I did not get to work because it killed me. Oh, I see. It didn't work. Ah. Huh. It's, it went in the trap and it won't set off. It's going to make me lose my thing, too. What the heck? Alright. I see how it is. Yep, they're very resistant to that. Yeah, I didn't put it in there. Okay. This is a problem, guys. This is a problem. Tonosaurs are a gigantic nightmare. Can I get him stuck on a rock somewhere? Yeah, blue truck probably would be better. The impact. Why am I forgetting I have other trucks? Oh, it's because I'm so heavy right now with this one alone. I just haven't even thought about switching. Okay, now please work this time. It's not working. I think it's doing it, but he's immune to decay or something. I don't know. I'm not really 100% on that. Alright, how can I get away from this guy? He's so fast. If I can drop one of the weapons. Look at him! He's as fast as me! What the heck? Okay. There we go. Alright. Drop streak for the moment. That didn't work. Plan has failed. Backup plan. Do we have one? We do not. Dude, I freaking hate Tonosaurs more than anything in the game. I'm I telling you right now, I literally hate them. I don't have any buff on my weapon. I don't have nothing, dude. Chase me for freaking miles. Cold. I need cold. Don't have it. Cool. Screw this guy. I'm out. Peace. Peace and out. Not fighting him. I'm not fighting him. This is stupid. I literally hate Tonosaurus. I'd have to get more impact to fight him. If I actually wanted to kill him. I'd have to be able to actually impact him. Which would be, like, the red or the blue one, probably, yeah. Forget that trap. Nope. Done. Not doing it. What happened to all the stuff I had for traps, too? I had three poison traps that didn't do any damage to Oh, uh, do we have any, like... I have a rock beetle. None of my food is useful in any way whatsoever. In any way, shape, or form. Does that do damage? I'm guessing no. Okay. Dodge! Oh, do I have him? Don't get cocky with a ton of score. Ah! Take that, stupid lizard! Oh, you guys have no idea the stress. <laughs> I hate dinosaurs so much. Oh, man, it's not even an alpha one. I actually think the alpha ones are easier because they do that flame ability, and whenever they do that, there's a, there's a time frame right after that where you can attack. These ones don't do that. Jeez. Yeah, I ran away. If it, if it works, don't fix it. That's what I was saying. 
that ain't broke, don't worry about it. I wonder if I should get that. Okay, so that way is where we need to go, but this is the purifier quest that we need to grab. So we're going to grab this real quick and then go to the giants. Dude. Freaking Tarnosaurus. So done with them. Where's he at? All the way down there. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Ugh. Let me just jump down this cliff. There we go. Piece of cake. I think your pressure plates were bugged out too. Do you think so? I don't know. It was not. They were not working. It's either that the decay or they were just bugged. Because I don't. It was weird. Alright. We do that. Alright. There's a. Is that a pickaxe? It's a pickaxe. Nice. Nice. Got a pickaxe. So when are we going to do the dungeon in the middle of the swamp? Oh. You know what's funny, Yo2? I don't think I've done it one time on any of my characters. I think I went in, grabbed the whatever thing you need for the Ash Giants on my other character, and I left. Pretty sure that's what happened. We are so heavy right now. Why'd I pick that up? <laughs> That's really funny. I really don't think I've done it. Alright, so we can make the decay ones with this. Because even though dinosaurs are really, really not, like, they're weak or resistant to decay, it should have still done damage because I have all the modifiers on. It did nothing. You're right, Caustic. It may have been bugged out. Because the sound was going off, but none of the damage was. Or the animation. One time the game kept spawning Tonosaurs in an area. I kept killing them at just a way in front of the monsoon. Or yes, that's why actually they'll spawn there forever. I'm pretty sure that's how that one works. I I had that same thing happen. It just constantly spawns in. Every time you reload or if you even walk back there sometimes, it'll respawn. Alright. Two. One Tonosaur and an Alpha Tonosaur. So many in the swamp. Incline might have bugged the pressure plates. Oh, that's true. It was inclined. Maybe that's what it was. Who knows, right? Sometimes it's hard to tell. The giant. Does the giant want to be beat to death? Because I can arrange that. Hmm. We're just going to take everything. And I think... Do I have a stamina bonus? I do not. Ah, Shriek. No, I already imbued... No, 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 no. Here we go. There you go, buddy. You attack enough? Jeez. Huh. Literally, some enemies like this one are basically just don't attack until they do one attack. Well, I blocked that. Whatever. Dude. I blocked the attack. 100% blocked it. Didn't work. And then I just get to sit on the ground while he beats me to death. Man, playing as a trog is so frustrating. The heck out of here. The giant saved me and didn't even heal me. What buttheads. Toxic charge in the place. Just ate. <laughs> yeah, I just ate the charges. This is so stupid. I did I did perfectly good all morning and then I just died for no reason against the, every time in the swamp. The whole time. Uh, what All right. you will need to speak with High Lord Seer. A human All right, let's village. see. I want to learn about your people. I'm here. Oh, is that... oh if you want to, I make right. arrangements for the talk. So we have to do the talk. Jeez. Non-impact red. I need to stop using the green armor. That guys, that's what it is. I need to stop using this armor. 
I'm I'm focusing too much on it, and I'm trying to fight everything with one armor set. I don't know why I'm doing that. It was a mimic. Ah. That's funny. Alright, I need to go hurry up and do this so I don't forget. Dang it. I really am, though. If you notice, I, I'm trying to fight every single enemy with one armor set. It's not how you play as a truck. Oh, that's true. No, in yeah, Probonia, you're right. I don't have any even if I block. No wonder why blocking is doing nothing for me. Alright, so water, and that's it, because I don't have anything. Still heavy, though, which is nice. Alright, we stay away from the bugs, because they're annoying. This giant's going down, by the way, I don't care. Oh no, it's because of the weight. That's why I was not wearing anything. Good luck. Fight it out. Can I get slow down on the giant by standing next to the ice witch? That's like a no. I love these battles where they just fight each other. Ooh, look at the damage on the witch, though. Nice. Got health from that. Can I hit him? How come some of these guys are being weird? They'll, like, stop attacking and then just stay. Oh, there's the slowdown! Look how slow he is! Holy cow! Dude, that's crazy. Now the ice witch is helping me, which is cool. That's awesome. This ice witch is terrible. The worst. Of all the enemies I've had help me, this is the worst. I just gotta kite him around him. Dang, he still missed! He's two feet away! What a moron. Okay, he did get slow down off. Which is good. Can you do the other attack? I, I feel like I can attack twice, but I don't want to get too greedy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Darn. I always think that I can dodge that by not dodging. There you go. There's another animation that didn't work. Went right through his body. Did nothing. I will literally destroy you for what you've done to me. I don't know. Do I have enough time? I feel like I don't have enough time to attack. That's why. I don't. Get out of here, dude. So done with this stupid giant. Jeez. Got that on the way back. Don't let me forget, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's just decay damage. That's why it's not affecting me in any way. Uh, and yeah, I probably am taking more impact than usual. Let's see, there's two, three different things I can do to stop this. Typically, you have to fight the giant when you come down here anyway. I've just been very unlucky with the stuff I've been carrying around. Like, linen cloth, like two pounds of it for no reason. Just give me food, or health. Yeah, sweet. Oh well. We will get there soon. Almost done with this quest. And get extra health. Probably won't even fight the Tonosaurus on <laughs> I'd probably just run away from him. Staying behind the back of the giant was very effective. Good job. Yeah, I think... It's when I tried to go in and get that extra swipe. I was like... I, I think I even said it too. I was like, this is... I don't know if I have enough time for this. And I didn't have enough time for <laughs> With Dreamers, maybe. I maybe have time with Dreamers, because it's faster. Man. It's definitely a challenge, though. This is definitely a challenge. 
I should sell almost all the items I have carrying around. I think I'm going to, too. I'm relying on having items too much. Alright. Uh, read about this. Okay, let's read about that one more time. You ever, like, get just anxiety and feel like you're not going to be able to do it? I get all the time. Alright. That's done. That's all we needed. I think you didn't have enough time because you went in right in his face in the last time. I went right in front of him? Okay. I can agree with that. I think you're right, Probonia. Hey, Sheen, ever tried modding outward? Uh, lithium? I have not, actually. Um, I've, I want to get into it. Some of them look really cool. And I'd like to do some live streams of some mods. First off, I wanted to do a trog run, though. I want, I want to do the full trog run. Get that done with. Do everything I want to do with. Um, because I need to stop starting streams and then being like, we're doing something different today. Um, but I actually am interested in some of the mods. Some of them look very fun and interesting, so... I do want to have someone specifically show me how to do them properly, though. So I'll probably ask in the Outward Discord eventually and see if anyone wants to help out. Walk me through it so I don't... It didn't take me 20 minutes. I know the wiki has guides, but it's like... Sometimes doing it is better, so people who have already done it can better explain it, probably. I see, because I've been having troubles modding DE, but multiple quick slot one is such a game changer. I should try that just as a, like, just for fun. I bet it helps with the boons a lot. What other things do I need here? You just pop all the boons. Boom, 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 boom. Especially a sigil build. Like a sigil chakra build, because you'd actually be able to use everything in succession. I don't know. It'd be interesting to try all of the mods. Showcase them or something. Show them off. There's some cool ones out there. You can help, Proboni. You've done it? Which ones have you done? Probably the mod or the HUD one, I'm guessing. Also the boons for sure. Pistols, everything, even just keeping consumables in another bar is so nice. Huh. Do I have to go all the way around? Ugh, this is a stupid game. Why is it making me play it? Ugh. Um, I think I have to go this way. Yeah, it sounds really... Really good. The, the HUD one I definitely want to try. It sounds really useful and just... I don't know. Like, seeing all of your stats all the time seems pretty great. I'm gonna drop those. I'm tired of carrying them around. Well, that's all the weight I needed? What the heck? Oh, a Tonosaurus fight something. Probably a Phytosaur. Yeah, he kills them instantly. Things are weak. I can run right here. Uh, give me the extra stamina. Thank you. Oh, that's a Cray AC. Don't eat that. But yeah, sounds fun. I do mod my outward on PC. Just a slight size change to you. Character making him bigger. Do armor mods for my appeal. Weapon mods for variety. Got one character with maxed abilities. Oh, really? Like every ability you can get in the game? That sounds cool. HUD, fast travel, more special buildings in Caldera. Some console stuff and generally things that don't change the game too much. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I'll need to look into those. See, see if there's any good ones that I want to try out. You're making them sound really fun. Got the lightning greatsword from the big creature in the forest area. Can this weapon carry me through the game? What big creature in the forest area? Uh, 50 impact and swings quickly? Yeah. I mean, uh, probably Palladium, I'm guessing. Maybe. Oh, no. You're talking about the Endmarker. Uh, yes. That can carry you through the whole game. That is the... What's that called? Startrog Claymore. That is a very... So strong... Uh, Pentagram, he's on YouTube as well as a content creator. He makes good stuff. He did a build. His first build in DE was that, actually. Hope we're buffering, guys. 
Oh, we buffered there for a minute. We're back though. But yeah, no, Pentagram, he's on YouTube. He he made a his first build in DE was that. And it's insanely insane. It was insanely strong. Alright. Guys, don't hate me, but we're not fighting these guys. Look how big he is. He's terrifying. Bye. Not today. Just needed that. Thank you. I think a game like this would be really cool to like mod around and change stuff. Just mess around with the abilities that the game itself. Like stats and all kinds of stuff like that. Obviously, some of them make the game easier, which you don't want to make the game easier necessarily, but maybe for a fun playthrough, just to mess around and, you know, enjoy the game. I don't, I don't see why you can't have fun. Got to get rid of that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at this, banditos. We fight banditos, we won't die instantly. Where's my extra damage going? Do I not have it? Ooh, I almost got both of them in that. I don't know if this kind of trick here will work on a Tonosaur is my only concern. I don't know if I can get in, get the hit, and then move to the side fast enough. You feel me? I'm feeling it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the congrats. I know it's a lot of work. Yay. Play alongside my goofy nephew and Jolly Split Screen. Nice. That's cool. What was I going to do? There's someone you can talk to, isn't there, that gives you an ability? Oh, no. Oof. I like that back step I just did there. Alrighty. I didn't know you can change item stats with side loader. That opens so many balancing opportunities. I think I'll look into it first thing in the morning. You know what's funny, though, guys? Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with this game in mods. However, there's also a lot of things you can do with enchantments. I've been messing around with enchantments lately. There's so many. Even one slight change to an enchantment on an armor set completely changes your game style sometimes. So you could literally... I don't know. You, you just play so many different ways. Although I'm thinking about installing the mod that... Isn't there an enchantment mod? I feel like if you want to try more of the mods, that one is important since it makes it a little bit easier. Super easy. Nice. Yeah, I watched your video on enchantments. It's so many steps. Looks cool. It is a few steps. Once you do it, you realize that it's not actually that bad. It's mostly just make incense and put it in the thing. There's only really three steps. Um, I, I made it a lot more to make it easy to follow. But it's actually really simple. Make incense... Put the totem correctly in the right place, and then put the incense in and enchant it. Um, Watch yourself so, out yeah. in the marsh. It's You've been out in. I hope is that. Lisa, okay, I need to talk to. Who do I need to talk to? Who's the lady that tells me about the giants? There's someone here. I think once you compare a game to Skyrim, and I hope it gets good reviews. I despise unmodded Skyrim. Oh, uh, yeah, it is hard to compare to Skyrim, of course. But, but yeah. Despise unmodded outward, really? Greetings, friend. Curious. Well, this worries me. Damn. I enjoyed it. Greetings, um, curious. Um, let's see. This worries me. Damn. Mofat. Okay. There we go. Someone knows something about hey there, this, though. Hey there. Someone does here. Oh, is it Lockwell, maybe? 
Let's you put any enchantment on any item. Yes, and I agree. Enchanting changes the game so much. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool to have that. That'd be a fun one just to do. What do you need? Also makes enchanting easier, I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly from seeing someone use it, it's just... You just place whatever on your armor. Type it in or whatever. That's it. It just works. Some stuff is a 24-man company with a smaller price tag. Yeah, I get you. I get you guys. I think I missed the first part of that conversation, but I'm catching up here. What? <sighs> Make it quick. I wonder. Okay, does anyone know? Someone told me I'm supposed to talk to somebody about the giants here, but I... Talking to scholars. So there is somebody. Who's the scholar? I talked to Mofet. I talked to the two trainers. I talked to Elinara. Is it one of the merchants? Scholar. Who's a scholar? In the temple? Okay. Alright. That would make sense. They are a scholar. Where are we at here? Do you? Oh, curious. Ah. Scarlet Moon. Oh, this is why I never get the other dialogue. Ha! Huh. That's funny. So, usually when I do this, I actually skip this part. And I just go talk to him straight away. And I know that, I know the answers to that dialogue, so I never, I never lose it. However, it seems, yeah, you could do it the easy way. <laughs> Thanks, Yagram, though. Thank you for helping me. I could not figure out where that was. So fast, look at this, sprinting. Hardest intent to achieve, I guess it'd be thirst. The only reason it's the hardest is because it takes so long. 17,000 damage with one weapon, and an iron weapon, for that matter. Which is one of the weaker weapons in the game. You know? It's a relatively weak weapon. Goofy sprint, kind of cute. I agree. Yeah, da, 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 da. Hilarious. I love... I love this Shrog. I think it's been the, more fun than playing the regular game. I do miss my abilities. Like, Brace... Bro. Brace and Mana Push are my new main things since DE, and I had, can't use them. I need to do a Fist build. I just... Ugh, I'm so excited to do a Fist build, too. We're going to have more structured live streams from now on, though. So, like, they won't be... I'm going to number the episodes, so it's pretty easy to understand. Before, we were just kind of playing with a bunch of different people, so I couldn't... It was hard for me to, uh... Put, like, which ones were which. Oh, I need to get this stuff from the giant, don't I? Did a fist build, remember? You died. Yeah, I know, but I died. It was sucked, because I died instantly. I want to do one where I don't die. Or do one where I die, but I get to beat the game. <laughs> that that was disappointing. No, you know what I want to do, Tangled is I or Tangling. I want to do the Golden Knuckles. Want to enchant knuckle iron? I think it's iron knuckles. I think with unsuspected strength, and then put them in a legacy chest to make them gold. I want to do that. That sounds fun. Never forget your failures, Jeffrey. <laughs> Just recently finished my candle armor palladium fist run. Felt so powerful for no reason. Uh, you got a lot of defense with the, the candle armor for sure. I need to do a candle armor run. I have actually never used it. Again, I say that I've thrown it on, but I've never specifically just used it. Wind infuse is so stupid. I want to do a vampiric knuckle with wind infused. I feel like that would be crazy. Probably candle plate, maybe? I don't know. Alright, we talk to this guy next. Hello, my friend. Oh, I Alright. Oh, Option I one. I a little. Hello. Huh. Can you teach me about your uh, culture? Goodbye. Hello, my friend. Oh. Uh, and this one. Uh, okay, hello, so that should be friend. it, right? Uh, goodbye. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I already did that part, though. Taco Father, I'm still waiting on that rune rich hexes build from Machine. Yes, uh, I am working on builds at the moment. Uh, those will be the next couple things I make. Probably 
Hopefully Friday, Saturday, I'll have a nice build out. I am sorry for the lack of builds. I've just been focusing on so many other guides that people have needed for me. So. We're, we're getting into them now, I think. Hopefully. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> that is on me, though. That's on me. I feel bad because a lot of people want the builds, but there was so many other things I was focused on. Alright, we want to use the gossip. We want to use the gossip again. I gotta be careful on these. Make sure I don't speed through it. Use information. Once again, use information. Uh, I found this on a stone on a dead ash giant. I think you should have it. Which I didn't need to give him, but... It's a guaranteed alliance that I did all that. Oh, I got two giant kind great axes in my inventory right now. Okay, so now I have 200 health. Which is a lot of health. Now, when I switch to the other Trog armor, it's going to be a lot better. I need to stop carrying around so much stuff. Hello, though. my friend. When I actually want to take stuff on, you know? Oh my word, look at this. 600. Sell all these. I got a lot of gems and things. I don't know where I got them, though. Oh, he has 10 gold, too. Ah, nice. Worked out perfectly. Okay, so next step is just to go back to talk to Risa. So, yeah. 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 Enchanting guy was needed. It, it was. I'm glad that people enjoyed that one. Uh, it wasn't needed for more experienced players, but newer players definitely. So. Heard of people copying a save at a certain point just to test out builds, like after uncovering mana. I guess you could do that. Any plans on adding the necromancy mod and playing it? 100%. 100%. That's the first one I'm doing if I mod it. That's the first one I'm doing. I've been I've been pumped since day one that I found that was a thing. I would love to do that mod. Probably that and the combat HUD at the same time if I can. If I can. So. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I am apologized to those of you who just hopped in here. Uh, just were able to make it. But I have been streaming since 9 this morning. So it's been a while for me. And I need to take a break. Do some other stuff so I can make on some more videos tomorrow morning. Um, but I do want to thank you guys for coming out and watching the stream. Epic. Appreciate that. We had a lot of people come out and stay for a long time. So. And yeah, necromancy is definitely in the uh, the agenda. Um, I will get some of you guys, if anyone's not in my Discord and wants to help out with modding it, once I get done with this Chog playthrough, I'd like to uh, try and do the necromancy mod. See how well it works. So, Jeffrey, thank you for being here all day. Appreciate that. Uh, Tangling Abyss, thanks for tuning in. Father, you as well. But yeah. Hopefully, we will get some epic builds to you guys soon. I try and do a good job with my build videos. That's why they take me some time. And that's why we haven't made any yet. So, I will try to get you some here soon. And, yeah. First day of the Troglodyte run went pretty well. I'm satisfied with this. So, this was fun. And uh, thanks for coming out. I will catch you guys in the next one. Probably Thursday with Liger. So, see you later. Catch you later, Evan. Thanks for stopping by.